Friday night tights. You're about to get frost bitten. Get him. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. All you geeks and gamers better stop jerking off to me, okay? I smell like burnt hair. Julie, that is stopping you. I fuck you like you're retarded because I think you're all retarded. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. Frost bitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Go frost. Wow. Why like tights? Get him. Frost bitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. <laughs> I'll <say> Weird. <laughs> Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I am not qualified. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my day. Get him. Call me Beaver Barbie. Bitch, you're that goddamn ugly. I jerked off to the dislike ratio. I'm not hot to you. No. No. What in the heck did I just walk into? Wow. People keep confusing me for a brief you best than Justin Bieber. Someone in the chat called me Eminem mid transition. Frost bitten. Go frost. Now press F if you're not jerking off. Frost bitten. Go frost. Jerking off. I see the chat. I see you in the chat. Hit an F right now. Jerking off to your girl. I'm standing up for all the women at G4. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Pocket, Scissors, Tape Dispenser, and Filing Cabinet. X-ray girl. She is a beautiful young oriental. X-ray girl. Give me cock. Ask them the price of cock. X-ray girl. <laughs> you don't like it? Go somewhere else. Peace. Nerdrotic.com. <laughs>because clapping the poetry is slam snaps yeah. god damn so, uh, jazz hands yes. yeah, you could snap and do that that's the best part yeah. it goes it's right friday in the finger. night tights mm. what's going on everybody i'm excited hey. i'm excited oh, oh my can gosh we can, we, can we just quit no. so happy with our i can't wait we can't as, 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 wait wait as has to interrupt within the first 30 yeah, seconds this to. might I, be right. a new record for friday I'm, night tights thank you that has to go up, Gary. This this has got to go up. This has got to go up. Uh, That's what she said. Ladies, <laughs> I've shared it. I've shared it. What the Microsoft? What the fuck? Oh my god! What the hell is Whoa. that? It's, my it's, eyes no hurt. wait. It's this is this is it's LGBTQ plus Tempest. This is no, uh, this sorry, is Microsoft's. No. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, LGBT whatever uh, Mafia Month uh, number fucking twelve out it's of twelve. Trans. Um, is this? Um, and this is forty representations of 
Only 40, huh? There's a lot you of know, white. Ironically, I, I, that's not actually what that is. I'll give you guys a secret. I know XR Girl probably knows this medical field and all that. This is actually a close up on the anus of someone who has monkeypox. Well, this episode's getting demonetized. That's all good. <laughs> XR Girl, can you confirm? All I got to yeah. say is Ryan will have to let you know because I haven't seen monkeypox yet. No, didn't fly past Winnebago and Baseball. Uh, I, mm. I, I just I, I just said she hasn't seen a case of monkeypox and she lives in Canada. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I haven't. I, I don't know if we're actively trying, you know, but every week we just try to get demonetized earlier and earlier no. and earlier. I, I, it's, well, what you know, it happens quicker? It's demonetizable. Not I you. Got just flying at the speed. You didn't. You didn't, Ryan. <laughs> it's just. It's. It's. Uh. It, yeah. The. The. The booby traps. Your. Ex but your bigger. existence is demonetization yeah. anyway, Ryan. So can I mean, we get kinda... re-monetized by talking that's about how much we good. miss Brian Stelter from CNN? Will <laughs> yes. <that> help? <laughs> yes. Man. I mean, in a way, do, don't we? In the Cuomo. I can't even. I can't even. I can't. Man. Yeah, Why? I can't even Look, say that for the group. There's the Washington Redskins logo down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't it? I see a swastika somewhere in there. I see a lot of white. <laughs> Look, there's some gay people that like zebras. Oh, we're right. <laughs> zebras. 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 <laughs> Right, thank you. We've already got racist. Thank you. That's great. No, it's xenophobia. Xenophobia. Unbelievable. Man. Fucking invented the fucking wow. language, you bunch of fucking retarded fucking Americans. <laughs> what New Zealand is doing? Yeah, like it's uh, it's a great big LGBT balloon knot. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I do have to apologize up front. We no longer have any British representation. Disbrew's oh, gone. Fuck right off. Oh, fuck, Fido. Yeah, it's too bad. Thanks, hey, wow. uh, Disbrew, yeah. Shad. Disbrew thanks for... died. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. R.I.P. made him R.I.P. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, thanks for Disbrew for show joining us for two months. Thanks for Shad for coming on again. Uh, it was a, that well, was an uh, epic I just didn't leave since last time. I just stayed. <laughs> just yeah. stayed in there. Yeah. Yeah, you guys rocked up and you're like, what? You sure? Dad, have you been wearing that jacket for two straight months? <laughs> well, I mean, te technically two years, but who's counting? Uh, right. Well, I yeah. mean, the real reason, the real reason, okay, that I'm here is because of as tits. <gasps> right. Go tits! It has you're right you. there. Mm -hmm. Right there. Under. You can reach up and touch it right now. Do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, have any, you have any idea how hard it is to find brocade in a C cup? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. Oh. Oh, totally though. Going back to Shad, I could picture Shad just sitting there so mad after Rings of Power with his sword, just in all week, just waiting for us to get back. You know, just, just sitting there right? all week. Has it gone? I'm still like No, no. Another thing. Oh. I like how you could literally on some of the armor in that show, you could literally see like the fiberglass seams from yes. the oh, dude. <laughs> shit. And the like, chainmail shirt. I think I actually saw a Park City logo on one of them. Uh -huh. like, the, peak, <laughs> the peak for me. They were so cheap. They printed on the armor, right? But then there's a shot of someone lifting up their arm and the print stops right there. That was so oh, cheap. No. They didn't even do the whole thing. It looked like the Wonder Woman scene where her like her pits were like specifically like just standing out to every Buddy, like this sparked all controversy around Wonder Woman having shaved armpits in World War One. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Wonder Woman, to be honest with you. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's been quite a week. Uh, I guess it's post mortem week. We had, um, well, the kind of expected but unexpected announcement of G4 completely failing. Uh, we had, oh, shucks, never saw that one happen. Whoops, never saw drat. that one happen. Oh, yeah, darn Man. even. Uh, Rings of Power being as abysmal as we thought. Uh, the Access Media Cope has just started and it's great. And of yeah. course, the She Hulk stuff dropping uh, recently, especially the ratings, <laughs> which has been fantastic. <laughs> so it's been a great week uh, of failure that, that we could mock into oblivion. Uh, and then, you know, we can talk about the Iron Age. Which oh, is yeah. here. We got we got a couple of people participating. Well, we kind of are too, but the, they they are really participating. So uh, <laughs> let's get to it. Hello, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. How are you? 
I'm good. Gary was like, he wouldn't stop texting me yesterday with the Resident Evil 4 remake. He was crazy. He's like, man, this is going to be so good. One of my, like, Gary's such a hardcore gamer. Uh, they, so, <laughs> have you seen, they're just remaking every horror game all at once. All yeah, at once. Every space, single one. Dead Space. You Resident get a remake. Evil. You get a remake. Look under your chair. You get a remake. Fucking Resident Evil 4 remake looks fucking good though, which that's does, Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games ever made. So that was, that was really cool to see. Uh, but also, we premiered on Tuesday night's main event, the Epic Verse. I think Gary played it on his Nooner the other day. Shout out to Josiah and Mike, um, you know, battling against woke Hollywood by creating their own movies and, and stories. It's going to be fucking cool. Josiah's put a lot into this and uh, really happy for him. So uh, shout out to the Epic Verse. Let's get this party started. Let's go. It's yeah. time in. We're only a little over a week away from the October meetup now. So next week at this time, we will be in the Geeks and Gamers content house doing Friday Night Tights yep. live. And then two days later, the Orlando meetup. Uh, we are pretty much booked full. It's amazing how many of you have turned out for that, and we can't wait. And uh, Chrissy's going to be doing crazy shit in Orlando as well. It's uh, We're all going to be down there running around, and uh, can't wait. Can't wait to hang out Being with all of you. Being a bunch of so. knuckleheads. It'll be fun. Yeah. Yes, yes. Let's do it. Let's uh, go. Let's go. Hello, Az. Hello. I'm your resident New Zealander. Fucking whatever. Yep. Um, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Uh, Shad, I just want to let you know that sometimes you just got to touch the darkness. You know what I'm saying? Just got to touch the darkness. I want to start with something positive, uh, which isn't just the fact that I'm the only one out of these three fucking retards that has his plushie <laughs> in hand. <laughs> Because they don't know how to read a fucking email. Okay. Uh, so this is this is coming soon. Mr. Hot Dog Man as with his wibbly wobbly legs and his and his blue eyes and lovely mustard. That is mustard. That is not mustard. anything else <laughs> but mustard. Okay. This could be humped by your dog very soon indeed. Um Through the dog. Well, that's what happens, isn't it? I don't need a dog. Uh, I didn't know you had else, blue you know, eyes, as. I want to, uh, gaming wise, yeah, Resident Evil 4 remake looks fantastic. Resident Evil 4 is my favorite Resident Evil of the bunch because I think Leon and Ada are the two best characters uh, in the series. Uh, I know that could uh, spout some arguments, but there you go. Um, and uh, it's great to see Silent Hill 2 getting a remake because that is one of the greatest survival horrors of all time as well. Uh, Silent Hill 2, Resident Evil 4, it's going to be a good year. Dead Space uh, remake coming along. You know, the, how, I think, how are those new games project. coming? We got any new games coming out? Yeah, yeah. yeah but Modern it's, Warfare it's 2 remake. <laughs> you know, re these, are, these are games which are made on... Because of the generational aspect of, of gaming, uh, it's nice to see them. It's not like you're taking Blazing Saddles and doing a 2022 Blazing Saddles. Can you imagine that? According Welcome to Simon to Pegg, our new is just as good as Democrat. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that wouldn't work. So yeah, that's looking that's looking absolutely awesome. Um, mm -hmm. I uh, but... I went uh, to see Black Adam. I didn't see any of the film. I just uh, when they said, "Oh, it's finished," I walked in to watch the post credit scene with Henry Cavill, and then I walked out. Uh, <laughs> the, only, the only thing I was remotely interested in in that film, uh, apart from the hot toy of Black Adam, which does actually look cool. Um, other than that, uh, fuck everyone who says I'm not English. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as far as new games go, you'll get God of War Ragnarok later this year, which is going to be fucking insane. So, and Callisto uh, Protocol, the, the spiritual successor to Dead Space. So, it's an actual horror, horror, horror. Yeah. same yeah. dev team, People. like they're working mm. on it. So, it's going to be there is, and there is diversity in that God of War Ragnarok. There is, uh, uh, there's there's black people in Norse mythology, so <laughs> yeah, so we got that covered. Good to go. Hey, and we do the have diversity and Ryan, equality. Ryan, Thank you, Santa Monica. Ryan, they and we do. Ryan, they debunked that. Okay, they said they found a skeleton in England that was ten thousand years old that they thought was black, but then they were mistaken. Yes, yeah. right. They were like, black, they, black, they thought black, they were going to get to black, write a story ten thousand years a slave. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, we, like, we do have guy. cancel catastrophe coming from Geeks and Gamers later this year. Our second video game. Uh, I actually might talk to our developers. I will see if there's a secret unlock where we can get Ryan holding a tiki torch in that game. That would be oh, pretty God. offensive. <laughs> Just take a picture. He's got one in his backyard. <laughs> I did everything I could fucking six years ago to avoid being photographed. Now you're just going to fucking put me in one of those? <laughs> 
<laughs> Even better yet, a tiki torch holding Ryan. <laughs> right. yeah, Every time he walks near one at Home Depot, man, people give him a little side look. Like, uh, he looks like he should be holding one. Speaking uh, of tiki torches, hi, Ryan. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, I also went and saw Black Adam, except I saw the entire thing. Uh, I thought it was incredibly meh. Uh, if you like... If you like watching a bunch of action and explosions and not much else, uh, you might like it. You might get a kick out of it. You might go in there and enjoy yourself. Uh, for me, it was very average. But the critics certainly did not like it. The audience seems to be liking it so far. I guess we'll see. But yeah, the first week we haven't had a release of She-Hulk and Rings of Power. So I'm feeling a little bit better. <laughs> I feel a little bit better this week. Uh, that's nice. Although myself and Gary did get mentioned in an article by a certain flamboyant man who was very upset that we were calling She-Hulk and Rings of Power, uh, you know, disasters. Really bad timing on that article, considering it was the day that she Elk fell out of the top 10 in ratings and that Rings of Power got surpassed in ratings in streaming only by House of the Dragon, let alone the 20 to 30 percent of the audience that's watching it linearly on HBO. And so it, and it must be rough to be a shill media type. It, we got uh, tangible evidence that it lost almost half of its audience, 40 percent mm -hmm. from yep. uh, episode one to five. Uh, Four entire people. Four people. <laughs> all. And they lost all of its no, audience no, no. Hey, now that we're not reviewing fist. it anymore. Raise fist. Raise fist. We're, we're not talking about the remaining four people that are watching G4, okay? That's, right. that's what we so. No one's watching G4, God. Jeremy. Is that what no, G4 no, no, no. <laughs> what, did, did I not see a thousand people were watching it on cable TV? A thousand? A thousand. <laughs> Is that what they said? Oh, Back in the day. Yeah. That, that, like, uh, Clownfish did wow. a bit on it. Yeah. Yeah, a thousand I people. Seen, I haven't seen that. Yeah. I just love the. I just like Adam Sessler just threatening to fight people on Twitter. Oh, is the God. best oh part of this whole God. thing, dude. Oh my Boxing God. Boxing match. So Adam. Boxing He's match. He's so on, deranged, man. man. He's so deranged. He really is. Him and the other guy. Who was that guy that went after Melanie Mack? Uh, and then he. Uh, that Joshua. Was just, Joshua. That was. Yeah, that, Joshua. was that was a bad. Like, he had like a thousand comments and like nine likes. On his tweet, hey, like, hey, it, was it, was, it was like 50 likes, Jeremy. Okay, no, because it was, once, it was, it was about 26. Once, once quarter, no, once quarter, he made a video about it. Uh, all the people that hate us, so like all <laughs> fucking 30 to 50, uh, <laughs> they went and they liked that guy's tweet. Um, oh man, Joshua so Miller, funny. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Joshua so. Miller, yeah. Then he blocked us, all of us. Yep, <laughs> oh well, yeah. Hope it was on, something Josh. I said, not uh, me, right. Uh, hello, Chrissy Mayer. Hello, hello. It's so great to be here. Uh, I enjoy getting tagged in all these uh, articles about the downfall of G4 and Frost, and everyone's like, it's your fault. So, <laughs> congrats. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, feels good. I would say it's it's all of our faults and their faults as well. Right. But I had a good week. I interviewed Dan Vask on my channel. Uh, earlier this week and it was fun we went into detail about like what it was like for him to create the theme song and how you know how he was like going to you guys for advice before so it was really interesting so i'm gonna have that clipped up uh in a in a shorter little sound bite but it was it was cool to know what went into the song did you ask him about how it felt to collapse under pressure when we were stream sniping him and he couldn't beat <laughs> Castlevania? Uh, no. That's that's the that's the most crucial aspect of it right there. That was funny because we were supposed to go live on Tuesday's main event. He was supposed to be there, and I was waiting for him. He's live on Twitch playing Castlevania. He's trying to beat Dracula. Let's go live as our cold opening and watch him. And he started seeing the that's numbers funny. go up. He goes, "Why he was so watching in. me?" And he was he was so distracted. It was so <laughs> good. He was so he was really zoned in before you started dropping in. And he was like, "Were well, you guys watching me?" No. And then it just kept dying. It was good. Yeah, it was fun. I was trying yeah. to have like a serious interview with him, and then the whole chat is like, "Ask him about Mario Kart <laughs> <laughs> or a whale bone." Yeah. 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 <laughs> It was fun. Yeah. There cool. he is right there. He's in the chat. What's up, what Dan? Dan? <laughs> but yeah, I'm so My pumped. Boy. Humiliation. For, or, so I'm pumped for the meetup. Um, if you guys haven't got tickets yet for the show at the Orlando Improv that's happening on Thursday, get them now. Also, I believe they're being sold in pairs. So if you have a single ticket that you want to sell or buy, uh, let me know or tag me on Twitter and uh, we can help you out with that. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Looking yeah. forward to you it. You know it's expensive? Universal fucking studio oh, fuck yeah it is <sighs> fuck yeah it is uh, we, we, places fucking packed to the brim like right now because so many people have left disney 
So this yeah, universal you, you, you got to do the, You got to do the fucking express pass. I did. If you don't like you'll fucking kill yourself. It's not even a question. Express so, pass yeah. is more expensive than the Halloween Horror Nights. Yes. It's yeah. like half the price. It's because it turns a three and a half hour wait for a haunted house into about 10 minutes. Yeah. So worth it. Yeah. You get all those at Disneyland, but they used to be like timed. Like you they don't even do that time. anymore. I don't think at Disney. Oh, Dude, the- Disney, so, Disney has turned into again uh, as some. We have a fucking theme park channel. I, I don't even understand how Disney runs their fucking parks anymore. It's like, it's like a job. When going to Disney now is, it's you have everything scheduled. Hey, what time do you want to take a shit? Okay, what time do you want to pee? Okay, yeah. you got to be here. And like, me to go everything to that is fucking scheduled. Place. It's insanity. It's insanity. And um, but Universal's doing a good job of it. And again, you know, look, when you have that many fucking people showing up, you can charge those types of prices. And right now, Universal's crushing it. And a lot of people are not to say Disney isn't busy because they are, but a lot of people are kind of fed up with Disney's bullshit. And Universal's really, uh, it, you know, kind of getting a lot of momentum through all of this. So, and they like us, they like us. So that's all that matters. That's Fuck good. Disney. Did you know Disney, like, back in the 80s, was falling apart? They had a nightclub that you can drink. People were getting stabbed in the parking lot. We were getting high in the Sky Tram. And it was more entertaining than it is now, okay? <laughs> Just saying. Sound entertaining. Right. Well, that does, does sound, I, yeah. I, I really, I want to see a film made about that. That sounds cool Disney in the 80s was <laughs> yeah. fucking lit. It was crazy. Uh, yeah, that it's kind of crazy kids. when you're you're actually getting your shit pushed in by the second best Universal Studios. <laughs> right? <laughs> they don't even film shit there. Like, fucking, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna go to Universal Studios, you're gonna go to fucking Hollywood because it's Hollywood for Christ's sake. Yep. But but Universal Orlando is much bigger than than that's true. Hollywood. It's, it's bigger, much bigger. But there's, there's no studio. Universal or, Hollywood. You can't is see like where fucking, they filmed movies. Like you can. Yeah, Universal Hollywood is like stacked like on things and it is barely anything there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's well, just the like parking the, the, lot's the like on top of, of a hill. <laughs> it's on top of a Did mountain. You hear Universal's <laughs> in Hollywood, they're closing down the mummy ride. Oh, what? Bullshit. Dude. Why? It's because Brandon it Fraser couldn't fit on it anymore. <laughs> so tragic. <laughs> I'm so fucking old. When I went to Universal Studios last, they were <laughs> advertising the first Mummy movie and building the ride. That's yeah. <laughs> Nice. That is all. They were advertising the first. They were teasing the first X Men movie. The so Marvel fucking... restaurant was still there at that point, I believe. Maybe it was gone for just a because it was in there in the nineties. The Marvel restaurant yeah. was. I awesome. got it. I got it. I think so because I got an X Men shirt from there, and I got to see the the miniatures from Chicken Run. I remember that. Yeah, I got to see it a little. Ah, oh, nice. I like Chicken Run. That was kind well, of a good. One movie. of the it's a great movie. Yeah. One of the unique and cool things about Universal is that it's pretty much the only place you can go buy Marvel shit that's not Disney. Like some kind of older school Marvel stuff is there because they still have licenses, they still have the contract, but it's not associated with Disney. So at it's all nineties looking. Does. Yes, it, it, it still awesome. has that that it still has that Marvel comics vibe to it and feel. And that's to at it. the the Orlando one too, right? Yes, yeah, yes. that's the one we're going. Uh, to. That's the only one I'm talking. Hell about. Yeah. Yep, that's where we're going. Hi, Quarter Black Garrett. Hey, man, I am so glad we don't have to talk about Rings of Power. Uh, at least the episode we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about it. Oh, <laughs> Except which, for the video you're going to edit tomorrow and we're going to today. Yeah. <laughs> now, see, that's more satisfying because we get to laugh at people get, that yeah. like the show yeah. or t- pretend to like the show uh, and uh, try to pretend it's a good show. So that's actually enjoyable. Watching the show itself, it's like uh, gouging my eyes out. So I'm very happy about yeah. that. And then next week, dude, next week, Orlando meetup. Can't wait to see everybody there. Uh, like like uh, Jeremy said, the RSVPs, they're already f- full up. Uh, well, we got one. The the AM. got a few spots. We got a few, few spots. spots left, but it's the, the first not a whole lot. one. That first meetup, eleven to one. There's we're there's gonna shut it off soon. We're gonna shut. We're talking to Quarter Black oh. earlier. We're gonna shut it off soon. But get in while you can. Please RSVP to that. Please do not show up without mm-hmm. like RSVP in. Yeah, it's and for everybody, we have, a, we have certain yeah. slots. So. And for everybody that's there, there's going to be a post meetup meetup as well because we just still want to hang out with you guys. And Should we, we call it the post meetup hangout? 
We should call it the anti She Hulk meet. No, the anti She Hulk meet up. Yeah. Chill sesh. Yeah. So I can't wait. And we'll announce all the details. No, the misogynist corner of the anti She Hulk meet up. Okay. Unsafe space. We'll we will we will make those details known to you guys at the meet up and let you know where you can come hang out with us again because it's all about you guys. So and again for the first time in my life I will urge everyone to get drunk as fuck at the meetup so I can make my money back. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I'm settling uh, down on this one, all right? I'm only going to I'm only going to stick to five yeah, drinks. Yeah, don't roofie yourself an hour. this time, wow. dude. <laughs> we don't want to carry you please, out. Get Ryan yeah, get Ryan so drunk that he turns into gay Ryan. That's the fun. That's the most interesting part of <laughs> get it. Get me he drunk super, enough that I'm nice to women and you guys yeah, will have done your it's job. It's so there embarrassing and it's sexy. worth it. X-ray so girl. Hello. Hello. You survived Hello. the exorcist last night for the I first did. time you saw it. I did. That was actually so scary. I thought it was going to be a walk in the, the park, but I actually legit screamed a few times. Gary took pictures, <laughs> screenshots of me being scared. <laughs> <laughs> it was so easy. It was oh, really boy. so easy. <laughs> oh, it was meme material. Thank yes. you, Uber Geek, um, for those. <laughs> and, um, you know what a great movie compared to what i watched today black adam it was okay it's okay i'll give it that but it wasn't great it was so it mid like my kid was bored like my like your target audience was like this is so tripe uh yeah, yeah. He, he likes and the best part was the end and i got to see mm, yeah the dream boat yeah just watch that end credit scene that's all you need mm -hmm. it's pretty mm -hmm. pretty mid as the kids say uh yeah. hi shad and Brooks. I just want to bring this up. Yeah, yeah. Hey. No! Just you all see. I wore an Udi. I was holding Baby Yoda, and um, I still wasn't protected. Oh, wow. uh, I was. Just, I, <laughs> 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 the last the last one is when she actually screamed she was just getting ready to scream and that's when she screams <laughs> i'm hearing an echo from somebody i don't know who somebody is, got it but... probably but i'll keep break. talking until yeah. we <laughs> figure out who it is i don't hear it so it's probably me hold on okay <laughs> <laughs> hello hello I know it was you, Razor Fist. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's <laughs> totally me. Just a second. Let me turn down my speakers. That's oh, okay. Uh, it, it, we'll say hi to Shad. Hi, hey, Shad. how are you? Oh, man. Love to be back. Love Friday Night Tights. And I, too, watched the Adam, who is black. I mean, no, he's, he's out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore. Uh, he's part black, part Simone, he's, he's, I think. Yeah, he's, he's Simone. black. Yeah, but in the comics, wasn't he pretty pale? I thought like from it kind of looks like it kind of looks like a, an ancient Egyptian. Yeah, would. it's supposed to be yeah, like actually, kind of Middle yeah. Eastern. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So not exactly yeah. like super white, but you know, white <laughs> enough to make people really mad when they find out that's what they actually look like. Mm -hmm. so, well, yeah, yeah. actually, Metatron has a good video breaking down the actual <laughs> Dude, historical sources of how it, it, if Egyptians are actually yep. white or black, and there's some good. It's a really uh, can good I can video. I just interject um, that Black Adam does look more like Namor than Namor does yeah just want to does. Say. he just needs the ears, I mean, yep. ears for me black adam is like almost a case study of a film that doesn't know what it needs to do to succeed uh they didn't know what to do with black adam and without even going to spoilers i was able to ask like um nathan is like all right if i was to ask you what is his goal and what does he want he is like oh holy crap i have no idea and uh, and so they were lost with like okay, it's that it's spectacle with no substance. And so if yeah. people just like the flashy superhero fighting with, you know, some real bad CGI at times, kids might enjoy it. For me, it was below average. Uh, the best thing for like, I, yeah, I did enjoy the Henry Cavill section, but for me, the best part was uh, Dr. Fate. Yes. And then they ruined him by the end as well. It's like, oh, they had Piers oh, Brosnan well, play Dr. Knows. Fate. It's, it's, <sighs> so, it, that is, I, I really liked him. I really, yeah. that was like the one thing I was actually looking forward to. Yep. And I do think they did well with it. Um, I, I don't like the end. We'll put it, we'll just put it that way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't like the yeah. end because I would have liked. Well, it doesn't make any sense considering one of the characters can reincarnate. So that, that was my question with <laughs> Hawkman. Why? Right, we're going to fucking spoil Black Adam right yeah. now. <laughs> if, you, if you don't want to be spoiled, for well, Black Adam, we don't fucking tune in. The, I know the don't, Hulk don't can reincarnate, so. so. Uh, three, two, one. Dr. Fate dies at the end. 
And he does it to save, so he sacrifices his life so Hawkman doesn't die. So Hawkman but doesn't Carter die. Hulk. Hawkman re gets reborn. <laughs> white if well, if we're using that iteration, right? If he's not Thanagarian, if he's not fucking an alien, well, and then, he actually is the reincarnation of Prince Kofu, whoever the fuck, then yes, he would reincarnate. So it doesn't make any sense. But they didn't really explain that very much. They didn't really explain his origins. Mm. So I, I don't, I, I guess right. I don't know. But, well, yeah, but Hawkman was, it, was just was confusing. Well, was, it Car was, was it was it Carter Hall as, as Hawkman? Yes. Yes. So so he it is that one then. So yes, he should be. Yeah. He, yeah. Hmm. Well, it, it was confusing from beginning to end. They introduce him and he's got a friggin' X Men like mansion Dude. and all these bloody resources. He's got a jet and it's like holy crap. Where did he get? Where, where the they fuck come was from? this? Where, where the fuck did the Justice Society come from? That was my thing with <laughs> yeah. it. Like, what the yeah, fuck? They same, were just but, there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like the, the Thanagarian one, he's like Qatar Hole or something. It's like something very close. So if he did come here and was oh. living, I could imagine he'd go by Carter Hall. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I, I, yeah okay. They didn't yeah. explain it. They didn't I saw the only it, good but... part of the movie on YouTube, so I'm good. Yeah, yes. so. yeah, I, yeah. I think this feels like a, a movie, like a transitional movie between the Whoa. old regime and hey, Careful and the, uh, the new regime. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, like sounds, the movie sounds pretty toxic. There, you the transition. There is, did, did you know there is toxic. people on YouTube who are very hesitant to say that, like the nickname for a car's transmission now? Like there, I've I've seen wow. a couple of times where like I can't Stop. even say. I can't Stop even it. say tranny, like, but it's I'm talking about, mission. Yeah. yeah, well, but the movie, so, the movie itself, I'm one of did you like just a, use a hard end? <laughs> I, holy shit. The movie itself sounds rules. like a confusing kind of like how the, the original movie, all the, all the other DC movies up until this point have been this like kind of nothing, just action, confusing story. A lot of the times because of like middle management and executives messing up the story. And then they're trying to come back and make this kind of traditional Superman story after this. It, hopefully, this, this, this thing was shot to hell. To uh, by the way, just I mean, a reminder. His, his suit looks cool. Just a reminder. It, it scored in test screenings ten points lower than Batgirl. Yeah, uh, it, it, the, fir the first it's hour correct. of it is frenetically paced and yeah. terrible. I, I'll yeah. just say this, and we'll fucking move on. But yeah. if this was a Marvel movie, it would have an eighty-five percent on yes, Rotten Tomatoes. Yes, it would. It would. This is the this is the equivalent to like kind of current day Marvel. It's very similar. Oh. But so, if you compare it to, I would rather watch this than most of the well everything from too. stage oh, four. Oh, agreed. Uh, yeah. But you know what? You you're know sure it's current because I okay, I haven't seen it, but I have seen the trailers. I've seen quite a few clips. Whatever the fuck. And to me, it looks like current day if current day is like 2009. Yes, that like, well it's said. Kind of like an, a phase one Marvel. Okay, ah. there's going to be Joss Whedon quips in here, and it's mostly action and kind of an end of the world plot with bad jokes. Sort of bad if jokes. Phase one was yeah. like really bad. Then yeah, uh, like 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 <laughs> Incredible guess. Hulk phase one. Uh, probably, <laughs> but worse. Yeah. I would, I, I would I equate bet. it to. I'd watch Thor a million times. I would this. too. No, I think Transformers is a good is a good comparison. A Transformers. I, I bet movie. I would like this more than Man of Steel and BVS. So, well, you know who's a big yeah, fan of Black would. Adam? Uh, Zack Snyder, BVS. It, it's Razor Fist. You know, Razor Fist is just Mister Zack Snyder. Big time. Yeah. And although, if The Rock <laughs> is in the main role, shouldn't it be like Off White Adam or maybe? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't black Adam. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really good. Polynesian <laughs> Adam doesn't really roll off no, the doesn't. tongue. It doesn't quite, yeah. <laughs> Pacific Islander Adam. Oh, no, no uh, I was I was counting down the days to see that. By the way, before we move on, rest in peace, uh, G4. We hardly watched ye. Yeah, <laughs> that was the problem. Lachaim. <laughs> um, oh God! Welcome to the show, sir. How's it going? Yes, Godspeed, and let, thank you for uh, having me back. I'm eager to talk about anything at all, but this fucking movie. <laughs> 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 uh yeah there's not well hey thankfully there's not much to talk about what ryan right. just said is pretty much the movie it is uh it happened uh like i said in the tweet i like my reese's pieces were far more memorable you know and uh when i walked out i forgot it and just uh, it's just the post credit scene they got well it's like look i i think we're kind of in a a post to, we're like in a post avengers endgame world where i think this kind of movie is not Look, I think we all know it's kind of the superhero thing is at least entering its final extremity. 
I think a movie like this would have played really great in like 2009, 2010, whatever, that kind of thing. At least that's the sense that I get. When it should have come but out. But it's like, yeah, it, in a post Top Gun world where people realize, holy shit, we could have blockbusters that don't have people in spandex. Yep. Like this is, holy shit, this is actually like a possibility. Um, you wonder like if their market is even there. I don't know. I mean, look, if it has a high score I... on Rotten Tomatoes, they can't all be Russian bots. No, I mean my take on my, my take well, on this King is would for argue me, with that. <laughs> I've loved superheroes my whole life. They'll never be out, out of, I guess, favor for me. It's just if give me good superhero stuff and the, the superhero content, especially the movies in particular and the Disney crap, it's just gar it's crap, it's garbage. And, and I think that's why it's really starting to bomb. But I think the market will always exist. If for me, like I'm I'm in that market. You make good superhero content, I'm there. Give it to me. Yeah, if you come like, out with a like good if you come out with a if you come out with Henry Cavill as Superman. And do, done Superman right, it, it, it's going to be a billion dollar film, easy. If yeah. it's done right, if it's made right, it's it's a if it's you know Superman and it's you know got that upbeat feel to it, it it's mm -hmm. going to make a billion bucks. If you do Batman right, it's going to make money. The problem is, is the Marvel Cinematic Universe has just kind of dominated the the kind of the trend of the superhero genre has destroyed any interest in it it's a lot like star wars i guess i haven't really followed with uh, andor after the first few episodes which i thought were it wasn't terrible but no you one's were, like, fucking watching it, it. yeah no like, one yeah, cares uh, about but, andor yeah but but i but it was like it was interesting enough but it just the third episode was super it's boring confident. so i just didn't fucking care anymore and no one cares about star wars anymore mm -hmm. but if you did star wars right they would still come back. The problem is, is they don't have people at these companies that can. No one at Lucasfilm can do Star Wars right because Kathleen Kennedy is still there. I would uh, argue. Now DC's. Go ahead, Jeremy. I would argue there's a window of time for that. Like, yes, you can, you can, you can uh, turn things around if you do it quickly. I think I don't think that even if Star Wars did turn around, they would get the entirety of their audience back. They would get a portion of it back, but the, it will never be what it was. They they have spent that goodwill. It is gone forever and when you the longer you take the less likely people are going to come back to it now you know what star wars looks like now i, I saw those andor stills and it just looks like a bunch of drab people in fucking beige uniforms being drab and gray it looks so fucking not star wars it's, it's just no like basic didn't bitch. you read the reviews it's noir that's <laughs> just like every fucking thing on everything planet is, Earth noir. is noir i made a peanut butter sandwich earlier fuck it it was it was goddamn noir motherfucker you're making a black and white sandwich razor fist yes the whole life. <laughs> I actually, my camera feed right now is noir yep. oh, this, this whole is show is smoke. noir right now fuck, actually is. if yeah, i like when really people write just fart right now we can get some serious noir going here <laughs> when, when people say noir now it just means that some people might find it boring that's like kind of like when you hear it described that just means that's a common criticism yeah yeah but now, now i just want razor fist to have a, like a slow-mo video of him making a sandwich like oh, yeah, honestly reflects you should, right? nutty true contrast to my own soul <laughs> there's like blind lighting there's lines that, on it like, it's very, noir like, noir adam she came into the office eating oh a my peanut God, butter sit and jerry Adam. sandwich. That is the opposite of noir in every way. Uh, well, it took uh, uh, 7.6 million on Thursday. And that's not good. Pe people are going to like write home about that. And um, I think what you have to compare it to is the most recent big DC release, which is the Batman. Um, that, I think, took 21, 22, 23 million dollars on Thursday. Um and made a hundred thirty-five million dollars. Batman was noir too. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and that made a hundred thirty-five million dollars opening weekend. Black Adam right now projected somewhere between sixty and seventy million, and it has no momentum of discussion for people um, to return, or there's no momentum from that perspective. This film's not going to do good. It's just not. yeah. A lot of people got fucking pissed at me when I said that a, a couple weeks ago, and I it doesn't seem like any of it's really been energ energized at to be, all. To be I fair, mean, I, was saying, I, don't, like, I think it's just the 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 audience. I think we're just kind of we're picking up to these movies aren't good anymore mm -hmm. and these comic book movies the things that we would love if they were good we would we could keep those things going forever but you kind of parallel it with the westerns right there were great westerns they were everywhere everybody made a western movie and then they got so saturated that people stopped watching them but we still have them they're still around but they're yeah. good ones 
Yeah, and there's, you know, good not, there's good Tom ones. There's good ones. I, 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 what I was trying to drive at actually, and failing to fucking articulate, was um, it's it's kind of like I think we're at a point where you make a good Batman movie, people are going to show up. You make a good Superman movie, people are going to show up. You make a good Spider Man, a good Iron Man, blah blah blah, people are going to show up. But I do think the day of Ant Man almost making a billion dollars is kind of yeah. over. I think <laughs> the day of Black Adam being a serious draw, like the the B and C level characters, I do, I don't think it's that that moment has passed, folks. Yeah. Unless so, you have yeah. like a really interesting take on it, like something like Joker comes out. Well, if you a, use the source material, it's a, it's a take if you on use it. the actual source material, that would be an interesting take. You know, that's what we expected yeah, from Marvel point, and DC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Joker feels like it came out of like Showcase '93 or Showcase, you know, kind of like that sort of era, independent, um, where they, film. you know, took took risks and experimented with. Uh, characters and actually there was uh, a joker story where he was a regular dude and actually did put on uh the makeup uh and i thought oh that's, that's actually quite a cool take on it and then you know 20 20 25 years later uh we see it in the cinema uh ryan uh the batman took 21.6 million so you were right all through that whole bracket uh and and yeah 7.6 million on a thursday it's not good um, I don't see this as a Black Adam film. I've never seen this as a Black Adam film. Uh, a Black Adam film? Oh, not, like not that Black either. Adam <laughs> film would I've be always, good. I've always seen this as a, a vehicle for The Rock, uh, which is when the, you know, they take, you know, The Rock's, oh, he's the number one dude in Hollywood. We need, we need yeah. vehicles for him. We need uh, roles. Oh, I, I like Black Adam. I like the idea of this, you know, Middle Eastern uh, sort of ruler who's an anti-hero. So... It's kind of like, uh, you know, you got to commit to the bit here. Uh, yes. You wanted Superman because you wanted Superman. You wanted to fight Superman. And if you're going to fight Superman, then you can't be an anti-hero. You got to be a villain. Mm -hmm. Can That's we just it, get was, some goddamn yeah. bloody villains back into universes instead of anti-heroes, please? That's well, it hit was, the nail on the head. It's a spinoff. Isn't it technically a spinoff of fucking Shazam? Like, yes. it's yeah. okay, but not amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, like, it's it, not incredible and by the way the rock was signed on to do another superhero movie and then that fell through he was supposed to be doc fucking savage and i was actually kind of looking yeah. forward to that because he kind of looks like him he does and i was like yeah. okay that could fucking work and then that died and then he wound up being black adam instead how long and, is and the thing is if it had had the budget of shazam this movie could have been successful because that shazam uh, that shazam movie was like 80 to 100 million dollar yeah. budget somewhere in that range and it made like 360 380 at the box office so it made a decent little chunk of change nice little you know 100 million 120 million dollar profit something like that uh but this movie caught they said we kept it under 200 million it was 195 million dollar budget so effectively 200 million dollar movie needs to make 500 million dollars to break even at the box office and with a start like that, mm. um, and a forty-five day it, window, forty-five day window, unless they change that. I don't think that's the same way for this one, but no, it, okay. it, like it just, I just don't see it doing that because I don't mm. see it having the same leg. Even the Batman, right? The Batman made seven hundred and sixty-nine million dollars worldwide. Uh, so you're looking at a decent two hundred fifty million dollar profit for a movie 67, like that. Sixty-seven, Ryan. Can you get your facts straight, please? Uh, fucking my liar. bad. My bad. I'm a fucking. <laughs> If I can get that straight, uh, but that <laughs> is, that had a fifty percent drop off like week to week. So that had great legs. Not only did it open way better than this movie's going to open, but it had great legs. So I just I don't yeah, think it dropped, it's in the it's tough to see this. It dropped fifty percent week one, forty five percent week two, forty four right. percent week three, forty six percent week four, five, whatever, forty one, forty two. Then it did a 61, but then it was back to 47. Then in it, so yeah, it, it had good, it had very good legs to the Batman. It's consistent, it's a consistent, mm -hmm. uh, bad ending. And and just to echo yeah. as this point, there, I mean, that, financially um, consistent, yeah. As you were saying that it was a vehicle mm. for The Rock, right? I, I yes. completely agree. I heard that The Rock was the one who was trying to make Black Adam uh, a more heroic, anti-hero, but heroic yes. thing. And that, to me, that was one of the things that ruined the film. Like, Black Adam, he can make a great villain. And if they committed to that and just go all in, he has such presence. He's got this cool factor and he's got this power. He could have been one of the greater villains in, the, you know, media, but they didn't want to commit to him. And instead, he's this wishy-washy hero who has no idea what he wants. 
Rose, and they they could have made something actually good with this. Yeah, and they could. He, he's kind it. of like uh, a mix, if you're a Marvel guy, of of Namor and Doctor Doom. You know, that's that's what they morphed him into, and that's why yeah. the JSA run in the in the mid aughts by Jeff Johns was fucking awesome. Read it. It's good stuff. Maybe maybe The Rock's not the the mega star that he is perceived to be. I mean, he's obviously a big star. He's obviously a big star. I'm not saying that. But, you know, we've had this discussion recently is about he? does he really turn the needle as much as the perception is that he turns the needle? Well, and I don't know if he a, does. A lot of this is. He's, I mean, the, he, he has a lot of hits, but he also has more bombs than a Belfast parking valet. Mm -hmm. The wow. dude. Oh, sorry, my cat's going <laughs> off over there. <laughs> <laughs> the cat was meowing. He's absolutely. He, he, cat he, loves he, the rock. Yeah. Look, okay. He did uh, fucking how many Jumanji. movies where he was wearing yeah. a baby yeah. shirt in the jungle. Welcome all to the jungle. Right, the yeah. jungle movies, book. Then he uh, did, but then he also jungle did cruise, jungle cruise, jungle cruise, 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 fever, jungle fever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you look You're at right. like he's done a he's done a lot, but uh, it, a lot of the stuff that he's successful in is is built in stuff. We talked about this on Tuesday, but yeah. I mean, I, I do think that he was the single reason that they kind of re he took the Fast and Furious franchise to another level. But that already had a foundation that he was building upon. It wasn't the rock into it, so he's not Tom Cruise. He's just not. But who is really? You know what I mean? Um, so this if this movie loses money, and it could, are we at the point where we think oh, it could uh, lose? I, I would be shocked if it made any money. And this That's is after Warner Brothers, remember, they, they said a couple of months ago, we only have enough money to release two movies the rest of the year. Don't worry, Darling and Black Adam. Ooh. But, so what the hell is Don't Worry Darling? Oh, that was directed by a woman. You shut your fucking Don't mouth. You. We respect you. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? I, I, I heard, heard it was, I heard it was a movie, like, like a real movie. <laughs> Well, isn't, isn't that isn't that the, the don't the worry movie? darling sounds like something black adam would whisper into your ear <laughs> that, was, <laughs> <laughs> that was the in, one with olivia wilde yeah where, yeah that where, was like, yeah harry or harry styles like almost spit on chris pratt or chris pine and, like oh, all that shit was going on yeah, 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 yeah. it was Which an anti-jordan peterson movie yep, was jordan peterson <laughs> yeah. was the villain and so, yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and, and, and olivia and, yeah olivia wilde was banging what she banging somebody on the set he yeah. was going to, wild. Harry Styles. He tried. He tried to lie about Shia LaBeouf, and then he fucking Shia had LaBeouf. like the receipts. And yes, he will not divide but us. But prior to this, prior to this, all the fucking shills were praising. Oh, she's done such a great job of you know weathering the yeah, storm. There's been a, a lot of controversy. Yeah, no, she did a fucking terrible job. She she did a terrible job of running this entire production. And none of the weirdos in the media want to call that out because oh, she's a female, and we have to no fuck that. She did a bad job. She's not good at what she does and she abused she was better her power. when she was showing her tits and alpha doll yep. she, she, that's when she was good. she abused her power so we have now we have and now God. achieved equality women can be just yeah. as awful as men can we now go back to directors who are just uh, on coke uh I mean, that, she made shia labeouf look normal <laughs> she did yeah, she I, smacked I, I the crazy out of shia labeouf he's like a normal guy now he's just like okay and namaste I, like i pulled up this tweet from a month and a half ago garrett um, this is from a Hollywood Reporter article is the original source, but Warner Brothers Discovery only has enough money to release two movies the rest of the year. Black Adam, Don't Worry Darling. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. they're in transition, guys. That's why they're, they're, they're in struggling. transition. Well, they, they've I mean, got yeah, a lot of debt. So. They do. And but like, that's why you have to bring back Superman and three versions of Batman. That, that's mm -hmm. that's the smart oh. thing to do. Now you Warner Brothers make is them all good. over the place, and that's why they, they, they can't just afford fired to cancel the Flash. They 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 can't, they can't afford to cancel the Flash. They can't afford to get yeah. rid of Ezra Miller and yeah. cut two hundred million dollars. They just can't do but it. But you know what? DC um, Comics totally safe. I'm hey, sure they're going to be fine. Listen, Nobody's going to get fired there at all for no reason whatsoever. But I really enjoy Warner Brothers struggling. No no reason behind that. It's not, <laughs> there has, there's no reason. There's no reason about them. Dude, not everybody, to be everybody, with gamers you guys, or anything everybody, like that. everybody is gone. I'm sure all those people are probably gone. They're all gone now. Like they're they all, all fucking gone. gone. 
They should be. By Everybody the way. that didn't want Zack Snyder to say with Geek Scare has been fired. Been Fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all you motherfuckers. <laughs> you fucking cocksuckers. You get what you fucking deserve. Get in line with Frost. Fuck off. Uh, yep. I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> that stream was a turning point in history. It you was. Save yourselves. <laughs> you guys it was. see they were talking about reshooting the Flash with um, they Elliot did. Page. What? No. No. Yeah, they were talking. It was I, no. I thought that was a meme. No. I thought that was a joke. <laughs> oh my god. This week they please. went back and did Ezra Miller please reshoot. Please so. do that. Oh my god. That would be the greatest no, gift from the content gods just ever. Put, just put oh, Elliot please. Page's face on Ezra yeah, Miller's face. Right. That's just, what I'm saying. Uh, it's it's finally somebody it. gonna inject some testosterone into that film. They really saying. should use Elliot. <laughs> Elliot Page should be like literally an X-Men, you know? Well, she was. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Shit, other way around. Yeah. Hey. She was. Yeah. No, he, 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 she, they Jim. were, the, what? It, well, was. it was a it she was. at the time. He yeah. was a she. Can I just use the pronoun? YouTube, it? we're confused, okay? So don't, don't demand. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to say it's it from now stuff. on. That's what I'm going to call. That's my preferred Amen. pronoun, it. Oh uh, boy! Oh, that's enough. Black Adam was a uh, uh, that was way too much talk about <laughs> a five out of that. fucking ten movie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. How hilarious would that be? From uh, her first superhero role was fucking Shadow Cat. Yeah, and then all of a sudden she's the Flash. <laughs> that, that is quite a fucking arc right there. Wow, I'm just saying. that's one hell of a trivia question in a hundred years. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is a trivial pursuit question waiting to happen. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my lord! Uh, hey, uh, let's talk about Rings of Power because I just want to, and then we'll get to G four, and we're gonna gloat a lot. And I'm I'm petty, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, yeah. Tom Petty. I, I, Tom Petty fentanyl, man. Killed a lot of rock stars, hasn't it? Yeah, it's getting a lot of people lately, huh? Yeah. But damn yeah. fentanyl. Thanks, Pfizer. Ryan wants Thanks to say lot, something Pfizer. so bad. Ryan wants to say I something. I know you so do. Bad. I know what you want to say. We're all thinking it's <laughs> I want to make a heartbreakers pun about know. the vaccine, but I'm not going there. Yeah. I'm not getting that demonetized. Hey, is that is uh, George, is George Floyd <laughs> Gaming still a YouTube channel? It damn sure better be. I haven't damn got any sure notifications so. lately. Uh -oh. Everybody has to put a fentanyl square in their Instagram. It's racism if that channel is no longer yep. exists. It's racism. Oh my God! Oh, my man's still alive. That's yeah. good. Wow. Heights has its knee still on alive. the pulse of the American public. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. From some angles, it looks like the knee is on the back. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, hi, 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 Twitter. <laughs> hi, Twitter. <laughs> We're getting clips. Hi, hey, Twitter. Seventy-five percent of you will be gone in a week, so we don't give a shit. We, we do. We have a quarter black here. We're good. No problem. Yeah. So. We got a check. Checkbox. <laughs> okay, let's just do this again. And an I, got, I got way more heat from my Batman review than I did you for that. You chicken so. shit ass. Oh, oh look at him. I'm about to eat my dinner. Black Adam, Don't look. Black Adam, Aww, take a bite. God. Black Adam did bring back memories for me because it was the first time I was sitting in my car reviewing a DC film since <laughs> I walked out of the Batman. Yeah. Uh, so. I saw yeah. the thumbnail and it was like my review and I was like, uh-oh. Uh -oh. say in this uh -oh. say? A, a lot of a I mean, lot of people in the comments what's the count ryan ryan <laughs> did, did you notice the general complexion of the intergang members yeah well, i did invaders you know they're, yeah. they're calling you mean all the british white people who are for, <laughs> for some reason <laughs> yeah that looking man from Papua New Guinea or some fucking place. Huh? That is funny. I, I'm, I'm. It's hilarious because you know the Rock is always. I mean, technically, is this kind of their Black Panther? Because he is. He is half black. They. Right? They. Are totally we allowed to say wanted, this? I don't feel like we should be saying that. Well, they totally <laughs> wanted to make Kandak there or Kanda. Right. They got the sign. They got the uh, enlightened oh. ancient civilization. They got the mysterious magic material ma mineral that is only located in their land. Yeah. Uh, like, Kanda oh. is Wakanda, but it's just like the fucking slums of Wakanda from the, like the Black Panther <laughs> the movie, where these people who live in this fu futuristic fucking palace, they walk down to be with the peasants, and they're like grilling in an open market. <laughs> they just look like homeless people everywhere. It's like That's Wakanda like Harlem, like flying machine. Yes. Yeah. This is I how a Marxist it. society. I love it. <laughs> you guys remember several years ago when 
there was the controversy about how WWE was supposedly racist because they never had a black champion. Yep, right? I remember. But I was like, wait, The Rock was the champion yes. a bunch, and he's as black as the first black president? Yep. What the fuck? It, yep. <laughs> yep. It counts there. It doesn't Christ. count here. Yep. Where's the he was in the Nation of Domination. Come Hell on. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah. With Farouk. Hey, wait, and a wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did it? No, did it? Okay. Here. Hey, did it? Bro, did it, did it Mr. Bro, T like this is in the, we're WrestleMania two win with Hulk Hogan? Right. Three. That, WrestleMania was three. It three. three. Uh, two. Three. I think Mr. T was WrestleMania no, three. No, 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 no. Uh, Andre and Hogan was three, I think. Oh, Andre Hogan three. Yeah. So, so two was Mr. T. Was yes. right, yeah, against Rowdy, uh, Rowdy, 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 Rowdy Piper, Rowdy, Rowdy, and Paul, Piper. Mr. Yep. Wonderful, Orndorff. I was high, and I still remembered that. Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I still racist I, though. Sorry. I really <laughs> haven't watched the. I haven't watched wrestling since like twenty. 12 or 2013 or WWE anyway no I know I know I, I gave AEW a, a short run there and uh, they're not bad well, they're doing I, the and best hell we're answer. we're talking about the rock he basically is never coming back because like I think the last time he did his thing he like tore a muscle or something like in, yeah, in yeah match, he's, uh, he's abdominals yeah and the what Hollywood Cena? people shit their depends in unison mm -hmm. and we're like you're never fucking doing that again, dude. You're our cash yep. cow. You're never going back. So he has it. He comes yeah. back and cuts a promo and he goes back home and that's it. Yeah. I'm never going to leave you again. And then he's not seen for 10 years. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Sounds like uh, dad. Sounds like so, dad. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Must not make <laughs> joke. <laughs> make joke. Make joke. The it's... Rock went out for a pack of cigarettes. All right, oh I'm done. My God. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> well, pack of Newport. But anyway, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mental. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> Ryan, I didn't know you went to the White House. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there is so much darkness in this world. Uh, <laughs> did, did you touch yeah. it? Darkness. Do you want to touch that? Was actually, God, yeah, I can't that's actually, sending... that, that was actually a quote from Ryan's Batman review right there. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that is true. It wouldn't be there's so much too, isn't there? There's so there's much, too much good much darkness in this yeah, world. Good. All right, Garrett, pick a dumb article to. Uh, to go. Oh, We've got I mean, so many, and well, then I, and then well, later, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and bounce since you're gonna start a new topic. I don't want to interrupt it once you get started. So, because I'm heading to Orlando, that's uh, so I uh, told Gary I was gonna be on for an hour. So, thank you guys. Have at it. I'll see you in Orlando. See you I'm in Orlando. Too much. So, Hi, this is Jeremy. Yeah, take it easy. And uh, you. Hey, congrats Jeremy, to Jeremy, before you go. Can I just say to you, check email. If that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, as as probably comes back here in a minute, I was just going to say, uh, shout out to the critical drinker on his Kickstarter. He's yep. yeah. really oh, love God, the that's drinker. going crazy. Uh, and, and also, I know, Shad, you're you're crushing it. And I know Razor, Razor Fist has a book that like, we're going to link in the description for all these. Yeah. That's what this shit's all about, man. Yeah. I mean, we got 15,000 people watching streams. Support these people that are creating shit. That's the most important thing right now. Uh, we complain about a lot of shit, oh, but don't, we also don't let him back we got in. a lot of people creating Do not, stuff. No. So. No, 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 um, he doesn't. No, man, yeah, just leave him out. Just leave him out. Uh, all right, that's a Jeremy. I'll Lee's. see all of you in Orlando. Bye, everyone. Oh, man. Bye. 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 Left. What oh, a fucker. he's not even vexed anymore. Hey, I'm in the second spot. I'm in yes. the second spot. This is a oh, 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 oh my god. How does it feel? Oh. How does it feel? Oh, uh, and just like that, he was taking it. I'm, the and I'm oh, stuck being the Alice in the Brady. Bunch. You are. Right. <laughs> you you only get second chair if you have uh, if you have one of these, Shad. Oh, what are you saying? So I'm basically saying you have to be gay. Thanks, Ryan. That's a bit. Wow. No, that's, we're all about diversity. Well, well, I mean, Alice was a lesbian, but I don't think uh, Razor Fist is a lesbian. So. Uh, is she like a gag? And Shed is person? cousin Oliver. Yeah, uh, yes, he is. He really is. Hey, uh, hold the fort for a second, Garrett. Pull up that article. I got to go get my uh, laptop because I forgot. Pull it. it out. I pulled whip, it out. Excuse me while I whip this out. Excuse me while I whip this out. The Ring of Power had halo effect on oh. Amazon Prime video content, says Jennifer what? Salt. Uh, <laughs> halo effect? Like the the halo TV series? 
I, well, I the mean halo know. effect is in it killed it, and now they're just angels. Is that what the effect? Yeah, is? like in no way is, is Galadriel self insert. In no way. Yeah, in no it's, way at all. Well, they're gonna I have a what season they're suggesting two. Is, okay, if I understand the halo effect, it's uh, like when somebody's famous, but they're actually ugly. So because they're famous, you assume they're attractive, right? Uh, like the Colin Farrell. Uh, uh, it's pretty much the same analogy. It says, right. but like this whole article is so much cope because at the end she's like, but we're really excited about uh, uh, the 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 growth opportunities we have in Nigeria. <laughs> what? I, uh, yeah. Yeah, hey, I love Nigerians, but <laughs> hey, hey, you know. they're they're really gonna like around you. I don't think so. that's like. Oh, help so you that's out, what Amazon that was. Part. I was listening to the alternate audio track. I thought it was Morse code. Actually, <laughs> Nigeria is like. Look anyway, at me. we are the audience now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> look at me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I's the MCU gay. Right. <laughs> Why are you running? Why, Why are you? <laughs> yeah, so, like, the, the theory would be because all the new eyes on this, with so many people watching Rings of Power, that they tuned into like the other Amazon originals and gave them a boost. Unfortunately, uh, there's no way to prove that. They're not going to tell us the numbers. And it, it didn't give enough of them a boost to put it up in the top 10 of ratings or anything like mm. that. We actually yeah. did see with House of the Dragon that Game of Thrones returned to a top 10 streaming show. It actually Ooh. did give a boost to other things. Uh, we have the tangible evidence to back that up. Yeah. It, this it is just, just so happens to be bullshit. It just yeah, so it, happens it, to be Jennifer Salk, the person that would benefit from positive PR doing spin. Well, and, Halo and I think I can say this if... If I can't, then to that person, I'm sorry in advance. But it's always best to ask for an apology. That what's that saying? I'm ask too, for forgiveness and permission. Than That's permission, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. applies to sex no, as I well. Think it goes. Yeah, ask for <laughs> forgiveness. <laughs> not <laughs> <even>. <laughs> Bro tip! Hashtag bro oh, tip! No. <laughs> I Twitter, Twitter, I disavow. I disavow right oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're so dead on this one. <laughs> I, 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 it was a joke, guys. I would never ask for forgiveness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, are we still monetized? No. <laughs> the Halo effect um, is real. Maybe. Do you guys think that She-Hulk gave a boost <clears throat> to say sex in the city? Sure, no. It no. should, right? I mean, according no. to Jennifer Salk, right? No. So it's Jennifer Salky. <laughs> Uh, came from NBC. Is it sulky? It's sulky. Sulky? Sulky. Sulky, sulky. Uh, yeah. And so she sulky. doesn't know shit about shit, basically. Especially when it comes to, like, fantasy and big tent projects. She doesn't know shit about shit. Uh, well, that's pretty fucking obvious, by the way. Knows how to talk um, shit. She canceled Conan, for sure. She Christ. canceled. She passed on Conan. Absolutely right. confirmed, by the way. That is yes. the truth. They had Miguel Sapochnik. Midnight's Edge reported on this years and years ago, and I'm sure you did too, Razor Fist. They had Miguel Sapochnik and uh, Ryan Kandel with a, uh, a Conan uh, story that was uh, negotiated by Roy Price, who was there prior to... Jennifer Salky, it was all ready to go. She got rid of it because of toxic masculinity. Oh, and they oh. were, by the way, Hour of the Dragon, which is basically just Elric and Melna Benet, the TV yes, series. Yes, yes, yes. Um, <laughs> they could have done that first. They they had an Elric show pitched to them. Oh. And uh, uh. yeah, yeah. And I, the guy who pitched it to them, I saw, talked, I went back and forth with him a little bit on Twitter. And uh, Michael Moorcock talked about this. He said he did. Uh, they pitched it. And they said no. Oh, it's too much like The Witcher. Oh, fucking idiot! Oh! <laughs> you oh, fucking oh, idiots! Oh, they oh, could have oh, had oh, Hour oh, of the Dragon before Hour of the Dragon, and these morons <laughs> passed on. Uh, <laughs> they, they they did, and they're morons. So yeah, she has a background in marketing. I'll just leave it there. More on that later, maybe we'll see. But she has a background in marketing, so that's her thing. Her deal is to professionally lie. Uh, which, you know, I guess yeah, it's a she good looks gig. so much like an old morphed. Clark. She really, she does, does really she? does. Wow. I don't know if that had anything to do with the casting, but I'm just going to roll with the self insert thing. Conflicted. I'm just going to roll with it. Cause my God, we reviewed she ourselves like a... and found ourselves to be great. Oh, she <laughs> does. Positive. She, okay. Let's go down. In she... fact, all our other products are also really <laughs> all right. Great. So hit the go first paragraph, them. Garrett, hit the first paragraph and then we'll skip. Cause well, they basically repeat the same shit. They say, Hey, Amazon's Lord of the Rings rings. Oh, sorry. Damn. 
I'm not supposed to say Lord <laughs> of the Rings. Rings of Power Season 1 had a halo effect on the streamer's other temples, such as The Boys and Wheel of Time, according to the very unbiased <laughs> <laughs> studio yes. boss Jennifer Salky. Now go down. She, she, they, so hang on. Like, are they actually saying that Rings of Power was so bad that everyone just started looking for yes. other things to watch? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> it. Within five minutes, <laughs> if you were still awake, you went and watched other things on <laughs> on Prime Video. That's exactly what that <laughs> so means. Bad. Go past, go down past the Target ad with all the candy. Right there. Oh, okay, no, no, wait, up, where up, is up, it? Up, 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 up. Good book, good book. Oh, my God. Now uh, I want candy corn. Up a little more. Up a little more. Uh, okay, yeah, right Where there. Right there. No, 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 stop. Oh, I got it. Okay. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> right right no, 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 stop, stop. Uh, Rings of Power was dropped. Uh, Rings of Power down. was dropped. Left thumb down, left thumb down. <laughs> don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. <laughs> okay. Focus in 10%. Dee -dee -dee. No, sorry. Uh, Rings of Power was dropped weekly on Friday over the past two months and ended four days ago. Sulky rejected the notion. That there was an overwhelming pressure on the show to perform due to its multi-hundred million dollar price oh. tag. Wasn't she the one Just that said that this reality. has got to have a massive worldwide audience for it to be yeah. successful? Yes. <laughs> She, did she, she reject it, it as I she rejected her what I said. or Bezos or was it both that literally said if this doesn't succeed we're done with original program Be oh, Bezos <laughs> that was leaked from inside Amazon um oh, that boy. that's what some insiders were saying they're basically like hey nice. if it if, if this can't succeed with this much money and this IP then what the fuck is the purpose of us making original yeah. content yeah, uh, which honestly, uh, you don't even need an insider to say. You just have to look at how much they spent on the property. You know that it has to be a uh, how, massive how hit. soon? How soon did Disney get rid of the Angels and the Mighty Ducks when they bought them in the '90s? Pretty fucking quick. When they realized it was just a vanity project and these things aren't that profitable for a corporation. They might be profitable and great tax write-offs for billionaires, individual billionaires, but for corporations, they're fucking terrible. This is the same thing. Right. It's the same thing. Uh, so that it's is it possible? Sure. Will it happen? I doubt it right away. I mean, if this if they keep going down if, this road. If they whiff two seasons in a row, which they will, you think they could they could totally sell it. They could get rid of it and be like, oh well, well, well again. They done. bought it already. So like the money is there and they're committed to five seasons and, and they have to pay for all that shit. And the way <laughs> things are paid for now is not in really in licensing. It's percentage of budget goes to who you bought the franchise from. That's how things are paid wow. for now. So uh, they have to they, they have to spend a certain amount of money on it. That would be my guess. Uh, so the people who are being paid are very happy. Uh, there was not a lot of anxiety, she added. Of course, the story, <laughs> which is total bullshit. Of right. course, the story has to be great, and you have to love these characters, which nobody does. If this show well, yeah, had failed. <laughs> <laughs> completely uh if this show had failed sh fall if this show had fallen short of what audiences uh, require then it would have felt like a disappointment but it didn't you need ambition <laughs> what scope and call you're delusional over on that Damn. He's like, I don't, I, don't, I don't look fat in these pants. I look I great in these pants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I look well. great. Everyone, the, this is fine, mean. The house is burning down. This yeah. is fine. Yep. I mean, like, All of my paid employees told me I look skinny in these jeans. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so did my husband. <laughs> I was a 10. <laughs> my husband, who I also pay. Yes. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. All the nine-year-olds are phoning me up saying that she holds an amazing <laughs> show. Oh, yes. God. So here's the last sentence of that. You need ambition, scope, and confidence to deliver <laughs> on this kind of bullshit because this is bullshit. So I give her that. And then she's she, not on cocaine. She's on copium. She's on, she's just, her yes. pants are on fire. Her you pants, You don't need yes. scope, ma'am. You need cope. <laughs> why, oh. why are your pants on fire? <laughs> then she... Quickly changes the subject to the Russo brothers and a series called Citadel, which apparently is shit, but it's getting spinoffs in other countries. Then speaking alongside Salky, head of international uh, originals, James Farrell pointed out to pointed to Nigeria as a major growth <laughs> opportunity. Oh my God. Look at me. <laughs> Uh, I am that that to the Nigerian Stop asking about market. the rings of power. Look I over Nigeria. here at Nigeria. <laughs> I can see it now. Fucking commemorative rings of power lip discs. I just, I can see it. 
Nigeria. Um, that's a weird somebody, flex, Jennifer. That's somebody a please flex. do the Marvel headquarters with just Nigerian flags <laughs> flying above. Dude, this is like when you check your podcast analytics and I'm, like, and I'm like, wait, two downloads in Nigeria. That Surely that has to be a mistake. <laughs> We're having great growth in Nigeria. Yeah. Yep. All these, it's like the WWE when they were like, all these Indian people are watching the YouTube channel for free. There's a great opportunity for us to go in there and they made nothing. They're watching it for free because that's the only thing they could afford. Nothing. Like, what are you yeah. Maybe a lot of people pirated it. Oh, By the way, yeah. that's, the, that that's the end Bro, of the no, article. No, no, no. Those were literally Nigerian end. pirates. They were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was the end of the are article. You're the head of Rings of Power. I'm the head of Rings of Power now. <laughs> I'm the <head> of <laughs> I'm the war Garrett, go back to that headline. Go I back to the headline. <laughs> Now that we've read the entire article, I want to just read the headline again because, like, she provides oh. no data. Hey, Jennifer, I haven't had a laugh like that for fucking ages, darling. So they amazing. literally Thank took you. her word for it. She just said, oh, it had a halo effect on our stuff. I'm not going to provide any fucking Deadline's data. Deadline's like, yep. <laughs> yeah. okay. well, to, well, to be fair, they did, like, they did, the headline is... Hey, it had a halo effect, says Jennifer yes. Salk. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but the reason she initiates that, like that was initiated by her. Uh, I will. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, the, they are, they're trying to fight. Uh, even Forbes turning on him of all fucking rags. Now it wasn't Scotty Mendelson because he's too busy watching cuties, but he's you know he's not going to watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Eric um, Kane has been slamming Rings of Power since the beginning. Um, Paul Tassi doesn't really like it either. No, so. Guardian did a one eighty on it after it had finished, and their uh, obligation to suck its dick had finished as well. Mm -hmm. This title but is one hundred percent correct. Yeah, a hundred percent correct. Yep. Everything mm -hmm. surrounding Rings of Power was way more interesting than mm. the fucking bland well, ass, amazing is, ugly like, show that you made. There have been good Amazon original shows. Yep, it's like they yeah. forgot how to make shows. They in the same the year. first couple of seasons of Man in High Castle are fucking great. Yep. Um, yeah. The, the first the, the, every season of Bosch except for the last two is fucking fantastic, and you should watch mm. them. Right? There are great shows on Amazon Prime, but it's not this. No. It's like either yeah. after this broad took over, although some of that stuff came out after she took over. So I don't, I, I, you know, whatever. But it's like whatever happened here, the last several original programming shows that they've made have just been aside from shit aside from I, terminalist I and reacher Reacher's... hang on hang on like she didn't negotiate most of this stuff that's coming out she like like right. the basic bitch stuff with the um with the russo brothers yes uh conan wheel of time lord of the rings i'm i'm forget the boys were, were not negotiated by her they were negotiated by a guy named roy price who was there and got me tooed a man got a man got me tooed Shocker. Mm, shocker. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that Reacher was pretty good. I think yep. the Terminalist is really fucking good. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Invincible, I enjoyed. Invincible was pretty good as yeah. well. It, her taking over kind of reminds me of what happened to the head of HBO several years back. You remember that? Where yep. um, that was how Rome and Deadwood and The Wire all got canceled and Carnival, mm. I think, too, where <sighs> the head of HBO went to like Las Vegas and punched a hooker and did a bunch of blow. And like he was I the original Me guy. Too guy, although <laughs> it, he, it was actually legit. He was just a drunken fuck up. <laughs> so all of his shows got canceled and we got stuck with uh, Game of Thrones and True Blood. True Blood and, and then Euphoria and everything else after that, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Those were such West good World. shows. Car Carnival was awesome. Rome was brilliant. Deadwood, one of the greatest shows of all time. Uh, so many good shows. Now all gone. Yeah. And, and the Blood, wire, oh. the wire, they did let them wrap up. Yep. At least they made the but, movie uh, right. And Rome, they rushed the last season, but they did let them wrap up technically, right? <laughs> and they were supposed but to Deadwood, get more, just according up to a years um, ago. Ray Stevenson, because uh, he when he played the Punisher, he came by my comic shop. We talked about it. And they were supposed to get more. It was very sad. The greatest Punisher ever. That movie fucking rules. He I punches love. through a guy's skull. God That's damn it. Insane. Yes. That movie's insane. Is Directed by Asimo, love it. by the way. She's crazy. I watched a, a whole podcast where she explains how that movie was made and everything. And she's she's just as kind of batshit and crazy as you would think. Who? It's pretty great. The director of Punisher Warzone. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's well, she nuts. was she she's she doesn't make movies like that, right? And she was like, as soon as she read the script, she was like, oh shit, the only way I can go with this is eighties action movie. This is yeah, Death Wish and she now. does it. We're doing this. Yep, and it's fucking awesome. Yeah. I love that movie. I like all the Punisher movies. I like, but it's I think they're Warzone is the best. But I like them all. Uh, you know, they're all pretty even the Dolph Lundgren one. I like that one too. They just need a skull. That's all. Great fucking movie. What what is that? Yeah. What do you call three hundred and fifty murders in two years? A work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't make them like Love that Dolph. anymore. They won't make them like that anymore. But uh, pull that article back up in a second. Mm. We'll read a couple super chats, but we do have to because that's Forbes. actually a pretty good article. Uh, the Forbes one. Yeah, I got it. And it has nothing to do with my tweet being featured in that in Forbes at all. <laughs> okay, it actually oh. do, it doesn't. I would have read Where it anyway. Is it? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm not guessing mm -hmm. Forbes is a big fan of Nerdrotic or any of us here, but um, I'm trying to find maybe it. Ryan. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. It's like, okay. Wow. I mean, like that's when I was spurging out uh, d during the final. I like just was losing my shit on Twitter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Throbbit Dildo Sagans <laughs> on wow. the stream left side for fifty dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail Razor Fist. And all hail the Iron Age of media. Check out Iron Age author Robert Rob Ryan's and his Barbarians of the Storm books, ripping good reads that will take you back to the glory days of heavy metal magazine. Metal Herlant. Yeah. Oh, heavy metal magazine, man. I got a bunch of them. Uh, thanks to a Razor Fist video, I found out I didn't have one of them, though, which is technically the the uh, the strip that inspired Blade Runner uh, by... Um, Oh, the long tim. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The long tomorrow. The long tomorrow by Dan O'Bannon, yeah. right? Is, uh, O'Bannon. Yes. yes. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. And, and that's one of the first four or five issues, I think. Yeah. Um, but I, I've got them right behind me, actually. Yes, but you do. They they collected that in graphic novel for me, so you don't need it. But I needed the first. But you know, I'm a collector, dude. So I needed the. <laughs> well, needed and it. and actually, heavy metal. That was one where. It's kind of reverse Playboy. You literally do read it for the articles. There were fucking great. Like they teased when when Blade Runner was gonna come out. There was all this behind the scenes shit in there. And man, some of the articles in Heavy Metal Magazine were fucking awesome, actually. Hey, and honestly, the only reason I ever discovered it, I was in the grocery store. My mom left me alone, and I'm like, <coughs> boobs. I see boobs. They're drawn boobs, <laughs> boobs. but they're boobs. And uh, that's how I discovered Heavy Metal Magazine. I was a young. Oh whippersnapper <clears throat> i wish i'd make a new movie that'd be awesome and like don't think about any of the current culture it just make a heavy metal magazine tradition. they're working on it they're Animated making one yep. oh they are they oh, already teased yeah. it yeah um yes. apparently it's uh who's doing it? gonna who's... be i don't know they showed some chick as tarna so apparently it's gonna be live action or they're gonna try and make it live action or something something like that hmm. interesting uh, did you see uh, Red Sonia is being directed by the same guy who did Solomon Kane? And Red Sonia kind of looks like Red Sonia now. So yeah, yeah. we'll see. Really? Yes. Uh, th well, that guy did a great job with Solomon Kane. Yes, Kane's, he did. So. Yeah. Love that movie. Uh, the culture yeah. war surrounding the rigs of power was more interesting than the series itself. Now, that could be said about Disney, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Star Trek, Marvel, DC. I mean, like everything. Quite honestly, the 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 content on YouTube has been better than any of the shit in the last two years easily. Uh, yep. but you know, Hey, Hey, good on you for bringing it up. Uh, before it even aired, the rings of power was engulfed in controversy. <clears throat> Tolkien fans were alarmed to hear that Jeff Bezos now held the rights to his beloved IP in the smog in his smog like talons, especially after it was revealed that Bezos intended to replicate the success of HBO's game of Thrones. And who knew that it was game of Thrones behind the scenes. <laughs> behind the scenes it was holy shit uh the fact that amazon only had the rights to one of the lord of the rings appendices a summary of the second age and none of tolkien's stories was another concern when tolkien scholar tom shippey mysteriously left the series hmm did he leave did he get fired mm. did he leave it's, mis it's did mysterious he? it's mysterious i mean Either way, it looks bad. He either left because he wasn't happy with where I was going, or he was fired because they didn't want to listen to him. So yeah, yeah, and uh, mm, that'll probably come out later. We'll see. We don't know. After serving as a consultant, and by the way, like they, and then invoking his name later at Comic Con was just dude. Fire. 
fuck off. Um, fans grew worried that the ad- adaptation would not be faithful. <laughs> well, uh, more focused on building the Amazon brand than respecting Tolkien's work. Not to mention Peter Jackson's near perfect Lord of the Rings trilogy raised the bar incredibly high, and fans saw what happened with the disastrous Hobbit trilogy, that which now honestly looks better. Still not good, but better. Uh, which cynic, uh, cynically stretched a short children's novel of little more than 300 pages in the three bloated blockbusters, <laughs> showing uh. that corporate greed could easily taint Tolkien's legacy, and that's what should be involved, even yeah. with Jackson involvement. Now, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that, you know, uh, Guillermo del Toro kind of left him uh, yeah. or was fired. We don't know, uh, but left them uh, with a bit of a disaster that they they should have just delayed it and redid it, but they decided to stick with their original release dates, and it kind of fucked everything. Uh, When the first trailer for The Rings of Power dropped, the reaction was overwhelmingly negative. Shoddy CGI and an emphasis on floaty weightless action sequences hinted that the worst fears of the fan base were coming true. Commenters on YouTube spam the trailer with a pointed quote falsely attributed to Tolkien. Uh, hmm. Evil is, well, okay, it's it's paraphrased, but it's yeah, paraphrased it's paraphr- from Sam in The Fellowship. So, yeah, uh, evil is unable to create anything new. It can only distort and destroy what, it, uh, what has been invented or created by the forces of good. But, I mean, it's still applicable. Oh, All yeah. about applicability and not allegory right Tolkien fans am I right uh the diverse casting of the new series also sparked a loud racist backlash Tolkien's world Mm -hmm. oh god I hate this fucking narrative I hate this narrative it's such bullshit it's it was a red flag. That's it. They 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 race swapped somebody in House of Dragon. Nobody gives a shit. They've race swapped a lot of people. Nobody gives a shit. But when it comes to Tolkien's world, he meticulously put it together and did account for other races that Amazon ignored, by the way, because they didn't want to put them in a bad light because of the bigotry. They race swapped them. Low expectations. So. Yeah, they took the dark people and race swapped them so they could make yeah. them pieces of shit and no one would complain. Yep. <laughs> yep. Wow. Exactly. Exactly. And it's it's like you could have gone outside, slightly on the periphery of the map of Middle Earth. You have countries where there are darker hued people and so forth. Problem is, a lot of them allied with Sauron. Some did not, or or they had ulterior motives for just invading Gondor or whatever the hell, right? But they decided not to go that route. They decided instead. We'll race swap dwarves and also now dwarves, instead of being Scottish mixed with Norse kind of sounding, they're all kind of Irish. Yeah. (laughs) Stage Irish. And by the way, Gondor later on were angels. So you could definitely like there could have been a trade dispute. You could have done a lot of things. Oh, by the way, you remember uh, the Nas girls, the three Easterlings that were going (laughs) after what they thought was Sauron were all, uh, well, no, two of the three, I guess. I can't tell on one. We're lily white. And they were Easterlings. So that's another thing. You know, you chose not to do that because they were evil, although yeah. they were women. Uh, Tolkien's world, like many fantasy worlds, is a place of racial essentialism. Uh, and the fan base has always been infected to some degree by <laughs> racists, of course. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, this is so crap. crap. No. Oh, I'm so I mean, close to bingo with oh, that. You are. Uh, you, uh, like, I'm... you can say, like, this massively wide reaching property might have some racist. Guess what? I bet there's racists that eat McDonald's as well. You know, it's yep. just, just racist drink water. water. Yep. I know. Mm. Oh, Hitler drink water. Hitler water. Hitler drink water. You can't prove it, as you can't prove that. Well, would well, you know what I can prove, Odin? <laughs> I can prove this. Fuck Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> so brave. Yeah. You can't say that. You're a white supremacist. Never so been so brave. Fucking brave. <sighs> I know. So I was brave. watching. Uh, I was watching. Odin. Sil- uh, go on. Odin, did my people tell you that you look like the God of War Ragnarok guy? Kratos. I've got it a couple times, but I mean, I'm bald with a beard, so it's kind yeah, of you know. you got the whole say outfit. boy, say boy, boy, a hey boy. boy. 
a little more like a... don't, don't say it like a country person. Yeah, say it like yeah a... you sound like Arthur Morgan. Hey boy. That's the no, 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 that's the that's the country version is a hey boy. Hey boy. Well, that's the, squeal like a pig. Oh, that's that's the Tolkien you got a fan pretty version mouth, according boy. to this article. <laughs> you look mighty fine in those jeans, boy. But yeah. ding 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. To, that needs to be my soundboard. Like every time Jeremy talks, just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great one. War Eagle or whatever he says. Yeah. That is the opposite of what he says. Eagle Flame. Uh, Which lost to Tennessee. <laughs> War Damn Eagle. Uh, Alabama okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, we're racist. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I found I found a podcast that like is ear cancer. So I'm gonna share. We're gonna we're gonna go over just the first ten. So minutes. you're gonna share the cancer. So we're gonna listen to it. Yeah, awesome. yeah we're all gonna it's listen to so it. It's, no, good. it's an entire it's so podcast retarded. dedicated to far right, uh, far right fascists in Tolkien. Like that's and yeah. it's and it's Yay. all dedicated towards the criticism of the rings of power. That's it's all and it's two academics and one of them. Yeah, it's all like NPR. They're like, yes, yeah, it's, it's those, super uh, NPR. Yeah. All right, fans welcome. My favorite was the guy who is the who was the, the racist. He's he like the professor or yes. expert or scholar of conservatism, and if you hear him. He doesn't sound like a scholar. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm wrong. You know, don't want to be too judgmental. We'll just uh, say he's probably a commie. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's got his degree sure. from Twitter. Well, I'm trying to conserve the communist values of it's all uh, oh, the world. In this oh, podcast, no. they say the far right democracy. started the culture war. <laughs> oh, boy, <laughs> fucking shit. And, and that we, we all talked to Steve Bannon. Yeah. Yep. I'm totally in right the now. sense right that the culture war started when one side of it actually started replying <laughs> after years and years of just yeah. getting unremitting shit on. Yes. That's like, <laughs> if that's what they that's mean. That's like saying, you know, the country that invaded another country didn't <laughs> yeah. start the war. It only started when the ones being attacked defended themselves. Yep. yep. What freaking bullcrap is that? Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> We'll get to it. Uh, while Tolkien described his own political beliefs as leaning towards anarchism, a left-wing nice. ideology that aims to abolish hierarchy and open. Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's unpack with that. First, he, source. Where's the source? That's he's a traditional like, yeah. Catholic. I, if I anything, he he's here. towards he's 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 towards monarchy. If anything, I know. Like, like where the hell did they get that from? And second, <laughs> anarchism. I thought that's about abolishing governments, not abolishing yeah. all hierarchies. Yeah, and it goes across it's, both the left and the right. So yeah, it's not a left right wing there. ideology. Okay. What freaking bullcrap is this? <laughs> no, this guy. Like, no, he liked monarchs. He liked monarchies. He he longed for the days. All about the con like conservative, yes. like conserving the past, keeping the countryside. That is some anti, uh, yeah. Like, he was a conser so like he was a conservationist in the uh, like he hated uh, the fires of industry. He hated big companies. He would have probably fucking hated Amazon and everything oh, they do yeah, and the way they treat their employees. Them. Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, yeah. Anar anarchy is... Oh, mm, oh. That's somehow left-wing, though, Gary. Where, where is your hyperlink to that, buddy? Uh, and openly yeah, despise... Not only that, but I mean, he... You just gotta trust me. Oh, it's a Twitter from the OneRing.net. Tolkien goddamn near disowned Lord of the Rings just because yes. he heard hippies fucking like it. Yes. Dude, there's a great story about, so I love Michael Moorcock, Elric, but Michael Moorcock has the politics of a Starbucks barista, right? Yes. He, he was a hippie back in the day. He was a roadie with rock bands, whatever. Um, never did drugs, but he was around a lot of like acid rock bands and whatever. So he had, you know, his politics were pretty rough. He met Tolkien while he was still alive. So you can imagine this piss stinking young hippie who's a sword and sorcery writer <laughs> meeting like pipe smoking fucking longing <laughs> for the Victorian age. Yeah. And, and dude, Michael Moorcock still tells the story to this day. He just his only words on the subject are I did not come away impressed. <laughs> he, he, uh, Mor I guess Tolkien basically told him to shit in his hat. Yes, uh, Moorcock later went on to call Tolkien a fascist. He did. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but so he, 
Yeah, yeah, that is some that is some grade A bullshit right there. Devout Catholic longing for the Victorian age is an anarchist. Okay, <laughs> um, uh, and openly despise the horrors of Nazi. Everybody hates the yeah. Nazis. Okay, uh, fuck Hitler. <laughs> I, I think that's a pretty decent base. Even the Nazis hate the Nazis. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty decent baseline to go off of. Is everybody <laughs> hate the fucking Nazis? Okay, and apartheid. Apartheid sucks. Uh, the far right had always found its framing of orcs as <clears throat> irredeemably rotten savages. They were evil like demon beings. That's why. Uh, you know, created that's by the framing of Satan. Orcs, yeah, basically. Like that's <laughs> in the lore <laughs> though. But they're people. They're corrupt. Well, that's the thing. They're not defined. Beings. This actually undermines his entire premise. He's claiming it's racial absolutism. But orcs aren't defined by their race. They're defined by their attribute, which is corruption. They're a corruption of elves. Yeah. That's all it is. Boom. They're not. Yeah. It's like, not of like the essence of the of race to something? be evil. It's the fact that they're corrupted that makes them evil. Fuck yourself. Yeah. And also, where, where's this connection? The far right have always found that framing. You okay. Know, let me see what the yeah yeah. Where's the hyperlink it's go? Like, you, we, 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 won't, crap, like, we won't see it, but you'll see it, Garrett. So. Because I have a feeling. Oh, I got to subscribe to New York Times. No. Yeah. Eat my ass. No. I'm if it goes that. to the New York Times, then we just know it's bullshit. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it feels very much like they're drawing a connection between orcs and certain groups of people and not the far right. Because I say, you know, you're the, the far right that's like uh, seeing this connection for obvious reasons. Like, I don't think I saw that for obvious. I think you're the one saying something is obvious to you and that you're drawing a, a really bad connection between orcs and uh, other people. Uh, it's yeah, definitely the I, left I don't know. I thought it was a little on the nose. They've been doing this with D&D. Yes. Yeah. No. They, I thought they, it was a little the, on the nose in that one Rings of Power episode when they had one of the orcs tap dancing on a pan fried watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, there was a little Abner cartoon. Very strange. Uh, they actually they they had the orcs uh, white. They were painted white yeah. in white robes. Like, there was the KKK rally <laughs> it was, scene. It was like like they, they even wearing kind of hooded like helmet yeah. things. Like, yeah. <laughs> So, so I mean, I'm gonna sorry, state, stating the obvious here. I must apologize because that's what we do on YouTube. Uh, they, they being the activists, need it to be the far right. They've needed the opposition to be the far right this whole time, and the far left, communist, Marxist uh, activists have been circling this franchise since the '60s, since since hippies were liking it, and it pissed them off. They're like, no, no. You can't be in an escapism. You need to be grounded yep. in reality all the time to fight the power for activism. We can't have comfort. Comfort is for fascists. I mean, like, yep. I, I have some old audio of a guy. It was a Tolkien documentary, yep. and they decided to put an activist from, this is from 1973, like, straight up saying that. Straight up saying, no, no, escapism is bad for activism. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, and this is this is a big part of the culture uh, of the cultural revolution this idea that everything has to arc back around politics um, i talked about this in my hollywood communism video where um albert maltz who was a card-carrying communist wrote an article called what shall we ask of writers in a communist publication or a socialist publication and he basically said hey uh, all this propagandist writing is making our stories really really shitty and, and and then he was browbeaten by his own side and basically brainwashed. They literally locked him inside a house for days on end. They brought Damn. party apparatchiks in to just browbeat him and get him to basically recant his stance. The struggle he had to go around to him and humiliate himself. He had to get up in front of like crowds full of Hollywood actors and that's recant Disney's his MO. And yeah, that's yeah, what wow. Disney did. So, so like what this has been going on for a long, time. long time. Long, 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 long time. Uh, Patrick Stewart. I'll, I'll never forget your video where I saw Patrick Stewart. Who was the Who was the guy who uh, ratted out, um, or they saw him as a rat during the whole? Uh, it's not McCarthy. Elia Kazan. Yes. Yeah. 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 Elia Kazan, yeah. the guy who directed a bunch of great movies, but in particular on the waterfront, which he made all about his experience, basically ratting on communists, um, giving away their whole hustle. <laughs> Right. Mm -hmm. And then he got honored. And then like uh, that interview with Patrick Stewart out front, like they shouldn't honor, they shouldn't honor somebody like this. 
Yeah. That's when I started not liking Patrick Stewart that much. Uh, as always found in his framing of orcs, blah, blah, blah. Okay, savages. And elves as noble uh, spreaders of civilization, rather appalling for obvious reasons. Now, you know where, where Tolkien got <clears throat> that mythology he got that from lots of mythology. There are, in lots of mythologies, there are the spreaders of civilization. Quetzalcoatl is, is, is uh, sometimes depicted with a beard. Well, they didn't have beards in South America at the time. And uh, they would even refer to him as an outlander who came in and spread, gave them civilization, told them how to... You know, it's like, Don't that, they ex- describe him as being white? Yes, in some cases, yes, right, and white. that's why oh, it's, it's it's uh, it's it's it doesn't get a lot of traction here on YouTube. But a lot of mythology has a lot of commonalities: a flood myth and some people who come from the ocean and help spread civilization. Uh, just go to Randall Carlson, Graham Hancock. Uh, by the way, it's going to be a Netflix show on November 11th, the day Wakanda yeah. Forever comes out. So I'd rather watch this Netflix show with Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson. Which is going to be awesome. But Wakanda Forever, Gary. Oh, I'm going to make you all watch it. For- oh, God, <laughs> Damn it. Wakanda for now. You I slave master. Black Adam. Adam. Does whoa, that whoa, count? Whoa, whoa. West of the S would, dude. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Garrett, don't tell everybody. <laughs> all right. uh, but Amazon pushed Sorry, back. Master. Amazon pushed back against the racist backlash. Yes, they did, by the way. Amazon pushed back. Let's keep that in mind. It wasn't the Access Media. It was Amazon instigating it. And subsequent trailers were far more polished, promising, and adventurous return to Middle Earth with an eye watering budget that aimed to replicate the production quality of the blockbusters, including the cost (laughs) of securing the rights to the series, uh, cost no less than $715 million, according to Wall Street Journal, leading the Rings of Power being labeled the most expensive series ever made. It still is, by the way. But they didn't pay two hundred fifty million for the rights. Also, I'm wondering how much because I, I haven't done the math on it. How much in comparison the three original Lord of the Rings films cost? Something tells me that this show either cost, million, right? <laughs> yeah, but say something tells me that this one cost a lot more. Or yikes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. especially because New Line were the ones who f- primarily financed it, and they are uh, actually proportionately a, a much smaller uh, <clears throat> outfit. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm, so yeah. it was actually lower budget believe it or not mm-hmm. it was and they financed it, will take it you a long way. they financed yeah, it the sure. old hollywood way which is with other people's money they got investors the, to come in and executive producers and a 300 uh, million dollar budget so 281 combined wow wow <laughs> adjusted even, for inflation even or? with inflation it would be around it would be less than what, 500 five, million five? yeah yeah Still 200 plus million less than this crap show. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. And there's no way this they show. Make, Ryan, you mentioned it. There's no way they make it. Like success means you made money, period. Yeah. They're not making money on this. They're just not. Um, like Jennifer Sulky is lying. She said 100 million people watched the show on their service. That That is half of the, of the total of prime subscribers not prime video prime they have never shared the number of how many people actually partake in the video part of the prime yeah so yeah, yeah they, no way they, they don't share any numbers except when they tell us that rings of power broke records those are the only numbers <laughs> they've ever fucking revealed for amazon studios and it's it, let's just be real far more people signed up to amazon to watch horrendous fucking thursday night football games than they did to watch rings of power yep uh, it's just the reality more people are I mean, watching the, the like, bargain. Look, Amazon Prime Video. I haven't been a subscriber for a while, mainly because their politics are fucking odious. But when I had Amazon Prime, I used it more than any of the others because they actually have a fucking back catalog. You can actually watch movies from before the year 1990 on there, unlike fucking Netflix and other platforms where it's like, was it released last week? Then it's not fucking on here. You know? Yep. Yeah. That, that's or the thing Amazon Prime has it. going for it. This original programming, honestly, is one giant distraction from the primary selling point for the entire platform for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And uh, like and you can get like really obscure, weird document and you could just rent stuff too. you have the option to rent stuff and get like I like UFO weird UFO documentaries. And there's tons of them on there and people can upload their own shit on there, too. Uh, There is a way to do that. Um, So, yeah, it's it's a it's a better service in that front. But um, they have an idiot in charge right now. That's pretty much it. They have a political moron 
uh, in charge, and uh, it will cost them. It, it, like the boys. The boys, why is it yep. drastically different in season two and three than from season one? Well, <laughs> there's a new regime overseeing everything, which will allow – sometimes creatives and showrunners need to be uh, reined in. They, they need to be reined in, and uh, we have a couple of examples of crea- creatives who might be – creatively good but not have a very good business acumen which is i guess well this is the case with a lot of artists that need to be told you know what we need to sell things to everybody not just to we we can't afford to tell half of our audience to fuck off like hollywood did that in mass lately and they're paying for it maybe that's why things like black adam just aren't doing you know there's a lot of circumstances people got out of the habit of going to the movie theater people got out of the habit of going to work uh, I don't know if you guys saw that TikTok video, the, uh, the um, contractor <laughs> sitting in an empty house talking about this is the third day in a row, like my employees didn't show up and people just don't want to wow. work and I'm, I'm paying them like top dollar and just people don't want to come into work like that. We're all it's all the consequences of Hollywood and the system's actions over the last two years co- coming in to bite them in the ass. And a lot of people were way ahead of this. Some of them are off YouTube now. Some are still on, thankfully, Razor Fist, who were trying to warn people about this for a long fucking time. Uh, after these, after the first two episodes dropped, critics were impressed, of course, and uh, public reaction. <laughs> no surprise. Public reaction was mixed, somewhat <clears throat> muted by the slow pace of the series, but the backlash remained loud, and the show was review bombed by Troll. God, uh, no, <laughs> fuck off. That but I hunted. I hunted to fight. I hunted. Oh God! For Toby Maguire's dick. Now we, now we, we got to do it. Hang on, hang on. I'll get there. They were, they were impressed. They were impressed. Toby's dick. To... Toby's. Uh, the first reviews and reactions for it. Uh, was that it? Did I no. get? No, no, that wasn't it. it. Yeah. That... No, this <laughs> is no, right. right. I hunted, Rob. I hunted for Toby Maguire's dick. <laughs> <laughs> for. Uh, great editing there, uh, Garrett. You're Thank a you. true professional. I, I hunted. I hunted. I hunted for those <laughs> for clips. The yes. <laughs> so I, the thing is, like, it was so abysmally bad. Rings of Power. Any of those reviewers that dare claim that it was good have should lose all respect and credibility mm-hmm. because it was unforgivably atrocious. And for them to actually try and say, "Oh no, it's a good show," it's like, come on. I'm having people that are complete normies, don't follow anything, don't even watch Lord of the Rings that much, and they watch the show and they say it's bad. I'm like, that's somebody that's not like in it like we are, not following the news, not watching the stupid takes from the actors. They just watched the show and correctly said, oh, this is a very boring and bland show. I'm not going to watch it yeah. anymore. And that's why the narrative that people like you, Nerdrotic and Quartering and people who cover this shit are just creating an alternate economy around shitting around, uh, on this fucking show or whatever. This is why they prove their argument fucking stillborn, because your guys channels would not be growing if new viewers were not encountering your videos and sympathizing with your viewpoints. Yeah. So clearly non noxious fanboys are encountering this show finding it to be a giant leaning tower of turd and then seeking out videos on YouTube that are absolutely annihilating it. That Your channels would not be growing if that were not the case. No, you're, you're absolutely I'm like, that's how I came to YouTube. I was here. Like I would watch some political <clears throat> stuff once in a while. Uh, and then like, I don't know, UFO videos when they were there, but like once Marvel comics uh, around, I, I left. I didn't read comics for a year after I closed my shop. I started pick. I picked them up again and went, what the fuck mm. is this? <laughs> I, what? It's Trash just one year. It, it wasn't even a year. It was like eight months. I, I took a break and I'm like, holy shit. And like, you know, comic books are like a soap opera. You could stop for a couple of years, pick it up, and you can catch what's going on within a month. You'll be like, right, especially with X-Men uh, back in the 90s, early 2000s. But like, I was like, what the fuck? So I went to YouTube. And I found your boy, Zach, later on, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, so it's not just me. I thought I was just going crazy and maybe getting old and losing my taste, but <laughs> fuck, did Which it change. Which, of course, you were. I was, you know. Completely, yeah. completely <laughs> real. Uh, uh, okay, so where were we now? Uh, which led Although to you Amazon. you do like pineapple on pizza. So I you know, do. Which is well, sick, Rob. Yeah. I yeah, do, but Ryan has disgusting. a pretty good theory about that. I've done so many drugs that I, I my... <laughs> 
taste receptors don't work anymore. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I like pineapple on pizza. I didn't do those drugs. Like, there, yeah. listen, there is like a very distinct split between people that like pineapple on pizza, kind of like with candy corn. Like some people love candy yeah. corn, some people fucking mm -hmm. despise it. But Gary help. has this pizza that is beyond just pineapple. It's like, tell him what's on your pizza, Gary. Okay, so uh, it's at Pizza Time in Escondido. <laughs> it's at Pizza Time in Escondido, which is the only place that makes it fucking right. Uh, and it is, uh, it is a pineapple, it's a Hawaiian pizza. So you have Canadian bacon, you have uh, pineapple, you have jalapenos, and then it's Buffalo sauce is spread all over it. So, I mean, it is wow. fire. It How is long man. have you been affiliated with the Communist Party? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so that's the thing. And it, it just has to be like the most obnoxious combination of fucking flavors you can imagine because you're, fu you're, you're just destroyed. Your brain cells are yeah. fried. Like your just taste anything receptors are taste. fucking dead. <laughs> Been fucking... It sounds like a freaking war crime, Gary. Holy crap. No. <laughs> nope. It's a war crime on his what fucking colon. Nope. <laughs> I, I'm, I, it's I'm a fine. jihad on his colon. <laughs> no, 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 that's that's nothing. Actually, Gary, you, you should know, coming from California, what some of the there's this whole subgenre of pizza places that are not marketed towards just regular pizza eaters, but they're marketed toward like the Latin market. Mm -hmm. So. You can replace the fucking, I, I beshit you not, you can replace the pizza beshit. sauce with refried beets. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, yeah. Mexican well, actually, pizzas. Oh, yeah, dude. So I want to try I grew this. up in San Diego. That's yeah. the fucking wall. Holy I, shit. I thought that was called a chalupa. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, I got to say to Arizona and Texas, as, I'm sorry. I just, I, I have no excuse for my fellow Californians, okay? <laughs> Uh, and it's a California thing. I've never seen it in Arizona. Like we're we're proximitous I've to the border, heard... but I've never seen this phenomenon in Arizona. No, nah, there's Tex Mex all over the place. I've never heard that ever. Yeah, that's nuts. It's in San Diego. Well, like we're good like breakfast, hey, we're good next, breakfast, dude. We're not well. just next to Mexico. We're next to Tijuana. Okay, there's a big yeah, difference. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. You could like you could literally drive around and see just a massive Mexican flag right across the fucking border, San Ysidro. So. Yeah, oh, it, dude, it's, no! It's not just close; it's there. It, no, yeah. When you when you drive down to Coronado or something, you can see it, mm -hmm. like a difference in the power grid. Like Sarah Palin, I could see Mexico from you my house. You can see Mexico, but like the, all the lights are really bright in America. Then all of a sudden, it just kind of goes dim yellow, and there's like a little fog over it. That's that's Tijuana. It looks, looks yeah. totally different. Or Juarez when you're at El Paso, you're right next. to You, you could see Juarez over the fucking train tracks. Well, Holy you have to dodge bullets. Whole yeah, guy. right <laughs> there. So. And 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 severed heads, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, where were we? Uh, only on Friday night tights. War is Mexico. Back to rings of power. Here we go. go. Uh, which led to Amazon <laughs> taking the unusual step of locking user reviews for seventy-two hours. Uh, it was longer than that, wasn't it, Ryan? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. like three days, right? Just, it, it's they five said days. That it was. Five they announced days. that it was going to be seventy-two, but then it ended up being just over a week, so about eight days. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was even longer than that. I thought it was just mm -hmm. five. Yep. Because of review Such bombing. Gummy, dishonest jerks. And let's not God. mention the five star review bombing. IMDb. Yep. That's they what, also locked was... IMDb's from they going and changing. As wow. Well. Who owns IMDb? Uh, that would be Amazon. Oh, that would be Amazon. Oh, be Amazon. Mm. Which sparked criticism that a powerful corporation was blocking public feedback, which it was. Uh, the show had inevitably become a high-profile battleground for the ongoing culture war, becoming a popular uh, topic for reactionary YouTubes to rant about. Mm. Yay. I got a question. I got a question, right? Yeah, sure. We, we keep hearing the terminology. It's a, it's a small group of loud voices on the internet. So if it's a small group of loud voices on the internet, why are they constantly locking scores and things like that? Because a small loud group on the internet would get surely drowned out by a large quiet group on the internet yep so why do they uh feel obliged to lock the scores to prevent scores from being put down to removing scores which they have been doing as well my score which was okayed isn't even up yeah uh, it's, uh it's on amazon like either so it, it's like the Rotten Tomatoes equivalent of a 4 a.m. ballot dump, basically. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good way of it's explaining just it. It's fortifying it. 
And then they go, yeah, it was yes, review bomb. It was review bomb. Let the four stars in. Let the four. It was review it's just, bomb. It's just a term, yeah. small group of loud voices. And if it's so small, then why does it have such a massive impact? Because yeah. it's not small. Exactly. It's because it's not small at all. That's We're big, said. okay? Well, it was uh, We're growers. On our Huge. Showers. It was a danger to our democracy. I don't know if you knew this. <laughs> it was, uh, uh, that was... Rings of power voting is a danger to our democracy. Oh, well, I mean, if you've watched the news lately, almost anything today is a danger oh, yeah. to our democracy. Rings of power is a danger to Pine our democracy. Welcome to Friday Night Insurrection. To yeah, that is a fact, as That is a fact. It's not. As the series uh, progressed, it became clear that a significant portion of the audience was uh, only turning into hate watch, making mm -hmm. fun of the storytelling and pointing out deviations from Tolkien's canon. Well, um, there there was no canon. The, the, the whole thing was a <laughs> deviation, okay, uh, which were sometimes inconsequential and other times ill-advised. Uh, the entire series was ill-advised. At this is point. that another New York Times article? This is a polygon. Oh. The Ring of Power two, two trees are a major invention for the Lord of the Rings canon. Two um, the two trees were not. They were what? Were oh. not a major invention that was actually no. in the canon. What? But, uh, what? Yeah, okay. Two trees only... are a major invention for the. No, they're not. It, it's in the fucking. It, it was one of the only things polygon. that was like recognized in the Rings of Power. Polygon and it, it lasted a fucking moment. Yeah. The whole point is activism is trying to get into, like, they've been able to get into other fandoms like Star Wars and stuff because there isn't lore like Tolkien, and it's not old. It's not old. Yeah. And it's it's very easy to, uh, to argue to normies. <clears throat> you can't do that with Tolkien. So the activists are being exposed at every fucking turn, and it's great. This what is the a fuck? article. I think the, they, the things that bother Amazon me are... Adds a new legend. No, no, it doesn't. It's in the fucking legendarium. Uh, and, and you <laughs> what is wrong with you? Fans, fan, long time fans of Tolkien, like the one ring.net who for years, they were the first ones to speak out when it was fucking Arwen yep. warrior princess turned up in the early fucking photographs of the filming of the Lord of the Rings movies and whatever. All of a sudden they're a little hazy on the lore of Lord of the Rings because it agrees with their politics basically mm -hmm. on rings of power. That's what drives me nuts. Cause they actually kind of know what they're talking about in terms of the lore. <laughs> That's Dude, that's just pathetic. They it's kind of like when fucking Neil Gaiman sells out Sandman just for yeah. woke points and shit. Mm -hmm. That that kind of shit. Oh, the hell out of hey, me. that was another show like Watchmen. It was so popular. It's not getting a second season because people didn't watch it right. <laughs> <laughs> that, you they, just that, don't understand. That was his it. cope. His him. cope for Sandman was well, people are. It's because it's too. It's too. He basically said it's too intelligent, so people need to oh, rewatch it and watch that. it slower. <laughs> so it's not getting the minutes watched. What is this, Rick and Morty? Yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Morty. Uh, uh, no, but you're right, Razor Fist. Uh, it, it, it's it's just a massive cope uh, on this end. But when 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 they're coming in here, like they don't know shit about shit. And One Ring .net, like even earlier on in the process, they're the ones who broke bad reboots involvement. They're, they're the ones, I mean, that's the article I went to, and I went, holy shit. And then Lindsay Weber came on, and then all this weird shit started happening uh, right after Christopher Tolkien's death, and it just became obvious what was happening, uh, just because it's not our first rodeo. We saw this happen with Star Wars and Doctor Who. It was, like, currently happening with those things, and I'm like, god damn, they went back to bad reboot. And you see, like, you know, when, when Jar Jar got signed with Warner Brothers by the old regime, by the way, I'm sure he's on his way out, which w just I will do a 24 hour live stream if he gets fired by Warner Brothers. I think the I think the check will bounce. So uh, I didn't probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah. yeah. So like when you saw like how much he had gotten involved and to get conspiratorial here, his wife was the co-chair of Me Two Times Up who got rid of the previous uh, head of Warner Brothers to replace him with Walter Hamada. Uh, because Jar Jar wouldn't sign with Warner Brothers unless that guy was gone. Uh, and then you see, you know, I'm sure it's purely coincidental. Roy Price was Me Too'd out of Amazon. Other people were Me Too'd. This was, you know, right after Harvey Weinstein. And it was just a big power grab. And, wow, Jar Jar Abrams' wife is right there. And who's been benefiting? Jar Jar Abrams. What a coincidence. What a total coincidence. Hmm. Uh, hmm. You could pull the, uh, the old article back up. I should read a couple Super Chats, though. Let me finish this. Uh, Galadriel was instantly labeled a Mary Sue and a Karen 
and became the focal point for angry fans. So did she end All up... All those things are true, though. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Where, right. Where's the lie? Where they really describe Galadriel, a spiky, disagreeable character. Uh, spiky. Yeah. The, the sun was instantly described as hot. Like, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. So, again, yeah, where, where's the lie? And then they show a bunch of tweets. They have me. Okay. They have one ring in there. Uh, but... Elon. Oh, wow, Elon. You're Elon. Elon. Getting yes, trolled I, I by have Elon. Some to say. What's that? Yes, I have some things to say. Yes. Uh, Tolkien is turning in his grave. Almost every male character so far is a coward and a jerk or both. Only Galadriel is brave, smart, and nice. Well, he's wrong there. She was dumb, stupid, and cowardice, actually. Uh, although dumb and stupid are the same thing. Well, the the show she wasn't fucking she's nice, brave, smart, and nice. And also, I think it was cowardly is what you were looking for. Well, cowardly. she isn't nice because she's nasty and obnoxious to every yeah. single solitary person in the show. Mm -hmm. But they all go, yeah. "You were right the whole time. I'm never going to doubt you again." Yeah, except well, the fact that you out. know who Sauron is and that you're gonna oh, you're gonna make rings. Okay, you let the rings at be the made end away. of the show. Oh, she finds out the you. entire plan basically and doesn't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go along with it. What's she's like, like trust me, guys. She and more than that, that she wanted to do it more. She's like, we'll make yep. more of these. She know, wanted that things. bling. That's what it comes down to. She wanted a ring. <laughs> uh, it was like Project Paperclip. That's what it was. She's like, let's take Sauron's scientists and make our own science over here and make some rings three of them because it makes it power up it balances out and let's make the greatest uh smith to ever live a complete fucking retard oh, yep fucking moron. <laughs> Dude, it's so wait dumb. garrett did you mention the, the science Galadriel fucking said so garrett did you say my name the science oh, it's the science the science that's supposed to be where's, that? where's that guy again <laughs> yeah, yeah you go? i think so Oh my God, uh, Andy Masterson uh, made a <laughs> yeah he made, made a Fauci doll. figure. Uh, he really? DM'd it. I don't know if I can show it, <laughs> but it's pretty oh, good. It's pretty not. good because he's got the box ready. And he um, said to me, "Have I gone too far?" And I replied with, "You've gone too far." <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's Keep got going. syringes in the, in the, in a certain symbol. That's yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's so oh, fucking I funny. See oh this wait, no. so does in he a, in, a, in a Hindi religious symbol? Uh, yes. Ah. <laughs> yeah, does he have syringes displayed like at very? Uh, there's a lot of ninety degree angles, yes. And straight lines. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> kill a lot of people at one time. So good. Not yeah. like the vaccine. Uh, as, oh. as the weeks passed the critical segment of the fan base continued to complain, while those who enjoyed it kept fairly quiet. Really? Is that Convenient. all they did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me, they're there. They're just you know really shy. There's millions of them. They're, they're really, really shy, really I swear. Shy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I think that's that the people who were quiet argument. loved it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like the secret Trump vote. They're just, they're just uh, there. Yeah. The show Eight never really managed to seize the zeitgeist, failing to inspire popular memes or social media discourse beyond hate watching. Soon it became obvious the series was being outshined by House of the Dragon, which managed to retain the quality of Game of Thrones' best seasons. Until last no. episode. Last episode didn't. No, nope. I wouldn't go that far. Not at the end. Yeah. I wouldn't go that far either. Rings of Power. I mean, it's better. It's clearly better. It's light years better. Oh, yeah. But still. That, yeah. Um. Yeah, Rainey's Targaryen. He likes Slayer, feats, man. Slayer of the small folk. Uh, Rings of Power wasn't the flaming disaster the naysayers had. Uh, what? Rings of Power wasn't the flaming disaster the naysayers had predicted, but it wasn't particularly good. No, no, hang on. It, uh, you're wait, right. It wasn't on. the flaming what? disaster we predicted. It was worse. Yes, it was so much <laughs> worse much than worse. we thought it would be. Indeed. Bro, look, at the, look at the fucking name of this Twitter account you're scrolling down to. Ultra Gay Biker Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what? Another, homo, another con. homo con. Oh, God. What? Uh, and they're calling Guys. out the woke media. <laughs> yeah. So that's great. Nice. Um, nice. Hilarious. Even right. he didn't watch Bros. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> but no one did, so. <laughs>
Uh, but it wasn't particularly good. Going, Indeed, way. a few were still talking about it. The show's haters seem to be driving the vast majority of discourse. I wonder why. Uh, while earnest fans of the show were accused of being Amazon shills. Or wait, maybe the people maybe the people criticizing it were earnest fans of the shows as well. I'm yeah. just throwing it out there. Uh, even the woke media shills can't defend Amazon's The Rings of Power. Amazon can't buy reviews and delete reviews fast enough. Already low viewership continues to shed. It's so much more than a uh, the desecration of Tolkien's work and lore breaking. Everything woke turns to poop says ultra gay biker yes. dad <laughs> homosexual man it russian no. disinformation they might as well <laughs> yep hey 1a and 2a absolutist i heard putin's I like a big guy. fan of tolkien well he has khan in his title for you know yeah. his twitter account so yeah i'm pretty sure that means conservative um and giorgio Sherlock. maloney the new uh pm of italy is supposed to be a big fascist Tolkien fan too, according to uh, the media. By the way, yeah, um, mm-hmm. not anything I've actually seen. <laughs> so, uh, generally, the series proved unevenly paced. No, it was pretty evenly boring. I think <laughs> evenly boring yeah. and evenly bad, uh, and yeah. had strange approach to Tolkien's lore um, by not approaching it at all. That's strange. Yes, uh, referencing very obscure elements of Tolkien's work. What do you mean? Renaming characters that were Just close to other names? That's shit for the fuck. Yeah, come sake. on. <laughs> Beating around the bush this whole time. It's it not is, the dumpster it fire. Is. It's not good, though. It's complete fucking stepping around in the fucking massive fire under their feet going, no, it's 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 pretty cool all of it over here. Oh, Jesus, there goes another foot. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, they, I don't like it, here. but it's not bad. Th- th- this article is basically saying, hey, all the people that are being fucking hypercritical of this are alt-right trolls. They're all racist. They're all fascist. But yeah, this show's kind of shit. Well, that's the <laughs> narrative, right? Even that from that podcast we all listen to, it, it, that's being pushed by the narrative. It's literally being pushed by everybody at this point. If you don't I like a TV show, you're a threat trolls. to democracy. Yep. Alt-right trolls are doing alt-right troll stuff. So alt-right trolls need to, you know, stop doing alt-right troll stuff because they like the alt-right franchises, the alt-right troll franchises, of course. Yeah, uh, that's all. It's all they fucking say. You're so fucking boring. The only reason that you go alt-right this, alt-right that, you know, everyone that disagrees with me is fucking Hitler. You're fucking pathetic. You've got no argument. To defend the show this article can't defend the fucking show no it can't but it's the fair. article is literally saying but the article the has been created to shit on the Tolkien. fans not to shit on the show so you got to say the fans are a bunch of shitheads by the way the show itself not so good oh right yeah. so the people are saying that the show's not so good are alt-right trolls and racists and fascists and all oh my uh but actually, I agree with them, but I don't agree with them because they're all white trolls and the show's shit, but it's not shit, but it is shit. And they think yeah. it's shit and they know it's shit and they're saying it's shit and it is shit. And I agree it's shit, but I'm not an all right troll, but they are. This is legit double speak. Steve Bannon. It is. It is. Oh, it's absolutely. Just, this it, person can't premise. construct a fucking sentence to make sense. Yeah, the, the the entire premise is absolutely double speak from the very Ugh. very beginning. Oh, this is all about criticizing the culture war. But here, let us contribute to it. You can literally swap out the subjects of this fucking headline. It it could be about G4 fucking dying. Yes. Yep. G4 yep. was less interesting than the culture war around G4 and write every fucking word in this goddamn article and just swap one out for the other. And it yep. literally would not change in any meaningful fashion the actual substance of this fucking article. Oh, it's it's all about the culture war. It's all because everybody wanted to array around G4. Nobody was even talking about G4. Joe Dirt cut a fucking rambling pussy promo, and the next day everybody was pissed <laughs> off. It's the same fucking thing with goddamn uh, Rings of Power. Nobody was going to pay attention to it until they started insulting everyone. I said at the beginning of the Rings of Power, like, if you want this show to go away, and ultimately when this dies, it'll be because of this. Yep. It'll be because people stop talking about it. It won't be because everybody's mad about it, right? It's, but when it's they talk about like the culture war, all they talk about is alt-right trolls. They don't yep. talk about how the, the left perspective on it. 
and how yeah. the left have been usurping characters and usurping law and usurping franchises. They don't discuss any of that. So you're not discussing the fucking culture war at all. You're just a fucking big phony piece of fucking shit chalking down a bunch of fucking uh, 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 corporate fucking cock down your mouth while trying to put something fluff out because the guy that's actually reviewing the fucking show on Forbes is saying it's dog shit. Oh, but if you don't like it, you're all right. Yep. Yeah. And that's where you got, this is where you get the Guardian fucking from. The are all fucking Forbes, you're a fucking joke. You're a Guardian, you're a fucking joke. You get the Guardian going, oh God, um, Rings of Power makes the House of Dragon look like a fucking shit show. Oh my God. And then it fucking goes pussyfooting through eight episodes of Rings of Power. And then as, uh, as soon as it fucking ends, turns around and goes, well, now that the show's over, that was a load of shit, wasn't it? Because uh, you're not fucking you don't have to. It's awful. Yeah. Yes. I want to know, Gary, did you ever buy this meat cleaver? Uh, no. I'm really looking at it, though. I'm like, <laughs> I bought this two. kind of dope, actually. Now, by the I way. might, I might, though. $120. Like wow. Why Warcraft. has it got the alliance symbol from World That's of Warcraft? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Listen, yeah. If, if you, you know, this this, get, this Garrett's computer. If it was mine, you'd just see it's side, me on this sideshow please. toy. <laughs> That's all you'd see. <laughs> <laughs> That's my porn. Um, no, like, Ryan, that Eric Burroughs guy. Like responded to one of my tweets and he said, uh, you know, I'm not a shill, uh, but I wish they would send me some money because times are kind of tough. And that's why I responded to him. It's like, well, maybe you're just not good at what you do. You know, you might want to consider that if times are tough at your job, maybe you're not very good at it and uh, find something you're good at. And that's the access media. Yeah, I made, I made a video wake up and like realize that they have a unique position to to be able to tell the stories of what's happening from an impartial perspective perspective to be able to like have a whole article talking about the culture war and saying yeah so there's people that are really against the left coming in here and, and taking these stories and then also have it from the other perspective and say well the the right are really against right so you have you can tell those stories that's what a journalist is supposed to be doing well the, the problem they're not here journalists is the they're bloggers they're, they're activists. fucking bloggers right you can't that's all they have that activists. opportunity to do that you would be so unique if you came out and you had that perspective but Bro, nobody yeah. fucking does it. And and so, take it from someone who went to journalism school. Journalism is not a degree. It's a fucking poster, okay? <laughs> like, the last person to get paid from your fucking journalism degree was your journalism professor. <laughs> Nowadays, in 2022, journalism degrees don't matter for shit. Most, many of the reporters no. working for fucking CNN and NBC and ABC don't even have fucking journalism degrees and shit. Right? Yep. And I guarantee you, these people reviewing Rings of Power, entertain Oh, there's reporters. No way. These Fuck people off. didn't have, didn't have to have journalism degrees back when reporters had to have journalism degrees, right? It's fucking ridiculous. You might as well be a blogger. For yeah. fuck's sake. Can you write a sentence? Uh that's Yes. And they're barely there. Uh so they call Can it you stop speaking out both sides of your mouth. Pants, yes. You know? Congratulations, you're hired. Yep. Yeah. But uh yeah, uh, Ryan, you made I saw watch your video today on the subject. I was at the gym. I watched it. Yeah, I made a video about that because I, I just had to, I couldn't resist when when a when a fucking you know piece of shit blue check mark with pronouns in their bio, which I do I do advocate. <laughs> Very rarely do I advocate someone having pronouns in their bio, but for the guy who wrote that article, he kind of needs them. You can't tell what the fuck that dude is. <laughs> so um whenever somebody comes out with a hit piece on us and it immediately within hours blows up in their face when the actual numbers come out proving us entirely right. You got to talk about it. You got to make Absolutely. fun of him. He's going to make an appearance in my next video, too. Uh -huh. nice. uh, so, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. While dedicated Tolkien fans were often infuriated by the lore breaking, which led to the series being labeled expensive fan fiction. God, who's been saying that for a long mm -hmm. fucking time? I wonder. Uh, during the finale, the sluggish pace of the series suddenly quickened, and the story sped through some important plot twists. I, what plot twists? Were they supposed to be surprises? <laughs> the, the plot twist was it had nothing to do with Tolkien. Yeah. The plot twist is the bitch who plays Galadriel can bend forks with her face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, like a student rushing to finish an essay after midnight, Sauron was revealed to be the guy who looks like the default uh, option for every fantasy RPG character creation screen. And Gandalf was given a clunky origin story, which explained, in quotes, why he likes hobbits so much. Well, we can't call them oh, hobbits. Oh, fuck off. Like 
like that couldn't be known from the very beginning of the show. Oh, well, you'll know. It's oh also it's God, also it's very evil. much explained in the books. Did, did you in know the books, he, it doesn't he, explain why he likes Hobbit so much because they fucking abandoned fetish. him and turned their back on him, fucking cast him out and kicked him out. None of them wanted him to be there apart from fucking Brandy Snatch in the first fucking place. And she was the one that grasped him up to the fucking Nazgals. So, you but know, how does that explain? It doesn't at all. It, you stop talking about fucking alt-right. Stop talking about fucking Nazis and white supremacists and all this fucking horse shit because your brain is too fucking small to come up with an argument to defend it. Start talking about bad writing, bad characterization, bad fucking scripts, bad fucking sets. Bad fucking showrunners, bad fucking producers, bad fucking directors. Start talking about that. But you're a bunch of fucking cowards getting paid fucking peanuts because you're monkeys on a fucking keyboard and a fucking typewriter. So you can't do any of this. So your default fucking setting for your NPC brain is... Look at those alt-right trolls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's what happens when you walk through life having a narrative in search of proof instead of a narrative that actually develops as a result of proof they're constantly looking for some knots look when you go out into the world one day and you bump into a nazi holy shit you ran into a nazi if you walk outside one day and you run into 20 fucking nazis you're the fucking Nazi. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Why are you hanging out with Nazis? Yep. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Uh, which would be the equivalent of running into a unicorn at this point uh, with the one. Uh, not very hard to find SJW commies, though. No, oh, it's pretty fucking, fucking easy. Everywhere. Just go to a Starbucks. Well, they'll be I around. saw a legit article about, like, the KKK starting to recruit, like, not white people. It's, it's still, wait, there's diversity in the KKK now? <laughs> yeah, KKK shit. went woke. <laughs> <laughs> Get woke uh, uh, the KKK is more diverse than uh, the, oh, the, the writing team for this? The titular, they said. T more diverse than She-Hulk writes his team. Rings of power women. were forged at lightning speed after Sauron informs the master smith, Celebrimbor, that he could perhaps strengthen a metal's properties by using an alloy. Celebrimbor's mind is blown by the suggestion. That is so bad in so many <laughs> yeah. ways. Oh. Uh, how fucking much farther do we have to go in this article? Scroll down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? This is like a dead oh, we're like, dude, look, at, look at where, <laughs> Look at where we are. They're still oh, not even halfway. Not even halfway. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, yeah. Right. You can, you can... This is a this is a fucking Tolkien appendix. It is. It is. <laughs> uh, I think we get we get the gist. <laughs> I'm, I'm so the rings of power wasn't terrible, but it does. wasn't Tolkien. They You're like said it's not article. good, <laughs> but I can't say it's not good. So I just it's not all right. Just, all right. It's not even good. Good I'll be called an all right Nazi. Yeah. Mem wasn't memo to fucking fantasy. Forbes writer when your goddamn article requires an intermission. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> also, when, when they oh attack people for saying something and then halfway through the article they say, oh yeah, no, it wasn't very good and it also wasn't Tolkien. It's like, wait, you just complained about people saying that. So what? are you the alt-right Nazi? I'm confused. Welcome to the alt-right, Forbes. Yeah. Remember it's when Forbes talked about the commie and it's no word salad. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's it, just meant to talk you around in fucking circles in nonsensical bullshit. There's no fucking points being made whatsoever. There's nothing new being brought to any arguments here. If the, if there's one thing that you can sort of read between the lines is, I actually agree with the people that don't like it, but uh, I'm on the left, and I'm just going to assume that they're on the right, and so I'm just going to arbitrarily uh, create an enemy out of them for no fucking reason. There it is. It's just moron. It's moronicism. It's absolutely moronic. <sighs> there's another. There's, there's more. That's worse. It won't go on as oh, long. Really? But we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> there's so much more. Uh, Master Austin for one hundred dollars. Just hail. A belated gift for me to you from all the pain and suffering you went through with Rings of Power and She-Hulk, as Frodo said after destroying the One Ring. It's gone. It's done. Hail Razor Fist. Hail FNT. Go Padres. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're playing now. Suck it, Dodgers. Suck it. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was so good. 
<laughs> that was so good and satisfying. Oh, was it good for you? Fuck Jesus Christ. Good I am for you. Than good good for right you. Now. Right? Uh, Razor is just yeah. living vicariously. Like, <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll, I'll get him Padre. Pa pirate fans and Padre fans can, have been living vicariously through a lot of championships because we at least the oh, pirates bro. have some. Okay, uh, right, I don't know what seriously. I don't know what one looks like. I, if being from San Diego, no idea. It's good to see the Padres. Imagine if Fernando Tatis had get suspended for fucking juicing uh, um, after after, after getting in a fucking motorcycle accident that he was never supposed to be in. Fucking yeah. yeah. <laughs> just stop, hey, fucking professional athletes, MLB players, stop going down to the Dominican Republic. You fucking fought your ass up to get out of there. Quit fucking going back. Only bad shit happens. David yeah. Ortiz fucking stabbing. Like, come on, stop going there. Well, that's yeah. where all the steroids are. They got to go back. I mean, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I say bring him back. Bring him back. I don't care. Uh, I think it's great. Uh, I miss the steroid era. Uh, WG has gifted 10 Nerdrotic memberships for $50. You want to shrink your balls for a few extra years in the MLB? Go for it. Um, Logan, my son, for $50 on the Streamlab side. Uh, hey, Dad. I just told I was just told I was transphobic for not wanting to date a biological man who says they're a woman. Uh, I never thought I'd get in trouble for not wanting to fuck someone. Usually, I get in trouble for wanting to fuck someone. Hail to the fellowship, God! I gotta Preach. talk to him. <laughs> I gotta yeah, talk okay. to him. Okay. Suck the dick, bigot. <laughs> right. oh, God. Jeez. I wonder if that's worked. <laughs> it probably has on somebody. That sounded a bit too convincing from Ryan. So, you know. This is why this program <laughs> covers things like Star yeah. Wars and yes. Rings of Power, where only the fans get fucked. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, that, you had the best uh, line about that, uh, as with the intimacy coordinator being hired by Rings of Power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I didn't know he's going to be hired because it's going to fuck the whole show. <laughs> uh, a special cheers to my grandpa, Major Raymond Green, veteran of WW2 and the Korean War, who passed away at the age of 98 this past Sunday. Oh, Appreciate wow. them while they're here. Remember them when they're gone. And uh, can we fly Razor into uh, Orlando next weekend? I'd love hey, to. Hey, what are you doing next week? Yeah. Uh, Razor Fish. Why don't the Eagles Sunday? just drop me into Orlando? There you go. <laughs> they, they should. Maybe we Why can don't the new Menorians just teleport you to Orlando? <laughs> uh, Take one of those magic boats. You can fit 100 horses yeah. in there, no problem. Yeah. Well, I think we're, we're going to. We need 500 troops and 500 horses to go and invade the Southlands. Two ships got blown up. <laughs> fuck it. 300 will do. Yep. <laughs> It'll we, be fine. What the fuck we're we're going to do a meetup in Arizona next year. Uh, so, yep. uh, in Mesa. Oh, so. if you're doing one in Arizona, I'm there. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah. Uh, uh, we, there's a place called the Endgame Bar in Mesa, Arizona. Mesa. Um, oh, is got it a bunch a, of like video an games and bar? shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a yeah. barcade. So, oh, we did there's one a there. couple. There's a few good ones. There's the. Bonus round and the Cobra Arcade. I've been and, to the Cobra uh, Arcade. I haven't heard of that one, but yeah, there's there's some good ones here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fun. Stuff. We got to get that set up. We we don't know what month it's going to be yet, but uh, when I was in Arizona a couple of months ago, I talked to them about it, and they're totally down to have us back. And yeah, it'll be good. If you want to, yeah, though, I nice. have to say, while you're in town, while you're in town, um, speaking of arcades, if you don't go to Castles and Coasters, you're fucking missing out. Um, it's a theme park that has a fucking two, technically three story arcade that's oh, just shit. bossed wow. beyond wow. all recognition. Okay, you gotta check well, it out. If it's a theme park, then I'm sure we can justify it for Geeks and Gamers Park yep. Channel Park Hopping. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's if it doesn't have a costume, I'm going to be disappointed. A, a, every theme park. The is. arcade's good. That's all it counts, you know. Yeah. Hey, I like the only reason we didn't move to Arizona was all the Californians moving there and making the house prices fucking ridiculous. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, that's why we moved to Texas. Bro. Damn Californians. <laughs> yeah, fucking Sorry, Californians. Girl. The Californians. Don't. I'm not a Californian anymore. I have uh, no. I, I have exercised you my trans California transition. Yeah, I have transitioned to Texan. Uh, yes. Here's a donation for your mom. <laughs> <laughs> did I uh, did I Adam Sessler correctly? 
Uh, Rob the Plumber, <laughs> all hail. <laughs> Robert Amoris for forty nine ninety nine. Thank you. He did go on an amazing your mum spree he as did. well. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, that guy is on drugs, isn't he, Ryan? That's what I think. I think. Yeah, yeah Adam Sessler got fired back in the day because of cocaine. So, oh, really? Um, That's I, funny. I, I imagine, like, may I, you, you would know better than a lot of people, Gary, like the fucking hold that can take on your life and shit. And I think, I think a lot of the actions we've seen from Adam Sessler do indicate, like, shit like that. So, on okay. every- also, Viagra. <laughs> what about Adder- what about uh Adderall? That could probably do it too, right? The- no shit. Yeah. I wouldn't know. I don't know. I wouldn't I know on that. that stuff. Um but, yeah. but I, yeah, I know. His, uh, his tweet to um his tweet to about G4 itself was very telling. Uh, they, they are so there's an article that came out on I forget what website, but, but it's like 10 G4 insiders already coming out and saying, really, the problem was the structure, the person in charge. They're the reason that this all went down. They're to blame for everything. We would have succeeded mm, sure. if it was for if they weren't telling us to do these things. They're already like completely trying well, to fucking Joshua blame everything. That? Didn't he? On, was like, it's not one person. Yeah, they're trying to blame everything on their fucking like the the couple of people at the top. Uh, when in reality, it was a it was a failure at all levels when it comes to G four. But they really want to play down the hey we failed aspect. Yeah, they want it to be everything else. Oh, it would have succeeded if they'd only stuck to this plan. Shit like that. It would have right. succeeded if they didn't piss off the fans. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I, good content, I don't right? know. Yeah, I don't know if it would have succeeded if they hadn't pissed off the fans, but it certainly wouldn't be dead by now. That's how right. much of it was frost. Do you guys feel like? Hundred percent. I think they, they, more, yeah, more when, when you're trying more. to build an esports uh, company, you need an audience to support that esports company. So frost coming out and saying what she said was very detrimental to that. Now, it didn't make any sense why they were paying fucking 15 grand a week or whatever it was for a goddamn studio. Because, yes, you had some sponsorship and, yes, you had some, uh, you know, NAF TV channels to pop yourself on. But unless right. you've got an audience for advertisers to be advertising towards, you got nothing. N- not only this that, but TV they're like... Show- <laughs> they're, they're like, hey, we, we need to build an esports uh, kind of. We need to absolutely capitalize on esports. Let's go grab this chick that ninety percent of the esports community hates yes. like toy. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. let's go grab this chick yeah, yeah. that got ran out of the esports community. Right. Yes, bro, Can I heard. I- <laughs> fucking, I knew a. Uh, someone i won't throw them under the bus because they might not want to shit on her but i know a pro gamer who's very very famous and she fucking told me she fucking (laughs) told me goddamn years ago that she hated frost like al-qaeda like and this was a long ass time ago right before fucking g4 and whatever they literally hired the worst possible person to usher in like an esports thing yeah fucking terrible league of legends my my son my oldest son's into that he, they they hate her they couldn't stand her so he he he's the one who told me he's like oh we know frost yeah she's she pulled the same bullshit fucking blaming toxic fans yeah. and yeah. saying she's being attacked like it these people are the fucking same and until you stop hiring them uh your companies aren't gonna fucking get any better Dude, like, but no. why have esports when you can have she sports right no. <laughs> well that's Still, because when it, they did do a she sports team it got fucking wanked over <laughs> in did. every fucking she esport fucking match it yeah, went into it did. It, it's the and equivalent great, of the wnba it was it invictus <laughs> is that what it was called uh that's there's a great something. documentary on it it's fucking awesome it's hilarious uh could you pull up that I link can, again by the way yeah, sorry, we started talking know. about like that, disasters that, when we had Razor Fist <laughs> yeah. thing to promote. We shouldn't talk about that when that was up there. I know. Right? Yeah. If you like something that's not a disaster, yeah, yeah, hey. good transition. Death mask. <laughs> Unlike most oh, of them. So much transition. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of transitioning. Uh, you can pre-order it awesome. now. Uh, this is about. This is all part of the Iron Age, which was a great video, by the way. Razor Fist, love that video. He's muted. Really? You're muted. You're muted. Because your dog. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Muted. We can't hear you. Muted. Can't hear you. Muted. Can't hear you. Muted. He's all okay. Oh, there. 
There he is. Sorry. There it is. <laughs> I wasn't actually saying anything, but here okay, we go. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was Show me that fucking. Horror. I was being Vanna White, motherfucker. Yes. Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What the fuck? I don't want to be. Oh hi, Gary. <laughs> hey, Gary. <laughs> I'm not going to touch you, Gary. Oh. Okay. I you're going to show that wasn't there. Gary. You care? I don't know what's happening. What? Who did that? So confused. It's a ghost. I need a full screen. Because I got a blue check mark, so I'm better than you. Yes. <laughs> I am getting that that parking place in front of my house that my wife can't park in. So. <laughs> You're gonna put a blue check mark symbol? Just I am. I'm gonna get a sign that says check mark blue check mark parking only. <laughs> what? They sell that on Amazon. Uh, look at the art. Look at this. This is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah, the artwork G-Prime, is man. by uh, G Prime, Mr. George Alexopoulos. Yes. Who's, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Whose who's, who's cartoons and comics, political cartoons mostly, you've probably seen. But he does a really different style in this book that's kind of like oh, cross hatchy yeah. and Art Nouveau ish and looks fucking awesome. The illustrations in this. And it's got a lot more illustrations than the first book, which was The Long Moonlight, which is on Amazon, speaking of which. Yep. yep. Um, link in the description right now bookstores. what's up Boom. link in the description it, it for looks that like book right uh now. from hell but better so yeah, yeah it's pretty yeah. fucking cool it's it's old school wow. pulp but it's heavily illustrated so it's something between a a book and a comic kind of is it um, noir there's a, there's a lot of shit <laughs> it's pulp. and um tolkien suck my dick i invented five languages bitch get on my level <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> he, he would suck your dick, but he's too busy getting ass fucked by Amazon right now. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're, they're too busy. They're too busy installing a rotisserie in his coffin. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Honey glaze? Shit! I thought it was a wind turbine at this I point. Like yeah. Half yeah. Half it is. Cities. He's powering half of Europe right now. Well, uh, it would it would be a wind turbine, but it's not killing as thousands of birds a, a year, yeah. so he can't. He can't. <laughs> And Mr. Shad, I believe, has some some new product. Mm. Yes, he oh, does. Yeah. Oh, is he? He's a pusher, huh? Yeah, man. Uh, we got the uh, the uh, Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel, which is just rocking on. Uh, we are almost at three hundred and fifty thousand. We're not there yet. Holy fuck! Wow. Wow. three hundred and forty-eight. We're two. Damn. Oh, man. Damn, Dude. that is. Just going yes. amazing at the moment. And I did this really big stream reveal about the next project I want to, uh, that not I want, I am working on, is uh, my space opera that I'm um, simply making to give us the thing that Star Wars uh, did once back in the day when we loved it, it was good, and now Disney has screwed out and so all right, if they're not going to do it, we can do it ourselves. And man, holy crap, the interest that that stream has uh, d- uh, like built was actually surprised me. I didn't think so many people would be into it, and they've been already like loving the uh, world building the law behind it and so that's like it, it's so great to see it because when we're talking about all these failed properties like star wars like the mcu and everything like that the thing is though I, like the fan base is still there they still want good star wars they still yeah. want good fantasy and stuff and, and when you see just you know um uh, people making great stuff They're, everyone's on board with it you know razor fist is killing it look at look at um critical drinker with this critical thing. drinker oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Oh my Smash gosh. Past it. everyone's jumped on it then there's eric july as well and so the fan base is there and they're hungry they want good good stuff and so look at the success this is happening this is kind of everything that you know razor has been talking about with the iron age and like who who coined that term uh razor fist like because I don't know. I, I I was literally just spitballing on my video and threw it out there because I figured, okay, Bronze Age, whatever. But apparently some other people have suggested it before. I heard Mark Millar many years ago call it the Iron Age. Some other guy on YouTube said the Iron Age. But um, I hadn't heard of it before I did my video. I just figured it's basically just a catch-all term for whatever the fuck is happening right now, which is kind of a renaissance in this yeah. kind of independent publishing, whether it's comics or pulps like what I'm doing or novels, or there's even animation now they're working on. By the way, there's a, a website that aggregates a lot of it um, that somebody's running called Iron, Iron Age. Age dot, Me- yeah, I, I, yes. yeah, Iron Age dot Media, I believe. 
And um, they just basically talk about all the kind of Iron Age product projects that are going on. And uh, it's it's pretty boss. You see a lot of like Comics Gate stuff. You see animated movies and video game projects that people are working on. And it's just yeah. fucking awesome. It's basically non Hollywood, not necessarily anti woke stuff, but not woke not yeah. agenda driven you know yeah. at mm-hmm. least that my um books have my pulps have absolutely no politics in them they're sword and sorcery in the style of robert e howard meets raymond chandler it's noir Oof. fantasy oh i love me raymond chandler sir yeah so Philip it's, it's essentially favorite, raymond chandler dashiell hammett in the world of conan uh and so instead of following a so big noir. burly barbarian <laughs> as he kills dragons and shit you're following a thief who's like world weary and kind of like a private dick essentially who has to uh, you know find conan. Girls and so forth conan and gave so me it's, a look it's I could sort of that um, like a street uh, my thought was like when I was watching Lord of the Rings, I was like, okay, that's cool. Minas Tirith looks fucking awesome. What about like a cop show on the streets of fucking Minas Tirith? Wow. <laughs> I want to like get down into yeah, the alleys it. and see crime happening and shit. So I kind of did that. I love it. That love is it. awesome, man. Uh, speak- I mean, it- oh, go on. Sorry, I just kind of, because what are they exploring the different aspects of a, of a fantasy world like that is awesome. Because, you know, with uh, Star Trek, you see all the spaceships. I've always wondered, like, all right, what about the mercenaries in this world? What are they doing? What about the thieves mm-hmm. and stuff and everything? And so exploring just that, those really interesting aspects like that, it sounds awesome, man. Well, and I think that one of the... Uh, one of the things that we love as fucking massive nerds, fans of this shit, is digging into all that stupid minutia, right? That yeah, the yeah, normal yeah. might not care about, but we really do. And right. when you look at the Game of Thrones, when the world that George R. R. Martin created spawned so many different, like massive, massive YouTube channels and theory channels, stuff like that, just talking about, like, in the 11 years between he's releasing books, just talking about the millions of things that are going on in that world that people are into and invested in and want to listen to just because they love what was created. And uh, we were on Tuesday night's main event and that's when we launched Josiah's new uh, film studio, yeah. The Epic Verse. And- I'm really interested in what uh, Josiah is going to be producing there because uh, like the, just the trailer he released, honestly, like I've seen a lot of indie things, but the fire effects that they were pulling out in that, in that, in that trailer is like, Okay, it's like they actually know how to do some visual effects to the air. There's some potential. I'm interested. So I uh, I can't talk too much about it, but I actually went up to Michigan and filmed a little bit with them for a project that they're working on. Uh, hopefully, we'll find out more about it soon. But we did we did do the trailer. I can show the trailer if you want. I'm sharing it quarter black. Um, this is Josiah of Boots and Gamers and his new his new okay. film studio, film production studio, Epic Verse. For years we've had to deal with Hollywood's woke onslaught of destructive agendas in their films. That changes today. That's why we launched Epicverse. At Epicverse, we care about excellent storytelling and respect for our fans. Things Hollywood has forgotten. So follow Epicverse wherever you can and tell your friends. We can't win without you. I love this song. The comeback starts today. Will you join us? I love Josiah. That was well done. Boom, yeah. And Very I was, nice. Uh, and I, I, I that, that reminds me, I have a trailer coming out for Death Mask that is actually traditionally animated uh, wow. from a guy who's actually going to do like old school traditional watercolor painting kind of incorporated. It's going to be basically this cover yeah. coming to life and uh, it, it's going to be pretty fucking cool. Just uh, heads up when we announce the release date right now, we're taking pre-orders for it. When we announce the release date, that trailer will drop and you will want to see it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. So much energy going on right now. It's fucking awesome. It yeah. is. It is. And well, I, and we were just talking about Robert E. Howard and there's a Robert E. Howard museum here in Texas. 
and cross planes. His yes. House, his yes, house. there is. Yes. And it's fucking awesome, too. I believe they have his house, like the literal room where he wrote a lot of those stories and shit still preserved with the typewriter and everything. Damn. Yep. Garrett, it's about pro about an hour and a half away from your house and about three and a half away from mine. I think we should go. there. Mm, I got to go. go there. Let's uh, go. Sorry, Shad, you were going to say something. Well, with the excitement that uh, Ryan mentioned, there really is. There's a lot of excitement because there's just so many disenfranchised fans that that want this good media. And so when I see that, I'm just now really interested in, okay, where can we really push this? Where can we move on to next? If we really want to start challenging the mainstream, uh, the decentralized nature of the world is amazing. We have access to the fans directly now and uh, Indiegogo, direct sales. Um, how are you um, uh, distributing your one, Razorfist, uh, out of interest? It, uh, I go website? through a traditional uh, publisher where we take oh, pre-orders and then they ship them out and then it's available everywhere. I'm literally in bookstores. You can go to Barnes and Noble and get my shit right now if you want, but um, it's everywhere. It's Amazon. Uh, you can go to nightvalenovels.com if you want to pre-order, but it, it also has stored links to all of the different pages and whatnot where you can get it. So I, I'm actually doing it kind of old school style a little bit, but it is a publisher that is not woke it's uh, <laughs> so well so i'm i'm covered on that front i was almost canceled when i initially uh, put out the <laughs> the book there was a failed cancellation attempt i was i was going through a publisher who had done some tabletop rpgs and shit mm -hmm. and uh, the guy i was working with no complaints at all he was fucking awesome but his business partners were a problem and well uh, it's interesting so, so you I had say to change. that because I've heard, you know, some uh, some stories here and there about people having trouble finding publishers to produce like stories unless they their stories have certain tick boxes. It's sort of seeping through into even the literature mainstream, <laughs> you know, um, uh, publication industry, and that's that's an issue. And and so when I think about the Iron Age and what we can push to, I'm starting to consider, okay, what are the next steps? Is is it is it perhaps pursuing um, uh, a type of direct market um, uh, publication kind of coalition almost or something like that. Because uh, where where I see like the comic book um, uh, indie area, right, we're, we're having great success on Indiegogo and things, which is amazing, or, or direct sales that Eric July is doing. But then I start to wonder, all right, how can we get these comic books into the hands of kids again and, and start to uh, – try and expand further and i've been brainstorming certain ideas with my artist mike and uh, and it's interesting where we might be able to push this thing to to actually make it grow even further and so yeah the, well the, my publisher is arc haven right and they're doing yeah. something called arc tunes right now which is like a bunch of free kind of web comics that go panel by panel and they're literally going to be getting into like um fully illustrated books at some point where it's almost like a cross between a comic and prose at the same time. It's, the stuff they're doing right now is fucking crazy, but I'm loving the different ideas. You smash basically the Marvel DC duopoly and the sky is suddenly the limit. You don't have to conform to any outdated paleolithic release model anymore and so you can actually try different things um for example i forgot to mention this my book has a fucking soundtrack from a professional fucking dungeon synth artist if you've ever heard of this genre it's like you ever hear like the soundtrack to legend from yes. tangerine dream yes. or something like that yeah. it's like yeah. synth but it's fantasy yep it's like that and it's a professional artist who did the whole fucking thing so it actually has a full soundtrack you can listen to while you uh read the book or the audio book is going to have it on it obviously all throughout um i already recorded the audio book full sound effects full full nice. uh, soundtrack awesome. and everything so you know you can try all these different things right because you're not tied to two dying aging fucking dinosaur companies <laughs> well it, you're absolutely right um on the book i'm currently writing when i eventually do get it done i'm going uh, what i'm going to do as a release a, you know as a side thing as well is uh, a um uh, a basically a 3d model 
tour that you can explore the castle that the book is based on, on a guard, and it's going to be made in the Unreal Engine. And you'll be able to walk around and visit all the rooms and places where key events happen in the book. And so, yeah, it's trying brand new things to um, get people interested. And, and this is stuff that, like, the mainstream publishing industry, they are such dinosaurs. They, they are so stuck in uh, their, their ways that they're dying more and more. And we see some really interesting things because they just haven't latched on to how the world is changing. Brandon Sanderson wrote these <clears throat> secret novels, launched them on um, uh, on uh, Kickstarter, and it just exploded. It uh, did crazy numbers, and it really shows you the, some of the limitations that the mainstream is uh, is doing. And and when I say stuck in their ways, right? I was talking to Brandon when I was collaborating with him on Stormlight Four, he, um, and uh, he was mentioning that like. The, the, his publisher, they they spend like oh, ten grand on marketing in the New York Times, and it doesn't produce really anything. It's like he, he, tr he was trying to say that's not where my audience really are. It's just you're kind of wasting money. You could really focus and and be far more effective in a lot of things. And then there's the issues with uh, the, how they want to view digital um, productions like eBooks and stuff, and not you know getting a proper royalty rate to ra readers and all. Oh, sorry, the authors and things, and they're just stuck in their old ways and they're dying as a result and they're not adapting. Yeah. They're not. And good. Fuck them. I, fuck Marvel and DC at this point. Don't care. I love them for so fucking long. And uh, Az and I both gave up on the same day, like reading and buying new comics, something I did habitually, aside from the time I was in locked up, since I was freaking five years old, five and six years old. Yeah. You know, go, before, at first it was going to 7-Eleven, then it was Cornette Newsstand in Oceanside, then it was Professor X's Comics. I can name you all, like, where Pacific Comics was born, the comic shop in San Diego. I, I, I hung, down, hung out down there. My mom would lead me down there with these. It was really trusting back then in the 70s and 80s. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know, and I'd just read comic books all day. And uh, we gave it up, uh, like, and it was just over, it was over one thing. It was over one thing, and it was just one thing too many. Just one more attack on the fan, on the fans, and it was like the twentieth time it had happened within like a six month period, and we were just done. We're like, "Fuck you! You don't get our money anymore." You just we're, we're de when all that defunding the it. police was happening, we're like, "Well, we could defund people too. I could mm, defund yeah. California. I could defund San Francisco. I could defund Marvel. I could defund Disney. Fuck them. They don't, uh, you know, like as Eric July says, you know, we don't need these things. We don't, but they need mm -hmm. us." They need us, yep. and they're starting to act like they need us now. Some are, not everybody. They'll learn. They'll learn yeah, eventually. Yeah, they'll catch up eventually. Yep. And so for me, I'm just, all right, th there's this excitement. There's people really on board. There's people wanting this content that they're not getting, and so I'm diving all in. Like I'm uh, every single bit of profit that I'm making off of the uh, Shadow of the Conqueror graphic novel, I'm reinvesting for the second volume, but now I'm producing my um, uh, space opera one, and that I'm going to go – crazy I, because the key for me is making the best quality thing i can get and so i'm going to reach out to some of the best artists some of the best writers and and make more i've already registered a new company called honor guard productions proprietary limited that's going to be handling the um the oversight overseeing the uh, the publication of all these things i'm gonna go Full on, man. I can't wait, and I'm excited. And if, yeah. if uh, this graphic novel goes even further, I'll be doing a third project at the same time for superheroes and everything. And uh, there's the excitement, so let's capitalize on it. Let's push it as far as we can go. The Iron Age, baby. Yeah. Yes, like, I yeah. love it. Well, as I said in my original video talking about the Iron Age, the reason I named it that is because, okay, it's not as pretty as gold. It's not as pretty as silver, but we sure as shit hammer it out. And that was the idea. <laughs> yep. <is> that unlike <laughs> the other companies that aren't delivering right now, we just put our fucking nose to the grindstone and get it the fuck out there. Um, and you can see that fucking clear as crystal with what Eric July is doing. The dude <laughs> is his ass is bolted to the fucking chair in his warehouse. Yeah. Just knocking the shit out. It's crazy. His work ethic just blown away by that dude. Yep. And, and this is a natural progression in culture. Like, this happens all the time. Things get to, uh, you just go back to music or, or movies right now. They, they, they do get too corporate. They get too commercial. Yeah. There's an independent movement. The big difference about this independent movement is it's coming politically from a side you normally wouldn't get it from. Uh, yeah. And that's yeah. because the left, the progressive, insane left, 
and Marxists have just infiltrated everything. And this is like, fuck it. We, you know, we, we can infiltrate back, but that would take years. And I still say we do it because a lot of these <laughs> cultural, these, these institutions aren't fucking going anywhere. So we need to right. win them back somehow through elections and whatever. Uh, look at our schools. But this is, oh, yeah. it, it, oh, go on. No, we, we were talking about Hollywood and whatnot. There used to be counter communist films back in the day. A good example yeah. of this is High Noon, uh, classic Western, was supposed to be communist propaganda. The writer envisioned it as one man standing up to the House on American Activities Committee and shit. Didn't really work out that way. The director kind of in, got involved in whatever, and it wound up being very popular with conservatives, but it was meant to be a communist propaganda film. So John Wayne was so pissed hearing about that, he decided to make Rio Bravo, which is basically high noon, except everyone's not a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And it turned into one of the classic Westerns of all time. But somewhere around the 60s, 70s, those kind of films stopped being made. The counter communist films. And it wasn't like they were ideological. Like you don't, you don't watch Rio Bravo and they're waving American flags and saying fuck commies, although that would make it amazing. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was a counter philosophical film, at least. Right. You don't get those anymore. Really? You, you really don't. I think that's all we really need. It's not so much that we need ide ideological films. We just need films that on some philosophical level are not about collectivism. And th th the idea that the only way you can save the world is to fucking kill all of mankind and that mankind. Hey, guys, did you know it's the future and there's mutants running around? But the real enemy is humanity. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> so tired of that narrative. Please stop. Uh, uh, shoot me now. I, 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 I can't die. wait. Can't wait for Avatar 2. No. Yeah. Right. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh no, they're saving another tree. <sighs> yeah, I was watching. Right. So, so, so in nice. watching uh, Black Adam last night, I was sitting next to a couple, and <laughs> the 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 woman of the couple was like, "When as soon as that trailer came on, I'm so excited for this." You actually okay. had to sit next to people at your theater. I did. Yeah. It was actually pretty. It was it was well uh, it was well seen for my theater. That's crazy. Because I, I, I had a whole row to myself. I, I could have yeah. three too. Yeah, so I, I got one of the empty theaters. Yeah. <laughs> I got in on one of the very first sessions on release, and these are usually the pack ones, and there was like five other people in the cinema. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, I've heard a lot closest, of mixed. The closest IMAX to me was, I, I didn't go there because I didn't want to go that far, but the closest IMAX to me was nearly empty. Mm -hmm. And, and oh, top, top Gun Maverick was the answer to that. Like, there was just this nebulous right. enemy, and right, it yeah. was fucking jets and Americana, and that like, it killed. Yeah. It was great. All, all, all Top Gun Maverick wanted to be was a Film, an entertaining yes. film. Yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't you a don't get the sense. It, you don't even get the sense that they're setting it up for a sequel. No. Like, you don't even get the sense. It's like, it's just a standalone. Like, the, I don't know what the fuck Tom Cruise is going to do next. I guess Mission Impossible Mission 16. Impossible. Tom, Tom Cruise so, is going to try to see the top of the fridge or something. So then, they're doing the last two. They filmed, <laughs> they, they filmed the last two. Uh, <laughs> they filmed the last two Mission Impossibles back to back. So it's going to be Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, which will be the seventh. I think the seventh and eighth installments in the series. And then that's going to be it for Mission Impossible. He's probably good because he's like fucking 60. Yeah. But I know that one of the things that he's a part of, there's work right now to make a studio in space. And so something tells me that he'll be a part of that. And, uh, <laughs> Fuck. Make a, yeah. A studio in space. Okay. Yeah, that sounds ridiculous. Why not? That sounds ridiculous yeah. enough wow. to be true. Uh, he must. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. It's like, they, think of the think of the fucking insurance on those productions. <laughs> Alec Baldwin will be like a no big deal. Uh, we could insure him, yeah, but fucking space, I don't know. Yeah. I think it's the one year anniversary of Alec Baldwin killing a woman. Actually, wow. finally, isn't it? Do you finally, see, uh... Tom Cruise will be able to look down on someone. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> has it been, has it great, been a year this great article from cbr here by the way. has it been a year since the rust incident or well, they started filming oh, up God. you know they're gonna finish that movie uh, I got my on uh how much money did it make again it made 1.4 uh, billion yeah about 1.4 billion 720 billion. something so million almost 1.5 Almost 1.5. Seems billion. like just mm. enough Tom Cruise to me. Seems like seems like people quite like the amount of Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. 
Top in Gun book? in a pandemic mm -hmm. era box office that How no many one can make any money in. Reference alt right. I'd like to know. Jesus Christ. Uh, Top Gun. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick has too much of the character. It's fucking name now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's Police this, Academy's oh. got too many police officers. What do you want to bet? CBR has an article like uh, there's. There isn't very much Tolkien in the Rings of Power, and that's a good thing. You know, that's yeah. the kind of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. Typical CBR. Uh, yeah. Nerd Wars. There's no war in this Star Wars project, and that's, that's a, a good, good thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we just have the stars, and that's all we need. Nerd Wars on the Streamlab side for $50. Nerd Wars. It says, quick plug for my documentary, The Nerd War on Woke. The new video is called A Modern Day Audience on my channel, Nerd Wars. There's tons of FNT clips and memes throughout. Love you all. Please send help. Uh, we're trying. <laughs> Doing our best, buddy. Bradley Burnett has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Thank you, BB. And Bashy Washy has gifted 20 Nerdrotic memberships for $100. Wow. Bashy. Uh, oh, Bashy Washy. Washy. Raider03 for $49.99 <laughs> just has sent a thinking emote. Hollywood doesn't do that. And the fact that we are, I mean, I don't, okay, well, Razor Fist is educated, but uh, I'm a dumb shit. So the fact that I'm parsing this stuff out is bad. Uh, Graph Tanker 98 for 99.99. Our new Kickstarter and no Shad, I don't think you're educated at all. I just wanted to point that out. Wow. Uh, for the <laughs> Expanse board game for nah, doing bro, good. I just, I, I just, my fucking a thesaurus is my bedtime reading. That's all. I'm not uh, that fucking smart. Nerd. In nerd. school, bro, you should have seen my grades in high school. I got more C's than a Hispanic couple reaching mutual <laughs> orgasm. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Chrissy's all Holy I'm shit. writing that one down. <laughs> Chrissy's gonna write that one down. Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's all C's. Shorthand, just lots of C's in Hispanic couple. <laughs> I don't know how to follow up with that. I was going to say, yeah, oh. I almost got kept out of grade six for my terrible writing, but that's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, si se puede. Si se puede. <laughs> Chad's losing it right si now. Si se puede. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, Graph Taker 98 for 99.99. Our new Kickstarter for the Terran Expanse board game is doing good, but even if it doesn't make it this time, we will keep pushing forward. No choice with the state of current media. Yeah, keep trying. Like, don't stop. Yeah. It's the Terran Expanse. It's not like the Expanse. It's the Terran Expanse, which would probably be good. Don't make it like the Expanse, which is another story. It started out really good because it started prior to 2015, and then when TDS infected everything, science fiction, yep. fantasy, comic books, uh, movies, music, whatever. Uh, yeah, things changed, like, drastically. Like you were saying, Man in the High Castle had a great first two seasons. They were very entertaining. And then all of a sudden, it just went to girl boss, girl power at the end. I was like, what the fuck? Bro, I knew it was going to be bad when they advertised. So everything changed after Trump got elected, right? Yep, everything. <laughs> World I remember smart. when they advertised season three with hashtag resist. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, this is going all the wrong places. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Remember the resistors? No. Ugh. No. And the High Castle, such a fucking the cool squad. show. I, I really dug cool those concepts. first couple seasons. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it was so it was really fucking cool concept. Everything about it was rad, and it just got I, I always love no, all okay, the stories yep. you know what i mean like i love that shit um what like whether it's like kind of post post apocalyptic stuff where it's like hey what if things happen this way and you're you can like you can envision a world where that shit could have happened right like what would it be like so remember dan yeah. and dave's big idea that got shot down because it was right after trump it was the what if the what if we lost the Civil War? Oh, Confederacy? To, yeah, Confederacy. Uh, and it was supposed to yeah. be on HBO. Or Confederate, I think, is what it was actually yeah. called. 
Yeah. I mean, there's some, there's some YouTube videos about that that's probably demonetized, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and Westworld. Westworld started out really fucking cool, and uh, then they they scrapped all their scripts and rewrote everything after the election. Like absolutely oh everything. God. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. That's the oh, reason yeah. why they changed it. Yep. Yep. Me too. Oh times up God. in Trump. So that's why it took so long between seasons. <laughs> yep. Uh, times. No more white comfort. No bad more re comfort. bad robot. Bad robot. <sighs> yep. I'm sorry, audience. We were gonna no more good, a good show, but Trump's in office, so he yeah. will not propaganda. Divide us. He will not divide us. Oh my, those were great. That was a good time. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Remember when he, he has had the most interesting career Shia path? LaBeouf. I tell you, Shia I'm LaBeouf. a fan of Shia LaBeouf. I like I like Shia LaBeouf. He's crazy as yeah. fuck. Hilarious. No, he, Loved him in he, holes. He just converted to wow. be a traditional Catholic. It's like again, he's had the most interesting career path of anybody. All right, robot. Don't, <laughs> what robot? What, what is it? Your robot? Yeah, like, is. Yeah, cyborg Odin's just. Is he a Catholic down, now? So. Did he start? Is he Catholic now or yeah. was? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was. Uh, he uh, got a part to play uh, Padre Pio, who's who's a saint in the church, and he, when learning to learning the part, like converted. Um, so it's just like, but like you think about where he was, like he's okay. The how you know he will not divide us, guy. And then before that, he was you know crazy. You know, guy. Put a bag on my like, head and just sit do it. Yeah. Exactly. Quietly. I'm not famous anymore. Yeah. And then before that, he was that someone was singing it, the Shia LaBeouf song. You know. Yeah. Do you think it had but something he, to do with uh, being a? Collector. Do you think it had something to do with being a child actor in Hollywood and maybe being no. passed mm -hmm. around yeah, by Disney a few Channel. producers? Disney? Yeah, at the Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Dude, this Gary, they're so cynical because there's never been a bad story that's come out. About a child actor working. Oh, for Disney I agree. Or... Ezra Miller has not been passed around uh, every producer <laughs> in Hollywood and can describe no, their privates not. in detail. I'm sure. Yeah, that's got nothing to do with his protection. Um, <laughs> uh, linked fan uh, for fifty dollars on the Streamlab side. When he goes to prison, people better hope that the people come inside of him in a flash. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Uh, yeah, get, you don't want to don't want it to last too long. He's not there. gonna get okay. So no. wait, real quick, I, I, link fan. I'll get to that. I I heard your video, Ryan. Were there people in the house when he burglarized it or not? Was it occupied or not? I, I don't that's know. Big difference. Um, like, big it difference. has to be because yeah. for the to be like twenty six years, that's the like that's home invasion is the time. only thing that makes any sense. But I didn't see that in the charges. So yeah, because oh. because that's that's what I, I said a maximum for. of like I, right? I stumbled into a house with people in it, um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, I, I don't get he was he was trying to hide like he he's been in hiding, but he broke into somebody's house while he was hiding. I, I don't yeah, know if he was in hiding. Right. Like if you wanted to make sure nobody could ever see you, you should have gotten a show on MSNBC or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really funny line from like the police report where it's like Ezra Miller stole several bottles of alcohol and like took him to this car. But then as he was going to pick up another bottle of alcohol, he looked up and noticed a camera. <laughs> and then he looked at the camera, said, oh, put the bottle down and walked away. Wow. <laughs> like, I would love to see that fucking survey. I know. Please. Release the footage. Somebody Please. petition. Yeah, release that's, the Ezra cut. That's going to be gold. Cool. <laughs> release the Ezra cut. <laughs> ah, that's good. Like it, it, it just like okay, it feels because like a the reason comedy. I ask like, is because it's, it's oh. in California anyway. Uh, it's a difference in degree. There's second degree burglary and first degree burglary. First degree burglary is you are doing time in a prison no matter what, and that's if people are home. There's no way around it. Uh, and uh, I mean, he's yeah. appearing on Zoom call in court. Like I don't think it's that serious. No, I don't. He's not going to do a day. He's not going to do a second. No, I don't think no. so either. And, and like uh, like. If that if I fucking did that, I'd be doubtful of how much time I would spend in jail. Yeah, you know this, what I mean? This is a perfectly good example of privilege, right? Everyone wants to talk about white privilege. No, this dude legit has privilege because he's not going to set foot into a prison ever at this point. They have privilege, according to yeah. him. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, then let me rephrase what I said. Uh, if whoa, you don't, whoa, don't have, if you, to him, let me let me rephrase crime. what I said. Uh, if you don't have money, you're going to prison. If you have money, you're probably not going yeah. to prison. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. the California. real divide. Yeah, uh, and that's your okay. OJ Simpson linked fan. Ooh, well, he went later. But well, uh, he, he got a prison. Well, if he went later, don't fit, his you own must shit. acquit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, here is some money to get quarter black drunk. No. 
Did you yeah. see that last time? I don't need money <laughs> to get drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Will Ryan be going as a ghost for Halloween or maybe something more grand like a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> maybe a dragon. <laughs> have fun with yeah. Orlando. A grand, a I am grand looking wizard, forward maybe. to a few new books that That's I have funny. ordered from a couple of people you might know. Oh, thanks for ordering the books. We appreciate that. <laughs> thanks for supporting yeah. our friends. Yeah, I haven't decided what I'm going for for Halloween yet, just to be clear. So I was I was going to I was going to be ISOM, but Eric July told me no for some reason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's appropriation, think. motherfucker. Yeah. Well, it's because yeah. ISOM doesn't have a beard, Ryan. That's why. Yeah. Oh, you shave your beard. my bad. Yeah, I, to shave it. I don't know if I'm dressing up. Are you getting like? I'm, no, I'm not yeah. dressing up. I'm not fucking. Uh, yeah. I almost said a bad word. Uh, but I, <laughs> no, I'm not dressing up. As a I'm gamer straight. word almost came out of that. Yeah. Oh. Out of that. You should pile. wear that cowboy outfit you did when Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Had Last movie. year, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You should go as Batman with your knife. <laughs> yeah, run around, yeah, run around yeah. Universal with a knife. That That'll be fine. Do you know what you look like in that, Ryan? You look like Snoopy's brother in that hat. Spike? Snoopy's Snoopy brother. Oh, yeah. Snoopy has a brother. Yeah, he yeah, has he like does. a dirty brother who hangs out in the desert. Fucking wow! Oh. I'm I'm not too into the peanuts lore. <laughs> All right. Is well... he called Joe Biden? <laughs> no. He's Biden. <laughs> if so you know, you know. Spike. Is, yeah. is, is Joe Biden going to be able to speak after the midterms, by the way? I mean, he's just losing. <laughs> no. He's he going to be, be on the John John Fetterman. Fetterman. I mean, <laughs> Joe Biden and John Fetterman, like, walking around, playing fucking blind lead in the block. <laughs> oh, <somewhere>. God. <laughs> Some of those memes were great. At least Fetterman had, like, a fucking stroke recently. Like, he has a good excuse. He has a, yep. <laughs> just Biden's normal state. <laughs> I know, dude. Well, technically, he has a good excuse too, but no one wants to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. he's old and he's got dementia, but and yeah. probably had a stroke or two. <laughs> no, he did. Worried have a about what he has stroke. Yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, lots of <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Hail yeah. Friday night tights and razor fist. This is to pay for more words for exuregu. If necessary, oh. deduct words from Jeremy. Well, he's not here, so uh, to make room, I can Ellis <laughs> for fifty dollars on the stream website. You get more words. Exit a goo. Yeah, I'm on my hero's journey, as he always does <laughs> on Sundays. Hero's journey. You're on your hero's, hero's journey. Like my hero's journey. I stream starts. with my heroes. Uh, <laughs> every well, it every Sunday, anymore. some cast. <laughs> What's She's the... uh, filling the Jeffrey Tubin role on this Zoom call. <laughs> she doesn't know what that means, but I think it's funny. <laughs> I got it. I've heard of pulling a Tubin, but I don't actually know what it means. It means wow. uh, <laughs> it means don't look it up. Wild in front guess. Of your <laughs> a wild guess. Thirty-eight it means seconds. Google yeah. Jeffrey Tubin, CNN. It, don't. It means yeah. jerking Zoom. off in front of your coworkers without yeah, knowing no, you're jerking no. off Turn in front of your coworkers. Turn safe search on. <laughs> It's like a DSP moment. <laughs> oh, the camera's on. Oh, no, it's been on the whole no, time. No, no, it DSP. Turn off. How to turn it off? Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's been on the, the whole time. Didn't Give me 38 that. seconds. Did you see that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it on Twitter. Did you see DSP like went off? It might be old, but like he went off on. He's like, I guess nobody donated one night. Well, he was playing a game that he didn't like. Oh, shit. It was. Oh, terrible. no, that's like two days ago, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was two days yeah. ago. <laughs> that was literally like two days ago. Holy well, shit. You I don't like the game. You know, so Gary, like, when, you said, when you said he went normal. off, I thought you were going a completely oh, yeah. different direction. <laughs> it's you know, history when it's repeating itself, right? Oh, my you know, God. Gary, when his channel got demonetized, you know, these strikes against him and or i guess it's monetized but no, he, he, he got these strikes against him you know nobody wanted to re-up memberships and you know they, they had such a good road going with memberships they had a lot of momentum but unfortunately and due to unforeseen circumstances no fault of dsps at all you know that got ground to a halt so now he he really needs the support this week he's got a lot of bills coming up yeah um, he's got taxes of Most course the because the taxes are always there so it's a really an important week for dsp might not survive but he said that when he got his uh when he got his um what was it his vest street money he paid off his taxes with that but and then after the vest street money of course he had this bankruptcy but somehow wow. he still owes back taxes yeah, <laughs> but no yeah. the other day he was playing i don't know what he's playing he's playing a game and he he was so desperate for money and he wasn't getting it coming in 
that he did like an extra half hour or an hour or something and uh he didn't get anything in that period of time oh my God. so oh. he went on a rant to the people yeah. watching him about how disappointed he was uh, that he didn't get any reward for staying later and he, <laughs> he, he put he put in overtime and he didn't get paid yeah. by it wow he sounds like a beaten man anyway uh, so let's he needs to be beaten <laughs> yes. i think is uh, what needs to happen to him <laughs> Uh, subhuman 84 for $50 says greetings starfighters great news I'll be on time for my trucking down the road the same weekend has the meet as the meetup I'll see you in Orlando to hang out except for Jeremy I've met him and he's an asshole all hail Friday night tights <laughs> nice. it, it, uh, where's the line it's, it's crazy that it's uh it's coming up fucking soon we got what yeah. nine days till the meetup uh, a lot of people are coming into town over the next couple days i've got like seemingly a thousand people shipping shit to my house to fucking take with it uh take it with me down there so that'll be good i'm i'm looking forward to it. yeah it's gonna be exciting. I'm, I'm gonna be sending you more stuff too <laughs> <laughs> better fucking hurry up <laughs> well you know uh, well i yeah, I don't the shirts want, are coming in too. The shirts are coming in, but I might have to. Like, mm -hmm. If you've well, we'll t I don't want to bore anybody with that shit here, but uh, it's just equipment wise. Yeah, you know, I don't know how much I can take on the plane with me. So, oh yeah, I mean, am I going to be yeah. piped in or can I get the weekend off? You're getting piped in. Uh, oh, okay. If you want As the weekend off, I'm just getting piped. <laughs> getting piped. <laughs> don't think you're not going to get piped, Patrick Ells for fifty dollars. Spend a day at the office. Just played the Muppets Bohemian Rhapsody at the bar, and now my ears are bleeding. No regrets. All hail Friday Night Tights. <laughs> I actually love that bitch. Josh the McKnight for $50. My book is Dawn of the E... Uh, what? Ecopolips? Uh, e e Ecopolips? Ecopolips. Epic sci-fi adventure. Some of the coolest unique aliens you'll see and a great story. Check it out on Amazon. So it's E C O P O L Y P S E. Eco Pulips. So I, I can't read. So. Hopefully we're saying it right. Thank you. Ecopolis. Is it Ecopolis? Ecopolis, maybe? Potato, it's a potato. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. 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 Get yourself an oh my god. Flash. That is literally a fucking lifelong dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> to be fucking wow. gobbled have my sausage gobbled up by Olivia Munn. <laughs> Holy shit. I hope you places that is a that is a bucket list ticked right there. Oh you man. Know, if you didn't have the bun, we could call it a wiener. Wow. <laughs> I think Ez might be wiener. into biological women again after that. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be into that biological woman, I'll tell you that for nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Come on, sunshine, we can do it. <laughs> How am I supposed to say this again, X-Ray Girl? It's By the uh, way, Olivia Munn was there to be easy on the eye for your frost, so go fuck off. Yep. Right. <laughs> that turns out well, I, I, my favorite thing about that rant was, do you remember, speaking of fucking people who were in the news, like, what was it, like, two, three weeks after she did launched into that fucking spurgy harangue about how women aren't put on the earth to be easy on the eyes for you? They had amaranth and a bikini <laughs> yeah, and a yeah. fucking ball pit. <laughs> yes. She's all but deep-throating a microphone. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, and they spent, like, 20 course. They spent, yeah. like, 20 grand to get They got, they, they got to Gina there, Darling, too. didn't they? They got <laughs> Gina Darling to try and flick stuff up into her mouth as well just to, yeah. after that. Wait, how much did, did they I, pay for her to be there? Like 20 to 30 grand, somewhere around that. That, that was what was wow. reported, like, top end for some appearances. No wonder they, they went had. under. I'd have to imagine that's, uh, like, the that's, like, the going right for Amaranth. So Zipper lost of... her job because they blew it on the Amaranth budget. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it was clearly well, I mean, just think of, for, a, Sorry, for yeah. a streamer of that size that gets that much interaction, like, if you're taking a day to go to G4 and be on all these different shows, like, it's a lot of fucking money. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, it, yeah. Why would they pay um, that? All they need to do is yell at her. Well, all that, all that effort. <laughs> I mean, all wow. that effort that Amaranth puts into her, her, her Yeah. yeah. 
Just I threaten mean, to kill her fucking dogs. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> oh, my God. But they were trying to reverse course with that, saying, oh, look, we will still have pretty girls in you. But, they, like, the hypocrisy, no, you needed to have denounced what um, Frost said. Yeah. Yes. Just fired her first. And then you might have been out to try and pitch the, hey, we're still the old G4. Right. But because they still had Frost on board and they were showing all that support, Nah, there was no hope in yep. them trying to regain they any wanted to with that. have their cake and eat it too. Yep, yep. And then Frost tried to go with the Rico defense a couple of days ago. <laughs> Which it was all of us. We were all in on it. <laughs> Everyone was signed off on it. Everyone said it was going to be good. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, I know that's so <laughs> <weird>. <laughs> Oh Have you seen the God. one where they take his beard and then, then put it as his hair and <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. Man, I heard they were rebooting Puppet Master. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, uh Legay Le 66, Le I always say it. Legay Le Le for wow, $50. A, a French fan. <laughs> <laughs> says, I want Razor Fist to scream, Hail Corton. Uh, to reset my brain and I will function again. Hail what? Q U Corton? Corton? Q U O. Oh, hail Quarthon. Quor of, uh, oh, they forgot the H. Oh, okay, they yeah. forgot the H. Yes. And, uh, and hail Quarthon. There you go. There you go. Now his brain's reset. Like a. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people, apparently, people are saying that Amaranth had a $50,000 appearance. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Damn. Twenty-five per titty. Damn. <laughs> That's, that has to be the most money she's ever made with her clothes on. <laughs> Easily, <laughs> barely. She was in a bathing suit, though. Uh, spicy taco. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Spicy taco for fifty dollars. Sounds good. Spicy taco. Speaking of Iron Age, I am following Ripa and Razor's lead by becoming the culture. I am the edit in the editing stage of my fantasy novel and old in an old west setting. Uh, think uh, necromancy meets six shooters and whiskey. I'll continue to update and its release. Hail, that sounds cool. Right. Um, I love cross genre Make stuff. It. Make it. Make right it and do it absolutely. Uh, Four one three garage for sixty five dollars. Says I just realized wow. that She Hulk had to win female lawyer of the year because woman lawyer of the year would have been uh, given to some <laughs> dude in a dress that has fancies. <laughs> I, was the show trying to say something then with the all the women getting an award thing? Because to me, that was like, would have been women are only there for insulting. participation trophies, Shad. It, it was, uh, what are they trying yeah. to say? That's what it was. It was kind of like a, it was just one more comment about how women aren't actually like appreciated. It's just like some fake fucking mm. show to pretend yeah. like people care Jessica about. Jessica Gal thinks the year's nineteen sixty one. Yep, and it shows yeah. you the power of a showrunner, like with Je Jennifer Hutchinson under Vince Gilligan with uh, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. She was pretty good. Jessica Gow wrote an episode, it, like the first season of Silicon Valley, Mike Judge's Silicon Valley is a fucking masterpiece. It is so fucking funny, and it rips Silicon Valley to shreds. She wrote a fucking episode of that. I was shocked. I was like, what? Uh, but it shows you the power of a showrunner. She doesn't, like, she, yeah, when she's on her own running a show, she's pretty terrible. She's pretty terrible. I Nobody think knows uh, what Daredevil the fans are about to learn the importance of a showrunner. Oh, yes, they, oh, they, God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, in in Disney Plus's defense, you'd have to be blind to want to ram She Hulk too. <laughs> it's, it, it, I made that joke, and like as soon as the fucking thing was over, I'm like, it's ironic that the only person who actually wanted to fuck Jen for Jen was a blind dude. Yep. And uh, <laughs> dude, the fucking cope was crazy. People were like, yeah, but he has like super sensitive hearing. Like he he can actually see more than a normal person. You know, that's not the only you think it is. Like. Holy fuck, guys. <laughs> He's fucking blind. It's a fucking joke. It's, 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 it's a joke. It There's no humor anymore, Ryan. There's Sometimes no a joke. Anymore. Well, it's not only joke. that, but they make a running gag out of it on the show, right? Where yeah. he's... It's uh, what is it? Foggy says something like, "If there's a hot chick, you're just gonna find them and ram them." Like, what yep. the fuck? I don't know how you do it. You're supposed to be blind, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah. all I'm doing in my head is like, okay, fucking, I'm seeing Electra in my head. 
and fucking Karen, Karen Page, Page. <laughs> and Ros Rosario fucking Dawson. Yeah. Like, yep. one Ooh. of these things is not like, <laughs> like the not other either. one. Yeah. Fucking what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I can't. I'm gonna have time to watch that series again all the <laughs> and do a review. I can't wait. I watched season one recently. It was so. Good. Oh, Drew, oh, season Drew, one is fucking. Drew Goddard perfection. developed it. Stephen Knight like wrote it out. It, the first two seasons were fucking masterpieces. He gave so it. Yeah, so he, he's actually a subscriber to mine uh, of mine. Uh, Whoa, Stephen F. The Knight, fucking Steven. badass dude, and did an amazing job on the first season. I like the second season even more, Me and too. the third season's really good too. All three of those are fucking great. Um, can we I, can we please get season three on Blu-ray? Come on. Yeah. And what the fuck is yeah. that shit? I literally had to burn. I mean. I had to buy a licensed physical <laughs> copy. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Uh, Gary, Gary? I yeah, got yeah, yeah. I got it. I got to go. Sun's going down. Sun's going, Sun's going down. down. Big guy. Big guy. Sun's going down. My brother's coming tomorrow morning uh, for five days. So I got oh, to no. I got to say uh, goodbye, farewell. Alvida saying because I'm a Nazi. <laughs> uh, we're gonna rename him Azov Battalion. As <laughs> yeah, see you Sunday, buddy. Oh, yeah. go fuck yourself, Gary. <laughs> yeah, Gary. I'm not doing this alone, okay? This is this is not only this, right? I'm giving up Sunday fun day for this, right? Yeah, my brother's mm -hmm. here. I'm giving up the evening with my brother to fucking brother. sit for an hour with Gary and go. I don't care. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yep, because I'm not doing it. <laughs> but this I'll alone. do it. But I'll do it. Uh, thank you. Uh, please support Shad's book on Indiegogo hey, right now. Uh, I have. Hey, I've updated. Update, update from um, when we announced it. It was. It's now on three hundred forty-nine thousand. We are so close to three hundred fifty. Wow. You guys wow, are legendary. For a single month's wow. rent. <laughs> You know, in Canadian, it's four seventy six thousand. Nobody gives a fuck. No, it's yeah, Canadian pesos. Three point eight billion. So you know, right now, uh, support Razor Fist. Support That's Critical true. Drinker. When this comes out, support this. Please, look, how can you? No. Just burn it. <laughs> it's um, like hey, these people have dedicated their lives to create an incredible like <laughs> fictional universe please buy my stuffed hot dog <laughs> <laughs> we got we got shad he's he's written a book and now it's turning into graphic novel form he's leather bound it uh you know it, it, he's even created swords uh that, that marry together with what is in the books itself razor fist five languages five <laughs> languages and his book, you know, just going into the nitty gritty, the nuance of what would happen, uh, CSI Menestereth. You got the drinker putting to film his own creation Ooh. of Ryan Drake uh, for Exciting. the first time ever. He wanted twenty thousand dollars. He's on two hundred thousand dollars right fantastic. now. Yeah. And with all that incredibleness, buy my stuff toy. Buy <laughs> yes. hot dog as in effigy. That's Buy what you're getting. Let your dog toy. fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> let your dog fuck it. Let your cat dangle it from the ceiling and eat drool it. Drool on it. Uh, cats let your baby it, eat it. And, you hey, know, cats hopefully. Fuck it's too, good. man. Oh, that's true, yeah. You can Mine roast it over a fire, maybe. You got a girl cat. I know. She shouts at me all the time. That's what she does. And leave your yeah. poo I will see you Sunday, Gary. I will see you mm. Tuesday, Gary. I will see you Friday. 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 In hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Oh, I love uh, that was brilliant. Does anybody else need to go? We're over the three hour mark, three hour, 15 minutes. And I appreciate all your time. This is your chance to escape. I got oh, 30 for, more for minutes. 15 in more me. minutes, I'll stay. Awesome. Thanks, Razor Fist. I appreciate it. I won't leave you without your Alice and your Brady Bunch fucking. <laughs> <laughs> this is a story. Of a right. <laughs> right. Well, that'll make people leave. So, yeah. Just because, you know, I'm really interested about your novel, Razor Fist. How long have you been writing? Is this something like it's been a passion for you your whole life and get, getting it out and all that? 
Um, no, the first one came out in 20, tw- late 2020, early 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but I had never published anything apart from, mm-hmm. I had done, I had had some of my comic book art published before. I'm an artist. I do some art in the book, by the way. Uh, George Alexopoulos isn't the only guy who does art. I do a little bit too. But um, it's, I, I've been doing mostly comic art for years. And uh, now I'm doing novels, basically. The world that I invented for the book had existed before, though. That's why it's mm. so detailed. Awesome. Awesome, man. So it's been rolling around in your head. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Do you ever think of making like a sex, a razor fist sex toy where it's just like. Is this that, like a, a Freudian kind of like a problem, you expressing something, Jay? Uh, uh, like... Fantasies? No, I've been Fantasy. thinking about it the whole time. Uh, yeah, I, I think the Better Business Bureau might have an issue with that. Or like, yeah. you got razor fisted. <laughs> right. <laughs> His new catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> I think we disable the like feedback line on that one. Hey, uh, excuse me. I, I actually have a ruptured aorta for using your fucking sex toy properly. It hurts. It really had razors on it. <laughs> Not surprised that question came from Chrissy at all. <laughs> oh god. Uh, gaming uh, new fi on the Streamlabs side for one hundred dollars. Because hail from Newfoundland, Canada. Uh, Gary, this is my first super chat. Uh, might as well go big. Ooh. That's what she just like Canadians. <laughs> he would. said she's. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, right. Uh, did you know there is a possible Breath of Fire spiritual successor called Tears of Magic? They are halfway there on Kickstarter. All hail and glory to the Iron Age, and hail to you. No, I did not know, but I will look. Canada, you just lost your right to have guns. No handguns. So uh, it's not the right. It's um can't buy them. You can't buy tra- transfer. So you can't buy them. Can't sell them. So, so you basically lost. You, you lost the right. Yeah, you lost the right. That's how they do it. That's, that's how Biden right. planned to do it. By the way, he literally oh. gave interviews saying that. Like <laughs> Biden's yeah. the guy who says the quiet part out loud. I know. Oh, right. It's always. probably a good thing. Um, so Canada, they're not taking them away. Hot. They're just not letting anyone get any new ones or give any ones away. So yeah, they're getting rid of your uh, right. Yeah. And I mean, can like, you make them? Can, doubt that. Uh, probably. You could probably make it out of the 3D printer if you want. It's not oh, transferring yeah, technically. Right. But, well, I mean, um, ask that Japanese guy. Yeah. So I can... that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, DIY you project. DVC pipe and some buckshot shit. Yep. Lo- losing gun rights, huh? First time, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Back in the nineties for you, Shad. <laughs> they're, they're long gone. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, well, hey, I, 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 you got a lot of that knife violence. I though. don't have any either, and I live in America, but it's my fault. So <laughs> there you go. I don't have any either. No, neither do I. No, I have no, a shit ton. Nor, nor do I. You suck. My, I, I had a lot of them, but then I went on a fishing trip. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that happens, same, right? We all have that same boat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Just a yeah. weird ship. The sea I don't know why they build them right. like that. Yeah. It's the SS come and take it, bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kratos Dissident Gaming Channel for $50. Thank you. Just hail Friday Night Tides and Razor Fist. Also, hail Ryan. Gary, I just picked up a delicious Hawaiian pizza. Oh, good. And with extra pineapple, I suggest you do the same. I might, because we have round table here. Yeah. We have I, uh, fucking round table yeah, yeah. pizza in Texas. I'm so happy. Yeah. I really yeah, hope but- you don't choke on it. Uh, but yeah, did you yeah. did you did you pick it up with jalapeno peppers and barbecue sauce and yeah and yeah, that that yeah. Abominable yeah no 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 buff- buff- little early buffalo sauce buffalo sauce. Okay. buffalo sauce okay buffalo sauce yeah well, whatever Vegemite take the boy pineapple off and it all <laughs> Wait, great. don't you dis Vegemite man <laughs> Vegemite is friggin' Chad the bomb. I will defend Vegemite oh, to Vegemite's my bloody disgusting. death. <laughs> you guys just don't know how to eat it. It's it's what? It's thin, it's right? Throwing it in the trash it's or <laughs> that needs to be respected. It smells disgusting. If you don't respect Vegemite, 
It'll you burn just, you. It is ground up. Bit and oh, uh, Bill, Bill, bit Bill Gates would like it because it's like ground up bugs, right? That's what it looks like. You guys are just, yeah. you guys looks are just like jealous. Oh, bug you, jelly. Know, you got this weak hippie pineapple on pizza crap. We've Whatever. got the powerful mighty I'm veggie sorry. that only do How many guns are legal in your country, it's, hippie? It's like, it's like badger, mate. No. You have to be- <laughs> oh my god! Well, well, well. Oddly enough, I was no, about to say you have to be a man to be able to eat Vegemite. So, uh, oh, <laughs> aren't you guys Let's still on lockdown? What's your excuse? X-ray girl, how dare you? This poll no, is evil. No, it's not. P- pineapple pizza will win veggie mi- against veggie bite. I th- oh, it has it's evil a, though. It's evil. Like, there's too many how many Australians are It's the only way pineapple and pizza can yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to put it up against some. Actually, I think there's enough people that are unfamiliar with Vegemite that they might just choose that as the lesser of two I'm gonna evils. I'm going to pick Vegemite just because I don't like pineapple. And like, what like, is the Vegemite mythical food is not a, preparation? Pineapple pizza is like, an abomination. Yeah. Vegemite is not. Okay. It's just powerful. They're both abominations. Let's hear it, Shad. No, you just can't handle it. You're weak, Odin. Shad. Not handle the Vegemite. Shad. How do you properly prepare Vegemite on something that you eat? Toast. Exactly. You, respect it, Gary. Toast? you need to respect it first. Toast, warm, make sure it's got uh, melted butter. You put the butter on, make it melt. And then you know, very little cold. amount. Hugh Jackman knows it. Watch the Hugh Jackman video on Vegemite. He understands the power of Vegemite. And then you just put a light sprinkling on it. And uh, one, that's already good enough. Beautiful. If you want, you could add some tomato with some little bits of pepper. Is that like tomatoes? Sounds like a lot of fucking yeah, effort to like, eat some fucking toast. Are these toast. like tomatoes, oh. but gayer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not yeah, a tomato, it's like a One fucking topping. All one I hear is to oh, use for me for toast. Right? Made it tastes made like butter or peanut ass. butter. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm was, with you there. I was right. waiting for the for the UK food preparation lecture. <laughs> Sir, would you, would you like boiled or boiled? <laughs> <laughs> Uber geek. Looking at you. Yeah. Uh, I tweeted out a nice boiled pizza. pizza. Yeah. Love the channel British and people, yeah, team. Man. Keep up the great work from Richard Shirley for $100. Shirley, you can't be serious. And I can call you Shirley. Motherfucker. Thank you very much. Uh, maximum Weave for a $199.99. Uh, it's another one of Razor Fist's favorite things anime. <laughs> uh, <laughs> replay by Ken Grimwood, my favorite best time travel novel. 43 year old radio journalist, aka 80s podcaster, died of a heart attack in 1986, wakes up as an 18 year old in 1963, lives, li- lives life like Groundhog Day. Author died 2003, heart attack, writing sequel, age 59. You would love it. Uh, get read at $5, use paperback, worth owning. All right, that sounds kind of cool, actually. And it's by Ken Grimwood. Okay, by Ken Grimwood. I have a half-price bookstore, like, right near my house. Fucking awesome. The only thing they don't have is Conan and Elric because everybody buys them now, which is great. Yeah, yeah. They usually put them in, like, the the glass behind Yep, because they're too hard to find. And they're you got to go to, like, a bunch of them. But, dude, I've like, the older books. Star Trek books, like, uh, pre-Next Generation, I've been buying those up, man. All Do you have Bookmans out there? Do we have no? We no. don't have a Bookman's. No, no. no Bookman's is like the superstore used bookstore. Like they have, it's the Walmart of used yeah. bookstores. Ooh. And they've, I can smell they it have now. a whole aisle for fucking Star, old Star Trek books and old nice. Star Wars books and old Conan and all that shit. They're fucking all. If you're in Phoenix, yeah. you need to stop. Or I think there's some in Vegas too. I'll be driving through Arizona in November. I'll, I'll have to yeah. stop by. Going to. Want to see Do y'all have uh, McKay's? No. No. Yeah. McKay's is pretty big here in Chattanooga. Yeah. Half Price Books is really good. Uh, they got a lot of stores in San Antonio. Yeah, they do. Half Price is pretty great. Yeah. Including right up the street from my house. It's good. Always find these streams entertaining. Thanks for the laughs. Would be awesome to see a top 10 or 20 catch up list of comics for people who haven't collected in years. It says Thrown Axe on the Streamlabs side for 100 bucks. That will be, I'll do that on. Um, Real BBC. You know, Razor Fist, someday we need to get you on Real BBC so we can talk about just purely like comics for a couple of hours, just comic books. And we can maybe, I can I can whoop up a list. Uh, I'm sure you could whoop up one off the top of your head too. Of, uh, yeah. you know, otherwise just go to his channel 
uh, the French. Oh, I've, I've covered a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like I did an introduction to Daredevil, an introduction to Solomon Kane, an introduction to Elric. Uh, I recommended a lot of comics and all those videos. Oh, dude! You I would, passed you would... down Solomon Kane to my son. Oh, he read the entire awesome. Savage Tales. And I love he's the like, way you said I that. I finished it. I love the way you said that. I passed it on to my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, son, you must. Right. And he loved it. He fucking loves it. It's like passing down your hereditary illnesses. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Like, when when, you're, when your so. kid tells you that the here's uh, juvenile diabetes. Uh, yep. <laughs> How about some heart disease? <laughs> right. Uh, not another diamond. Here's a narrow urethra. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds painful. <laughs> Ouch. I don't oh. know if it's painful. It probably just takes a really long time to piss. It's it's right. called it's called inevitable <laughs> if you're old. Okay. <laughs> not another dime gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you. Not another dime. That was a lot of dimes. Uh, toxic man flu. Oh, boy. For $100. <laughs> I got news for you. Pineapple belongs on pizza. Almond yes! Joy is a good candy bar. Just ask Comic Division. I, I don't know about the <laughs> Almond Joy. Uh, sorry, I will miss Orlando. No excuses. No, sorry. Just go. Uh, but, I, uh, but I hope everyone has a great time. Hail to the fellowship and God bless the freedoms we enjoy in the U.S. of A., the ones that are left. Yes. Hell yeah. Go to the Rings Nerd 97 for $50. Says, Hail, friend, and I tice Razor Fist in the Iron Age. It's my birthday today, and I'm 25. Wow. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Uh, Happy with Happy terrible birthday. entertainment. No. Uh, <laughs> Do you? Happy birthday. No, 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 no. Do you? No, God. No. Oh, look at her go. Wow. We have to wait. Nice. There's somebody else's birthday today. And, yeah. and we want to do it probably after our <laughs> guest leaves, so he'll come back someday. Okay. <laughs> um, and I'm 25. Maybe he wants to join us. Uh, I, I don't know. Don't Would you like to join us in him. song? With, with terrible entertainment like She-Hulk and Rings of Power. I'm so happy. That hot D is actually good. He said, great. I say good. I just replaced it. Also, Gary, I'm pro pineapple pizza. It's great. You're great. Okay. Yeah. You're great. I, I would argue that hot D has been pretty great. Uh, like, uh, I up until episode nine, I did not like. Well, I shouldn't say that. I actually liked episode nine. There were uh, yeah, just some just big problems. Just the end. Yeah. It wasn't just the end. There was some other stuff as well. But it, it's like major contrivances at the end. It, yeah. The, the thing at the end, it was like they wanted a big spectacle the only thing i'm hoping is hey that is used as one of the reasons that the fucking people of king's landing yep. fucking raid the dragon the pit and do all the shit at the you know what i mean like that that's that's one of the things i'm it hoping it would have been for, fine but... if the writer hadn't come out and said okay so to describe for people who didn't watch the show at the very end rainy's targaryen escapes on a dragon at the dragon pit by popping up from the from the floor during the king's coronation with Thousands of people on the floor. She Ow. evaporated at least 300 people dead, like fucking wow. dead. And then she has the dragon. Right. This is not in the book, by the way. The dragon's like pointing right at the greens. You could end this war right now. And she decides to do it according to the writer and the director because it was one mother to another. I mean, fuck the 200 mothers you just killed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> vaporized. Also, yeah. Like, the, the, yeah, in the inside the episode, uh, he was like, yeah, you know, by doing that, she probably could have, you know, ended any war and bloodshed. <laughs> it's like, wait, wait a minute. You just said that if, if she had oh. done this, then then everything would have been okay. What? Stupid. Well, I, oh, well, that, that was that was coming from like a place of we don't know what's gonna happen, right? Like we don't we we don't know what's gonna fucking happen, and that cause she could have fucking wiped a bunch of people out right then. But like, she, I think she was hoping that, from my perspective, she's hoping that Allison learns that lesson that she just like taught her. And, uh, and, I don't and know if all Allison's the dead people, choice. all the dead small folk, unintentionally taught her. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and, and that's part of like the story of Game of Thrones. Like these fucking elites don't give a fuck about I mean, if they like, want to the continue. People. Yeah, if they, if they want to make that the uh, you know the the why 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 King's Landing kind of chooses the Greens at some point, that would make sense. It's like fuck this bitch, and then she turns into a crazy murderous you know cunt sure okay it would make sense mm -hmm. but she doesn't in the very next episode there is a scene that will contradict it i promise you unless they took that out of that that's in the book 
That's absolutely in the book. Um, well, they kind of forgot uh, exactly what was in the book at that moment. Yeah. Well, that's why that, that whole scene at the end did not happen in the book. Uh, Rainey's yeah. was never at the castle during uh, the Green Council or anything. So they wanted a cool Rainey's moment, hundred percent. They wanted a girl power moment. Uh, yeah, and yeah, it was spectacle over substance. The whole Game of Thrones final seasons mentality, and it's like, uh, don't do it, you fools. Yeah, it's like you've done great for fucking eight episodes. Like, I, they have, do they have. It's it's like we're waiting for the second shoe to drop them. Like we, they built such goodwill, and then that last <clears throat> scene ripped it all out. Well, I I for and one, like I said, overall model. overall the episodes like. Yeah. yeah, like in six and a half or seven. I'm me, not going to watch the leaked episode. I'm going to wait till Sunday. Yeah, I'm yeah. just going to yep, wait. Yep, yep. You're not? No. Not until it fucking comes out, no. I like having my visceral reaction anyway. Uh, Noir777 for $50. Noir. It's Razor Fist. What do you think about the new Silent Hill announcements? There's also a spiritual successor to Breath of Fire on Kickstarter called Tears of Magic that you might like to check out. I, uh, good Lord, like they announced like 50 things in a row. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm now in development as a Silent Hill game. Like this is <laughs> Silent, Silent Hill 2 remake fucking Christoph Gans, who made the first Silent Hill movie, which is awesome. Fuck the haters. I always fucking love that movie. No, I like um, it. I love not the movie. second one, the first one. The first um, one's good. But he's he's been stumping for years to come back and make a new Silent Hill movie because he had an idea for one. So he's going to come back and make a Silent Hill movie. I think that's probably going to be pretty, pretty to look at, at least. Um, and and apparently like three more fucking Silent Hill games or some shit like, on top of that. I don't think Silent Hill 2 needs to be remade, honestly. Uh, I, I don't see what the fuck you gain from it. I, I guess it'll look prettier. Um, I worry about not having Team Silent work on it, although apparently the monster designer from Silent Hills 1 through 4 or whatever, he's working on the remake, which is good news. But um, that's about the only good thing I can say about it. I don't think I, I need it. I, I feel the same way about a Resident Evil 3 remake, the one I didn't fucking buy. It's like, why? I, I don't really care. Um I, I was into Resident Evil 2 as far as it goes, but uh, no, nah, I, I don't think I need a remake of it. I, yeah, I want just leave this stuff alone. I guess if you weren't going to, like, fuck with it in any way, but I, I just feel like they would fuck with that stuff. They like, are going to yeah. fuck. I mean, look, they did a remake a few years ago, or not a remake, a remaster several years ago, and they fucked that up. All they literally did is re-release the games, and they managed to fuck that up. <laughs> they recast the voice actors and it was a huge controversy and people still hate those versions of the fucking games. <laughs> so if they couldn't get that right, literally just copying over their homework, how the fuck are they going to handle a remake? Yeah. I, I don't buy it. I wanted to play Red Dead again. So I just, I well, because my, my kids took all my fucking consoles, I had to buy a PS3. So I bought a PS3. I'm just going to play it on a you PS3. You have a computer. <laughs> but I want to play it on a PS3. A but I want to play it on a PS3. That's well, what I used I to play I it on. I know how to play it. Dude, that's what good. I used to play it on, okay? And I'm not like a gamer, well, so have, I'm going to play it on the thing I know how to play. I can't reinvent the wheel, Gary. You just get I a just, controller. It's a PS3. But you, Black, you know why controller. I'm getting a PS3. I also want to get Rock Band back, and I want to get my Guitar God. Hero back, and have, in my gaming oh, room. Those are expensive now. Yeah, I know. Right, right. I know. If you have, I, I don't know if you have a Series X or S or whatever the fuck, but you can play both of those games on that because it's back. It's physically backwards compatible on that. So if yeah. you got the old Red Dead One disc, you just slide yep. it in and fucking play. On and it's the remastered it's on... version that you get to play. You don't play the disc version. You actually get a free remastered version of Red Dead One. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Red Dead One, one of the greatest games ever. I mean, I've only played like five, but like you honestly, gotta play Red Dead Two. It's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> and Red, Red Dead, Dead Revolver is underrated as fuck. Yeah. Red Dead Revolver. It's great. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so it's been almost fifteen minutes. Razor Fist, you can. We'll, we'll let you get out of here. All right. Fuck all you people. Fuck you. Too. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting to say it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> No, thank you for having me on, and uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, fuck all you people. Buy the book. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> raise the fist book sounds awesome, guys. Check it out. Yes, totally. Godspeed to all the supporters of the the Iron Age. Oh, and yeah, 
Death Mask. There it is. So good. Uh, it's going to be available in hardcover and softback. It's not just the story. You get an appendix full of world building information and maps and fun shit like that uh, at the back of it. And it's fully illustrated with uh, gorgeous illustrations like so wow. from Mr. Yes. George Alexopoulos. Wow. That uh, is, wow. oh, there we go. Wow. That is quite badass. Wow. Um, it's it's purdy stuff, folks. So, uh, yeah, pick it up. It's, wow. yeah, paperback, hardback, no more signed editions left, but we might do another batch. Oh, nice. that's cool. That's hey, awesome. Razor Fist, what's going to happen in Arizona? What do you think? Ooh. What do I think is going to happen? Uh, Carrie Lake wins in a landslide. Well, Ooh. should be a landslide. Blake Masters has the momentum. He might pull it out. I don't know. I was predicting Mark Kelly, fucking Uncle Fester, would beat him. <laughs> but uh, I, I think Blake Masters might actually win. Mark Fincham probably wins. Hmm. And uh, I'm trying to think of the other major races. The, the trifecta there. If those three guys win, that's the trifecta. And nice. uh, the ghost of John McCain is officially exercised oh, in the state of Arizona. Yes. Nice. It's a good setup for the actual election. Next election. Yeah, we'll see. Either way, uh, the, the big question mark for me is Blake Masters beating Mark Kelly. That's the one I'm not sure about. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've predicted he'll lose. and But after that debate, holy fucking shit, he beat Mark Kelly like he caught him breaking into his house. <laughs> and that fucking thing. It was horrible. He destroyed him. So uh, ever since then, he's been pulling a bit of head of mark kelly so if he can carry that in and if it's a plus four or five republican election uh yeah i think he wins probably just by the hair of his chinny chin chin mm. that would be good. maricopa nice maricopa county dude yep. uh, <laughs> mara california county <laughs> sorry <laughs> well that's not, not so maricopa's not so bad with that it's uh pima that's yeah, yeah. that's east oh. california right there Mm. Ballot boxes. I saw some in Arizona. They already caught somebody stuffing one. Uh, yep. And it's just a person uh, standing. Yeah, and we're going to need to do that. Like, if, if that, thank God it's not going to happen here in Texas. But if it does, we're going to have to have people out there with their fucking phones ready all the time. Oh, uh, and get the, yeah. get the, did you see? The fucking local media got so mad about that. They went down to the ballot boxes to catch the people who were catching the people <laughs> stuffing the ballot box. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> They're oh. that fucking butt mad about it. They wow. <laughs> Retard section. <Wow. laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, you don't know who the villains are at that the point. End. I don't know what else could help you figure out. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> yep. It's like ballot boxception. I know. I love it. <laughs> anyway. Take it easy, man. Folks, thank you. Thank you for having me on. See you, I had a hoot and a holler. Uh, Godspeed to each and every one of you. And don't eat the yellow snow. <laughs> Hail, raise a fist. Red back again. Another great show. The guy's awesome. We'll have him back. We love him. Uh, hey, Gary, you reckon I could give a, an update? Yes. The Shadow oh. of the Conqueror graphic novel just hit 350,000. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, you guys yeah. are legendary. Look oh. at that. Wow. wow. Oh, that is amazing. Man. Wow, wow. Holy that is crap. You hit your goal. Guys. What did legend. you think? Obviously, a hundred thousand was the original goal. What did you think? Yeah, like actually, you'd get two hundred thousand. Was I thought would be maybe we could push it to two hundred thousand. So this is blowing me away. I'm, I'm like just yeah. ah, this is incredible. It's so exciting. Um, and hey, we got eight days left. I, I, I'm, I'm like, could we do it? Four hundred. Yeah. And. Yeah. And I'm talking with the printer to see because they have a price increase on paper and uh, we might be able to uh, find out exactly, all right, how, when do we need to place the order so we don't hit the price increase? And if we have a bit of time, I might be able to extend it a little bit just to see how far we can really push hey, that. Can you come I, on next Friday? Yeah. Let's push it. Okay. Hell yeah, yeah. man. All right. Absolutely. We'll make it happen. I don't know how, but we'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We're all because we're all gonna be. We're gonna be together, you know, so we'll have an extra. We're gonna slot. be. Uh, yeah. We're gonna be in a rental house. We're all gonna be around the fucking same table trying to figure it out. So it'll be an adventure. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I'll bring my switchboard. Man. Unless you have a switchboard. Do you have a switchboard, Ryan? Um, Ryan, is, you have a switchboard, right? Uh, uh, so I will bring my roadcaster, but we yeah. probably want another one too, or some all fucking. Right. Uh, splitters, like all that good yeah, shit. Yeah, you know I'll, bring I mean? the I, I'll bring I'll bring yeah. bring in mine. 
Okay. I've been I've been listening to that get together and everything. Man, it's all it's tempting me to try and fly over there, Joe. Oh, bro. Do it. But I, I don't you dare be tempted. Do it. Don't be a I'm tempted. It's only hey, 17 or 18 yeah. hours. <laughs> Let me know if you do, Shad. We'll yeah. fucking get y'all set up. Yep. I could put you in the OnlyFans house. I'll pick you up like she hugged. I have to like suddenly, I already have my visa. I have to just like book to, I don't know. Like it's, it's stupid for me to consider, but man, I, like it's tempting. Do you man. have a passport? Like a people people, yeah, people passport. would go fucking nuts, oh, dude. dude. They would yeah. go Crazy. fucking nuts. I'll give you a place in our, uh, in our uh, Airbnb. <laughs> We're sober, mm -hmm. so I mean, yeah. you can hang at Chrissy's house if you want. Say, yeah. you can at Chrissy's. <clears throat> man, man, if ours will be a lot more boring. She's probably like, what the hell is he saying? We've got all this. <laughs> she's like, Chad, shut the hell up! We got this. <laughs> probably freaking out now. What if you? But if you don't if go to not, this like, plan. like next time you, you organize it, I want to schedule because I'd love to. <gasps> we should yeah, just dude. have you start here and then go to the UK after. So I, I think that um, UK next year, there's, folks. A, there's, a, there's a good chance that next year, maybe around this time, we might be doing something really, really big. So we definitely need to plan for the future. OK, if it's, um, it, like, around this time, can we do it like a little not, early not necessarily the, the fucking month? week yeah. of Halloween? Because yeah, 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 my my wife is like so mad at me. <laughs> no, no, like, no like, <laughs> we won't do it the week of Halloween. Thank you. That's my 20th you. wedding anniversary, awesome. uh, comics division's wedding anniversary. Yeah. yeah. It's also my mom's birthday too. Yeah. So. Well, nice. We'll make so sure to take every month single person's good. family into account. Uh, nobody <laughs> will be upset about it. We'll find the perfect day that no one has it's anything going on. February 17th. Can we do it Juneteenth? Yeah, yeah. No. no, that would be perfect. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Didn't we do don't particularly? I don't particularly want to do a fucking event in Florida in the middle of summer, but. Okay. Come to Canada. Well, that's, that's fair. We kind of did Juneteenth during uh, in Dallas, didn't we? Wasn't that? We did. Yeah. yeah kind of. Kind of. Irony. Except we didn't celebrate it. Uh, coincidence, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. It oh, I actually, it's funny. I was, I think I was in new orleans on juneteenth because there was some woman there was some woman who was like doing instagram live from a phone and she was like talking she was just like yammering and yammering and yammering and like women like, do yeah exactly <laughs> but she was talking about juneteenth and was like telling the person that was getting her like beignets about juneteenth and, like turn around to me and because i was just kind of like <laughs> smirking and she's like she's like you know what juneteenth is and i was like yeah i do I don't celebrate it though. Uh, <laughs> she wasn't super happy. Oh. Hey, you were on. If, if only you had said, that's why I don't celebrate. Uh, yeah. Nobody knew what Juneteenth was until 2020 anyway. Nope. Uh, I don't I think a lot of people. Google knew. it. Well, I had heard about it because I grew up in New country. Orleans. So I, I had heard about it a little bit more, I think, probably because of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Paint chips for $49.99. <laughs> Yummy paint chips coming in late, but needing the energy. Gary, you have no idea how much you guys mean to so many of us uh, in the real. FNT is a siren call for myself and my dog. Uh, he gets the giant chewy, and I get to, I get to you load like like bong loads, baby. Uh, unwind and just laugh. Bless you. I'm just gonna assume. Bong loads because I think everybody's on drugs except for me. So. Uh, oh, I think you meant to unload. Sorry. Unload, okay. Load. Oh, so Chrissy was right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Unload. Un uh, 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 gotcha. Okay. Unload. Hey, whatever you. Unload. We don't judge. Whatever you're doing uh, in your own time, listening to FNG, I, we support I you. I judge. We support. Yeah. You. As long as you're looking at me or X-ray girl. Well, today is not a good day for that. They can manage. Me. You're really going low effort yeah. today. I say I, I I accused you of going low effort last week. Um, yeah. Yeah. And now I'm you're really just really, <laughs> you're just like embracing it. But I'm wearing really donkey sweat. socks. Look oh, at oh now the feet. Now the yeah. feet people. They're so cute. You got the feet people. I said I can't do the thing that Chrissy does with her like leg. I can't put oh, it behind my head. Just, That's just you have high self esteem. <laughs> just stay away from that house of the dragon dude because uh it'll get weird yeah yeah, yeah. laris it's so all about the yeah. feet the club foot dude, that whole sequence was just dude that like i wasn't I was ready like, for that so, 
so fucking awkward in <laughs> like I mean a good unsettling way. It was like but it was like I, yeah. I, was, I, I kind I of dragged it out too. I know. Long. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yep. Well, it yeah. was like a like when I saw it playing out, I was like. That's weird. I've never seen her take like I've never seen anyone like take their fucking socks off like that. And even yeah. it's kind of weird. And it was just like a weird thing. I was like, "That's, that's fucking it. weird." And then going. I was like, and "Oh going. shit!" Uh-huh. Oh, he's fucking grabbing his. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> and there like, I'm like, like, like wow. you know, less is more. You know, TV people, yeah. less is more. You don't have every to, every uh, sex scene in this series is like extremely long. Every shot is like twenty seconds long. Followed by like, I, I, I honestly didn't shot. mind that one because that that is like supposed to make you feel like uncomfortable. very uncomfortable. Oh, we know why you, know you didn't I mean? mind it, Ryan. Um, we know why you didn't mind it. It's feet. Yeah. Hey, I mean, listen, you got the fucking hand. You may as well have the feet in this show. So uh, <laughs> it's uh yeah, it was weird. Um, but yeah, Allison Hightower just surrounded by these fucking degenerates. It's fucking her or her fucking son can't stop fucking anything. Yeah, uh, he's jerking off outside the window. <laughs> My <laughs> wife walked in the room while I was watching the scene <laughs> oh, where he was jacking off in the window. <laughs> and she was like, "What the Game fuck are you watching?" Yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah. Game um, of Thrones. Might as well. Be I think yeah. I think the episode did like uh, uh one of the reasons I did still like it despite some of the problems was I, I think it does a great job with like showing why Aegon is such a fucking terrible choice and showing like, and we've seen that before that he's not, doesn't really want to do it. And he was literally drag kicking and screaming. But then at the end you see like how he changes because he's, he's just wanted fucking people's approval. Really? Yeah. He's just wanted somebody to be proud of him. Something like to do the right thing. And then all of a sudden he sees these people fucking cheering him. And he's like, Oh, this is what fucking respect is. This is what fucking power is. And you realize how he's going to yeah. turn he's into a fucking maniacal, king. terrible yeah. fucking king. And so, and all because Allison's making him do it. Yep. And yep. she didn't get, and he didn't get killed by that dragon. <laughs> team black. I'm team black. Yeah. Still team black. Cause a Damon team black. Uh, Damon, but like, yeah. I, I like what they've done with Eamon. Like he's, he is, a little psychotic, uh, but he's, yeah, he's yeah. there's a method to his madness, right? He's like Damon a lot in a lot of ways, he's, I would say. He he mm-hmm. is, but he isn't. He's like he's almost uh they they got to the same place and they diverged just at the last minute. You got one mm-hmm. who's and it's basically just age and experience. You got yeah. Eamon is Damon when he's younger, a, uh, mm-hmm. and Damon is uh, made a bunch of mistakes and is still about family, uh, has a brother that he actually loves where Eamon can't stand his brother <laughs> so it's it's uh it's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting uh if they don't fuck it up stop with the post show anything nobody needs to know yes let, let there be mystery <laughs> oh, my god. god um kit cat joe for 50 dollars because 100 candy bar that's a great candy bar uh but i will not buy anyone i, I okay i won't buy anything with rings of power anything on it and there's two mm. things right now there's fucking books there's tolkien books that have that garbage fucking shit on their cover and there's kit kat I, and i think this well, any, is anything from amazon you get the yeah, box they send it in it, yeah. rings of power packaging yeah. as well they stopped they the stopped trucks. it's ending Thank god yeah because i got Thank a couple god. things with no fucking tape on it but like yeah i i will i think this is the first thing that if anything product related from this show people will actively not buy it like <laughs> some people will just go oh, as a shitty movie but i still want my bag of chips or whatever people will go nope yeah. nope I'll, I'll get something else that doesn't have that shit on it uh 100 agree with razor fist i'm only here because of how much i was worried rings of power would ruin tolkien i agree with that what you guys have said about it all and feel validated in my feelings. I'm here to stay too. You guys are hilarious. Part of Gary's six percent too. Oh, hey, Hi, female Gary. audience. Woo, let's hear from the ladies. Six point six percent. That's right. That's right. It's gonna be a real BB she. How do how do we she the FN FN she? FN she FN she. Uh Daniel's Davis for fifty dollars. Thank you very much. But I'm going to see Black Adam this weekend, out of goodwill to The Rock. He argued with WB's old management for six years to get 
Henry Cavill back and give the fans oh. what they want. Maybe I'll see it twice. I love that sentiment. I love that sentiment. He endorsed Biden. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, like, does oh. he deserve good will? Well, well, to, to be honest, I think that virtually uh, most people that are making movies probably did endorse Biden. If they're putting a good product out that is respecting the fans and respecting what's you know come before, then I, I don't really care who you voted for. In the same yeah. way that you, as a fucking someone who's selling your shit, shouldn't really care who I voted for. Uh, but the question is, is it a good product? See, and, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do. I think, sorry, I, I no, think The ahead. Rock's, you know, um, I don't know, was it like narcissism where he pushed Black Adam to be the hero? It was one of the things that ruined the film. I mean, oh yeah, it's good he wanted to get Henry Cavill back in, but uh, it's like, no, Rock, you should have played a villain and it could have gone much, much further and it would have been a much better yeah. film. Uh, he would have yeah, been, I, in a, he, I, he I, I, I would argue, he would be in a better place. Push, yeah. um, again, I don't care who he voted for either, but now I know. Mm. Because he came out and endorsed somebody like he's some fucking public figure that actually and he never did before shit and he never did yeah. that actually yeah. he, time. actually he used to be kind of leaning right and he and he and he went away from that so uh, yeah he went Hollywood and uh, yeah I, I, it does factor into it absolutely does I love that he's respecting fans and I think what he started mm. could lead to something great could lead to something yeah. great and will I will definitely thank him for that uh, but honestly. Getting Henry Cavill back as Superman, is that fucking rocket science? It is something fans no. have been saying no, since not. day fucking one. And we had an entire mm -hmm. former Warner Brothers regime, the same regime that didn't want Zack Snyder talking to anybody from fucking geeks and gamers, uh, are fired yeah. now because they're the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet. Some of the yeah. dumbest mother... They thought, well, let's make yeah. Supergirl, let's make Superman a girl and not even like Supergirl, not even the recognizable Supergirl. We're going to make a new one. They did the same with Batgirl. Not even, like, Batman fans would be fine with Barbara Gordon from the comic books. Mm -hmm. We would actively root for that and watch it. But, no, it was going to be a, sorry, race-swapped Batgirl who's not Batgirl. That's just not the Batgirl from the comics. And that's what you need. You need that built-in fan base that read that. Again, make new Black characters. Superman. Make new yep. fucking characters. Put the time into these characters that you put into Batgirl and Batman and Superman. Develop them. We'll root for them. But yeah. they won't do that because it's the bigotry of low expectations. Here are some white established hand-me-downs, you marginalized people. You're, they're mm. treating you like puppies. Okay? It's fucking sad. And that's what we're calling out. Yeah, even though I have my issues with with, with Black Adam, um, since it seems like I may have had one of the more crowded theaters of the people who went, all I can say is that when that credit scene happened, my theater erupted like insane really? applause. Oh yeah, yeah, people loved the Cavill part. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and like I mean, people like were just so hyped for it, and so I think that that not the actual me, movie, but no, 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 no. Yeah, like well, actually, to be honest, it was actually a very active crowd. They were laughing at a lot of the jokes and everything. As I said, Ugh. like it was. Again, it was weird to have an actual audience there when I know you go a lot to like, of other people. When did. like a special needs school fucking like <laughs> <laughs> it was a seven twenty five IMAX on opening night, so I don't know what it was. Yeah, but my, uh, my yeah, they, they were was... laughing at some of the jokes and stuff. So I think that it's not, it's because right now it's it's not expected to do crazy numbers domestically. I think it's going to be an international. It might hit. be. I think that's where it could. It, it, it yeah, absolutely could rock. be. It is not yeah, the like the rock is the rock does very well internationally in almost all. It the is movies not horrifically done. bad. It is like yeah. horrifically average. Exactly. Uh, it is. There's I mean, some, there's there's a couple parts dude. like the the fucking standoff <laughs> scene. That's horrifically bad. Okay, they, dude, no, the kid, the kid going up and calling the people to battle, and like he doesn't even <laughs> oh yell. My God. He doesn't that even yell. Horrible. That was so bad. He's like, "Hey, everybody, uh, let's like." Yeah. Well, well, the kid was cringe. I mean, it's yeah. just right. the obvious the skeletons. <laughs> but, the obvious I'm skeletons from. that you could defeat with a metal pot. The fight <laughs> scenes between like <laughs> when Hawkman was fighting. Black Adam, uh, that was kind of cool because he wasn't given mm -hmm. up and he was just like, and he's totally overmatched and he's still like, that part was like, okay, that's comic book fun. That's that's what you get into. Hawkman doesn't fucking give up. He's tough as fuck. Uh, the, yes, I like it. Doctor Fate was brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, like um, up until the end when they fucking they killed him. Killed him. <laughs> fuck. Like you did, like DC, you did the one thing like, right, okay, yeah, I'll bitch about the eyes and the helmet, but they kind of gave us that at the end, which feels like they put it in the end. But dude, he was fucking awesome. It was great. You had your, yeah, you had Dr. Awesome. Strange and you could have done it better. 
You could have he done didn't it better. Need to die. He, he absolutely didn't, no. didn't need to die. He stood there and no, took no, it. No. It's like yeah. after his illusions were defeated, he decided to give up and just stand there to be killed. I know. The, 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 white, the white man had to die to save yeah, uh, just, this country. Yep. <laughs> yep. And that's all it was. And, it's with the we're just being oppressed. Thing, and it's like, and you know, you can kill off dr fate right the helmet will find somebody else you know but it's like fuck that dr fate you you killed that dr oh, fate. and, and so it's going to be and, and, and listen oh uh, it's i know dc it's fans be, it's going to be a female oh, dr fate yeah. i know they did it in the dr. comics fate they who did it in the 80s it's gonna be a mega feminist is dr fate who they Jesus. go to for like paternity tests in like a <laughs> oh my god so, so from what i've heard um the performance of Black Adam really isn't going to have much effect on like the rest of the state of the DCEU, right? Yeah. Um, Cavill's coming back, bottom line. They're still moving ahead with mm -hmm. Flash and like all that other stuff. It will, however, determine a future for these other characters, for the JSA, or they didn't say the Justice Society of America, but for the Justice Society. Yeah. And um, I'm not super interested in that story. I like Aldous Hodge as, as an actor. I like him in a lot of things. That will be in. your I next Dr. Fate. I don't like him in this. Yeah, yeah that, that so could definitely be the case. So with this Flash movie, are they going to try and do like a soft reboot kind of thing where he messes with the, the past or something and and they can it is try based on the Flashpoint him. story and I think yeah. it would give them an option to do anything they fucking want. Yep, yeah. they I have do. to release it though. They have to actually get to the point of releasing it. And well, I, I just don't know how they're going to do still it. Has they're Ezra reshooting. The, they reshot the so, shit out of it. Uh, already. Well, I. I I think that they reshot a couple things very strategically because the same time that Ezra Miller was doing reshoots. Henry Cavill was in L.A., Ben Affleck yep. was in L.A., mm. and Gal Gadot was in L.A. <clears throat> at the same exact fucking time, right at the same time frame. They're, their they're trying to fix somebody else's mess. If you saw, like, Toby Everick's name, Jeff John's name, everybody's mm -hmm. name, everybody you don't like, Walter Hamada, all their fucking names were all over this fucking movie. Uh, so the fact that, uh, like, Black Adam came out, they're, they're obviously got a longer term plan. So even if it fails, I wouldn't worry about Henry Cavill not coming out as Superman. I think that's I think that's probably a given at this point. Uh, the only question left oh, is yeah. what will be left of superhero films when it eventually comes out? Yeah, like, yeah, probably yeah, not a whole that's lot. The thing, it's yeah, it's like that's they fucking have finally realized, and they're so the com company is so far in the fucking hole. Dude. They're like, hey, we can't afford to do like get the what well, like yeah. find somebody who's passionate about it, who's talented. It's maybe like I don't know Matthew Vaughn, who's had a fucking Superman movie ready to pitch for fucking ten years. Like get somebody like that who uh, I th you know he's done some good shit, Kingsman. Pretty fucking good movie. Mm -hmm, yeah. uh, Layer Cake, great movie. Yeah, great uh, movie. X-Men First Class, damn good fucking movie. Yeah. So I would give this guy a shot. And, like, the good ideas from X-Men 3, you know, uh, uh, that came from him uh, before he bailed the project. Uh, so, so uh, Odin, you think it's going to do really well internationally? I do, yeah. It's projected to do, like, I think 150 to 175 domestic total, which is not all that great for it's a superhero film. But I, I've, I looked at just all of The Rock's movies, and, and most of them have somewhat okay domestic, but then like like more than what anyone would expect international. So I, I think I would not be surprised to see this film get somewhere between like in is total with, with everything. Six yeah, to, does that six include six China? China? It, it, oh, they I don't know, know if this is going to get a release yet. Okay. I think I it's still being talked released. about as far as... <laughs> my, my question would be, do all of those, when you looked at all of them, how much of that is skewed by Fast and Furious movies and by Jumanji? Uh, it, it was just something. Well, I mean, those are the films that he's done. <laughs> that he's done most recently. So, I well, mean, he those, hasn't those done are much. Like, like those are his massive fucking hits, right? Yeah. The the Fast and Furious movies and then Jumanji. That was his kind of like he's the actual like dude in that one. And that's the one that he did well in. But like the other stuff, like. Yeah, let me try and look up skyscraper. Uh, jungle so, yeah, even I can't think so, of a, so of for a... instance, Rampage, right? He made yeah, about yeah. 100 oh, God, they made 100 Rampage. million dollars domestic, 300, 300 international. So because it's the name. It's a him. lot of the films I do feel like there is that kind of split. So even if it's on, if it's on the smaller end, mm. like we do see that kind of split. And so that's why I think that this one because not only do you have the rock but then you also have this superhero factor. I think that that's why it probably will do a little bit better internationally than because because right now it's looking like everything I saw 60 to 70 million opening weekend before the Thursday previews that might be a little lower yeah. now and then 130 135 global total 
So a yeah. slightly higher international split than domestic, but not by not like a ton. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be I, interesting to watch because it, I, I haven't looked at all the countries that it's being released in. So I don't know if it has one of those delayed releases like a lot of the films have had recently. I think really the Japan release is delayed. That's the only one I know for sure. Yeah. But like, if it has Aquaman split, then they, then mm-hmm. they can make money off a of one sixty domestic. Mm-hmm. You know, Aquaman did really well internationally. Exactly. Yeah, I just. It did. Uh, Yes, we'll it did. Uh, and and more women saw Aquaman than Captain Marvel. I wonder why. Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I, think but, I mean, needs, needs difficult to, to figure like, that one out. $500 million is that magic mark. And mm-hmm. fuck, dude. $170 million domestic. Yeah. No, it has to do incredibly well internationally and i think we'll have a we'll have a decent idea this weekend and of course for me second weekend is always the biggest one so yep. if, if it's if it's like past 300 million dollars by next weekend that i think that we're there's and it, there's nothing out like nothing coming yeah. until for a month yeah. until uh, yeah Poca- until uh, wakanda forever wakanda. Or, oh, I like to call it the woman king part two uh, <laughs> i'm, I'm so long. uninterested in that film <sighs> waiting to here. exhale to yeah, give a shit clifton shit. duncan clifton duncan wait, waiting to exhale too is the best <laughs> that's my favorite williams in it iron art is like i don't want yep. to see that don't <laughs> yep. don't, don't smirch iron man with this crap oh they're gonna uh, they keep saying namor gonna. is gonna be in it and i just i haven't seen them yet you know i keep <laughs> looking for namor um uh rings of recycled fantasy failed because oh bolt was well, back up gary back up boop, boop, boop. george boop, the giant boop. slayer for for three part Super chat, one hundred fifty dollars, George. George did a great video. He, he sent it to me. I meant to get back to him about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he did a great video about the the Karen Gal- Galadriel being a Karen. Yeah, that was. Awesome. Drop it in it the was chat. Awesome. Yeah, drop it in the chat. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Rings of Power of re- Rings of Recycled Fantasy failed because it pushed a personal truth agenda from the perspective of two ten-year-old veterans of failure, uh, J.D. Payne and Patrick McKay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I hope I can talk about some stuff. <laughs> That's all I can say. I hope I can talk about some stuff. It's so good. I got some. I got some stuff I can talk about. But not, I'm You've waiting, got some I'm insider waiting. information. Yes, we have yes. Some yeah, we, we've had like three people over the course of uh, of the months reach out. Um, oh, one, one, one. Uh, I'll just say it's a dude. It was a male. Wasn't sure. Like, didn't know this guy from Adam. And da 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 da. Well, and then it all got corroborated. And holy shit! And then, yeah, I don't want to say too much, but. Um, Game, like of, how Game of Thrones be. behind the scenes. <laughs> Game of yeah. Thrones, yeah. lots of backstabbing and usurping and full on Game uh, of Thrones. Full stuff. on. G- uh, Bezos got his Game of Thrones, just not yep. in the way he attended. Uh, the just show internally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucked up story. It really. It's like it's a yeah. miracle we get anything good out of Hollywood, and there's a lot of fucked up people, but there's actually some good ones. Uh, and just like in Game of Thrones, the good and honorable end up beheaded. Shipped off to another country if they're lucky, um, exiled or, uh, or yeah. killed at a dinner. <laughs> so, um, well, not literally, figuratively, sent yes. to the wall. That's a good fate, by the way, being sent to the wall. Mm-hmm. Uh, the showrunners produced the series from the perspective of estrogen <laughs> deprived <laughs> betas uh, looking for a hormone high by gaslighting viewers with their ignorance. Uh, rings of porn fantasy for di- uh, DEI worshippers who never banged the prom queen masqueraded as Tinseltown's misery marketing and Kelleborn is hiding in a battered spouse shelter. Hail Friday Night Tides. Yeah. Wow. All right. Garrett. <laughs> Garrett, uh, we'll let yeah. Odin go and then um, we'll, I mean, we're going to wrap things up in the next half. 15, 20 minutes, but I do want to play some audio from that fucking podcast. No, you got to, man. Oh, that thing is so fantastic. Oh, if you play it now, I'd love to listen. Uh, Where'd right. you put that? Was that in the main chat? It's, or it's, in, uh, it's in Discord. I can... Uh, Where'd you drop that? What podcast was that from? 
Um, it's Is that called, the one the Tolkien professor did? No, it's called the Ooh. American Id. Nobody's ever fucking heard of it. I um, know. Like, nobody's, maybe three people listen to no it. No one's ever listened to it, and it comes yeah, from there. the conversation. So Ryan knows what the conversation is. It's that blog that comes from that Canadian university that I did a video on uh, that have uh, that have called us like basically um, it, it's a it's a podcast dedicated to calling Rings of Power critics fascists and far right uh, from the rewriting Ripley perspective. I mean, straight up. That's what it is. So it's in the main. I dropped it in. I think FNT. save me from these people. I, I dropped it in FNT. <laughs> I dropped it in FNT, I believe. Okay. Oh, that that group, the conversation. Okay, I know who you're talking about now. So it's an Apple podcast. If you if you want to pull it up in Audible, well, we can speed it up. Go down, scroll down a little bit. Scroll this down. is Audible. No, no, no. Go, <laughs> click on up the down, American up down, Id. Up down. Click no. Click on the American Id <laughs> itself up there. Yeah. So okay, now go down. They 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 did. Here, go down, go all the way, go down. Hobbit camp fascist. Oh, yeah, go keep going down. <laughs> uh, um, go down to uh, Eye of Sauron, Rings of Power. This and, one. And we, it, like, it's long, but we're going to play, like, the first 10, 15 minutes, okay? Oh, no. Jesus Christ. That's going to take fucking three hours. Uh, no. no. <laughs> I'll, I'll, gonna, we going to EFAP this thing? I'm no, ready. no, no, no. We're, we're going to let it run and I'll have him skip ahead to because I want to get it to the point where he said that uh, uh, the, 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 those of us who are criticizing it want to keep Tolkien manly. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, the, Lord of the Rings, man. Do. In the aftermath, I do. I want to keep it manly. Really? I want to keep Tolkien, oh, the devout Catholics work manly and not filled with lgbtq representation that he never intended to be there make your own i don't care there's plenty of gay fantasies out there fine let i like there's tons of them i just want this story to remain this story that doesn't yeah that's not my worldview. No, it's just this Everything fucking story. Go ahead and make gay. your bros. Go oh, ahead and make, so make my your bros. view. How my view mean. on how Tolkien should be represented, like, act, it goes across like how I vote for president, how I decide to eat my sandwiches. Fucking idiots, man. <laughs> I know. You know the thing is though, the real reason why they don't make their own is they don't have the talent to. And when they do, like nope. bros, look at how it turns out. It freaking yep. bombs. Turns out okay, because yep. people aren't interested in it, and so. <laughs> The only reason, the only thing they have is to co-opt a popular property so they can get their, you know, message in to a larger audience uh, because they're talentless hacks. Mahler's in the chat says, "Fap and permission given." <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I'd invite him on, but then this thing would go six more hours. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, you Molly? Shot me too. Yeah. Right, bring okay. it on. <laughs> I love her. I'm gonna do it. Mahler. <laughs> Mahler, Lincoln coming. Hey, nobody's prisoner here. They can go whenever they want. <laughs> not, I got my so, salt to nuts. Except I'm, for I'm Garrett and I. I'm yeah, so, so, so uh, uh, Reluctant Dragon added another point to it. Said not only devout Catholic, the devout Catholic World War One veteran. Yes. World War One yes. veteran. <laughs> yes. World War One. Okay, so Chrissy found a quote. I'm gonna paraphrase it. That apparently comes from a uh, Tolkien. To, it was referring to what we were saying earlier that he was an anarchist in the sense of de basically decentralized government. Uh, philosophically understood, meaning the abolish uh, he the abolition of control, not whiskered men with bombs. Mm. Okay. Uh, or he was an unconstitutional <laughs> or he liked a monarchist. Mon uh, uh, yeah. Which is completely <laughs> the opposite of anarchist. <laughs> so he wrote this in 1943. By the way, later in life, he became a capitalist. He liked to make money. So, uh, oh, the, 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 thing. yeah, pretty good. I like yeah. this. Sounds kind of product part service. of that sounds uh, a little bit libertarian, doesn't it? Yeah, liber it very, libertarian. very libertarian. Yes, I am like, I am for uh, abolishing a lot of centralized institutions. Yay. Yeah, I yes. Mean, like, the idea of anarchism is, yeah, like small government in the extreme to just no government at all, which is a far more kind of not because for the left, they need more government, more control to be able to impose this, you know, their policies and sin and stuff. And so it's even, I don't, I, I want to see the quote that it was an actual anarchist. Cause even if he was, that's actually a more 
right leaning kind of philosophy than left. So. Uh, yeah, C calling it yeah. left is like that 60s, 70s, even 90s uh, anarchism, which is quasi fucking commie Marxist bullshit. Which so, is just communist yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an anarchist this? for centralized government. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, huh? you just done too much Adderall and you're stupid. Um, okay. Can you hear that? I can't hear shit. Can't hear anything. Can't hear shit. All right. Well, let's undo that. Fuck Maybe you need to share that. Order Black Garage is getting yeah. up there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, oh, the boomerisms sure. are spreading. They are. It's so a, let me let like share oh, this oh, here. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, oh, I don't know what happened either. Oh, whoop. <laughs> Oops. Oh. I'm an old man and I'm afraid in the dark. No. <laughs> uh, okay, I can't share it because it's in Chrome. Hold on. Uh, it's not in Chrome. Let me go over Chrome. It's not in Chrome? No, it's because it's Discord. Discord opens it. Opens, oh, opens, it, open, opens it in Chrome's. It but you open your hand. It doesn't have its own like browser yeah. built within it, technically. Oh, okay. Here we go. And then we click the button. And then we click the button. And then we share the audio. There Jesus we go. Christ. Oh, we're gonna bring I mean, it over I here can now. share it. Yeah, yeah, we don't <laughs> need yeah. I got it, don't worry. We could have listened to the entire fucking podcast right now. <laughs> yeah. um, there we go. Okay, you skip past the intro. British fantasy writer J.R.R. Okay. Tolkien oh. and the Lord of the Rings. Did it already. We'll talk about Amazon's brand new billion dollar Tolkien based Rings of Power series. Holy crap, oh, he's a male feminist. All right trolls that have flooded uh, the new production. I said NPR. Racist these, and misogynistic these people hate. sound so uninteresting. We'll also think through the so larger ecosystems that these online fascists have learned to harness. Sounds like a calm Billy Eichner. Anti democratic. Yeah. Culture. And by that, I mean gay. Oh, by the way, I love how they lead to anti democratic. The episode, we go back in time to Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings films. Wait, wait. Which were released. She sounds like a robot. She 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 she, she says the 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 basically the uh, uh, a lot of the stuff behind the Peter Jackson films was due to Bush era nine eleven jingoism. <laughs> like what the fucking nine eleven? Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, you mean people wanted to feel better. Uh, yeah, and they start they started filming those in like nineteen ninety nine, right? Yeah, yeah I was saying, that predates nine eleven. Ninety seven, ninety seven. They started filming. See, that. that's the, that's their mind though. Everything connects back to alt right and this yeah. political culture war, and it's like this is maybe no. it's just Lord of the Rings. <laughs> maybe I want to say the second that. film came out like after nine eleven. Yeah, it did. They filmed, they yeah. filmed them before nine. Like the reason yeah. she, you can equate it is it probably did better because uh, people just wanted to escape. Like Spider Man, yeah. Yeah. Spider Man did uh, did very well because partly it was very very good fucking movie and it was one of the most yeah. well timed movies ever because the, the the everybody was feeling like shit. We needed something positive. Uh, yeah. We needed something positive, and Spider-Man was just a purely positive movie. Uh, right. And uh, it was centered in New York at the time, and, like, yeah, that, that's that's why it made a gazillion dollars, and it should have. Uh, hit play. Bush rallied the nation for his holy war against a nebulous enemy in the Middle East. And we discussed the ominous revolutionary potential that neo-fascist figures like Steve Bannon later found in fantasy fandom. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. People are Let's fucking morons. Get to the id. Let's get to the Let's retard. Get to the <laughs> Let's get to the id. Uh, 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 I am robot. The fact that they call it id is so fucking pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> Oh music. my yeah, fucking god! What with this music, music is so lame. Skip it. It's just That's horrid. About the new Amazon started. series. The oh, Rings of Power. By yeah. the way, pause yeah, really it for a second. It. The guy who talks like this is the Bears expert on conservatism. I just I'm wanted to talk. Just like the biggest yeah. expert on the subject. Like, so oh like, my god! I'm no, either I'm either gay or I'm a male feminist. I'm not quite sure. Well, she like, says she says later in the podcast that she lives with him, so they're either roommates or oh. he's um beard. Uh, remember yeah. what was like the Saturday? Night, what was the, the what was the SNL skit? The effeminate married guy. God, who yeah. did that? Um, <laughs> That's a razor fist for sure. Or Caddy Daddy. Oh That's my Caddy, God. <laughs> Caddy <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. Does he live with his girlfriend uh, and her boyfriend? The two things I like are shopping and crushing pussy. I'm Caddy Daddy. <laughs> Caddy Daddy. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Uh, That's fantastic. Oh my God. Hey, you should see. Uh, no, Kyle Dunnigan's next one, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I've already seen the video. Maybe it came out. No, it didn't come out. 
it's f- <laughs> it's gonna push that YouTube <laughs> algorithm to the limit. It is <laughs> bad. I mean, it's good, but it's bad. Is it another Biden sketch? That he's doing? No, no, way, way, way farther down the line. Over the line, farther down. You know, that's what comedians do. They push yeah, boundaries. Right. This will be pushing it. Quite we'll never bit. know where that line is if people I, don't cross I, it. I've been sworn to secrecy. You'll just have to find out. Wow. But it's whoa! I can't wait to see Time it. Time to remember the name: The Rings of Power. All right, I know that it's coming out on September first. Hmm. I know that every time something is released from it, everyone seems to freak out, um, and that you get a lot of emails and contacts from hmm. people who are being attacked online. And I know that it has a diverse cast, which means that there's representation of people of color and women. They can't tell the difference. Uh, Which is our bar. Which is our bar. That's what I know about it. Oh, it's about like the before times. Is it from the Cimmerillion? Okay. Close. The before times. Yeah, it's from. She doesn't know anything about Tolkien. She she is diving (laughs) into this fucking fandom. (laughs) Uh, no. And calling and everyone and racist email? and fucking wow. fascist without even knowing what the fucking show's about. Gosh. They have big feet. Even I know more all than of this them. Chick. Yeah. <laughs> There's a big ring. There's a ring. It's and, a and, and, and fascists <laughs> like the ring. White supremacists like and fascists like the ring. That's what I know because I thought of it all by myself and didn't bounce a single idea off of anybody because I'm retarded. <laughs> Joanne <laughs> Robinson. apparent. Oh, fucking oh my god. god, they're doxing me. Okay, we might not make it through the earlier months, ages, but... so several thousand <laughs> years before the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, <laughs> in Middle Earth's first and second ages, so thousands of years before. Oh, yeah, and I just learned that this is that, that Lord of the Rings takes place a long, long time ago <laughs> in a planet that is this planet. Okay, pause it. Everything 100% wrong. <laughs> but she is qualified. In in a what? I, but she is a qualified to call planet. every fucking critic a racist and a sexist, a misogynist, and a white supremacist, and a fucking fascist based on th- that wealth of knowledge. But I just, I just learned. I I'm going just back. I'm going to play that again. First and second. Yeah. Ages. Hang on. He sounds so low T. So, yep. She does. She thinks, no, he does. Lord of the Rings is based in our same world, but in another time, like, like, yeah. unironically. Yeah, she's getting mixed up with the wheel of time. Holy crap! Years mm-hmm. before. Oh yeah, and I just learned <laughs> that this is th- that Lord of the Rings bitch. takes place <laughs> a long, long time ago yeah. in a planet that is this planet. Yeah, basically. I had always. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> that's the wheel of time. <laughs> what is she talking about? Because <laughs> yeah, we have magic here. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh my you God. know, anybody Continue. can make a podcast on Apple Podcasts, by the way. Oh, just, yeah, dude. Yes. I, I, you were I started. I just started talking in the microphone, uploading it yeah. to fucking iTunes. Uh, hit play. It gets uh, better. I thought that it, it has a fantasy. It was a kind of alternative space. But it's like N.K. Jameson's Broken Earth series. Mm-hmm. It's here. It's just forever, forever, forever ago. It imagines that elves yeah. and wizards and all that existed in some kind of distant earth past so now so now i know enough like this so now i know about enough about the story to call all the fans racist what a fucking dipshit i just found out like that's how you started it i just learned Uh, this is their their series on far right uh tolkien (laughs) this is what And she went I'm to school. I'm an expert because I learned about this five minutes ago. This dumb bitch went to school. I'm going to share with you the reason why everybody who hates this series is racist and sexist and misogynistic. Because clearly I know everything about this show in series and books and everything because I'm retarded. I mean, I award I'm you no to question points myself, like, and may God may have mercy on your soul. She's speaking so confidently. Like, Gary, is this like just obscure lore? Is Middle Earth based on like <laughs> foreign history? Like, am I, did I miss something? <laughs> is, it, is it ancient Earth or another? What? It's uh, Lord of the Rings is supposed to be uh, uh, mythology for England, whether it's, uh, it's the secondary world. It's the secondary yeah. world. Is it necessarily That's... supposed to be Earth and the it's primary not... world? It, it's a precursor so. to it. But it could be in very ancient times. Okay. Yeah. 
So maybe. But it's called the hmm. secondary world by by Tolkien and Christopher Tolkien. And the primary world is the one we live in because it's a mm. fantasy. Because it's a fantasy. But, but there are many things like you heard Tom Shippey say in one of my videos, like uh, beneath the map of Middle Earth, you see a map for England. So, yes. Like a Song of Ice and Fire is a different planet. That is a different planet. You are in a different world. Play. All right. Yes, yeah, so you know some things. I live with you. <laughs> I know some things. <laughs> so the series is this newly imagined prequel to The Lord of the Rings, and it covers the deep history of Middle Earth, <clears throat> both the first and the second ages. And it's based not on the Silmarillion, which is what a lot of people think, but it's based actually on the appendixes to The Lord of the Rings. These were added in 1966, and because they were added outside of the text, they somehow fell through the contract when the Tolkien estate sold the film rights in the 19, late 1960s. And so Amazon found this hole and made a bid. The and sources are basically the a hole. bunch fuck of little the shit of hole. some <laughs> prose essays and a thousands year long chronology of events that give a bunch of names and dates. And that's what Amazon purchased for $250 million. And purportedly, Bezos was willing to spend this much because it was a prestige project for him because he claimed to be a big Tolkien fan. How much yeah, are they spending not. on the series? Well, the initial reports were around $500 million. The new reports are saying that it's now well over a billion dollars for the first <laughs> season of the series. Yeah. So colossally more expensive than any other production. Over the past couple of years, every time people have learned something new about the series, these great big troll mobs have lashed out online and attacked the production. <laughs> and often they attack anybody who shows any interest in it. Okay, stop. Or, I, also, don't you mean just how he said spies? I, appendixes? Appendixes? He said appendixes. He said appendixes. He an expert? And Appendi he said appendixes? Appendixes? He said appendixes. And he's an yep. expert in conservatism. <laughs> no, uh, by the way, I, I, I think I speak for all of us. I don't think any of us have have gone out and attacked anybody for liking it unless somebody no. has just called us a racist or mm. called us out and we've defended the Except fans lofty. we've def lofty doesn't count he's not even around anymore <laughs> like he like he quit the internet over this <laughs> yeah. um, <poor> lofty. <laughs> man not, up dude i don't know if i had a hand in it but i did a, i did man debate him and that was up. His, one of his it's a fucking internet put a helmet on get ready it's called life you know yeah yeah like, life is, is tough life now. is way fucking tougher than the internet okay uh but that being said i would say the same thing to my kid if i saw my kid act like that oh my god i would shame him until he cried how dare you watch um, this show? It's horrible. yeah i okay how dare you but uh i forget lost my train of thought now oh um what we've never i've never gone after somebody who liked it I've never like no. never never I, and I wouldn't I don't care I don't give a shit uh, that's that's pure projection like even you know like passive aggressive stuff but when especially with the one ring I've gone after them after they went after me somebody I like I used to recommend people to their channel their site for years mm -hmm. I did and they took a swing so I just like I took a like a light swing back well uh, you go after yeah. takes not people that's yeah. that's the whole thing yeah. mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll I will I will argue your ideas, but if you like yes. the fucking show, like the show. Don't don't yeah. let me ruin it. They'll attack you for not liking the but show. As my yeah. wife, as my wife pointed out, that you're an alt right fascist Nazi who's a threat to democracy. Show. Look at look at all yes. this power we have. We're threats to democracy now, everyone. Yeah, I know. That's so fucking. I retarded. didn't know I had this much power. Oh, God, they, they give us. Yeah, they give us so much fucking power, man. Yeah, they do. It's insane. Giving us way a too much credit. Threat to fucking democracy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we'll go <laughs> a little you. while longer, and then we'll get back to Super Chats. More Early on, some radical Christians and incels freaked out when they learned <laughs> there was an intimacy coordinator. What a shame the Christians. Just radical all this Christians and incels. Pause. Yeah, about Pause. Sex Pause. Real quick. Uh, <laughs> no. Everybody radical was incels pissed. And Christians? <laughs> one Ring. One Ring. Net, uh, uh, which one of the co-hosts is a gay man, were pissed off about this. Okay, and they're the ones who reported on it. Just so you know, you can hit play. Yeah. Like peanut butter and jelly. Fired up the alt-right manosphere. 
Oh, like Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah. The Manosphere? <laughs> like oh, Andrew Tate. Tate. They, oh my god. Jeez. It's just like buzzword, 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 buzzword. buzzword. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is fucking buzzword and bingo. And this is in the first five minutes, right? <laughs> this is the first, There's like, another 38 minute minutes of this right shit. Uh, keep going a little while longer. We'll see Andrew how Tate. long. And then this last February, before the Super Bowl, racist trolls and conservative media just lost their <laughs> minds when Amazon announced the cast and circulated images of some non-white characters in Middle Earth. That would racist not exist hate mobs swarmed three actors of color in particular. Sofia Nomvete for playing a black female dwarf, the character yeah. Disa. Ismail Cruz Cordova for playing a dark-skinned elf, Arondir. And Sir Lenny Henry for playing a black ancestor of the Hobbits. Conservative media rushed in to hype the controversy. Here's a headline that gives a sense of how they framed the story. This is from the right-wing British tabloid Daily Mail. <laughs> go woke, go broke, respect the source material. What? Daily Mail. <laughs> the That's Mail. really <laughs> racist. As they slam Amazon's billion-dollar Rings of Power series, which has black actors to play dwarves and elves. There's two things about that. Uh, headline that I'd like to emphasize. The first is the race row uh -huh. feels very Jim Crow era. Yes. Has bad Jim, Crow. <laughs> Jim Crow era. I don't know anything about the show, but I know, oh, I don't know anything Jim about Crow. the show, and I talk like I, I only moved the bottom of my mouth. What I know <laughs> about Jim Crow is only surface level. <laughs> I, I just learned. I just learned. And I'm gonna apply to everyone about Jim, Jim Crow. Crow. Do you know that there were slaves in America? Oh my god! I'm an expert on slaves. There's this guy named. Jim. I'm an expert. Why is I this what? I don't know what ago. crows have to do with it, but they were really mean. They but there was. A, I don't know who Jim is. Jim and. Oh, but Jim. I'm assuming he's racist. <laughs> Jim is racist. And Jim Crow, he came from that Disney elephant movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit play. So Jim Crow, I just found this out. It has its roots in I Dumbo. <laughs> and um, yes. obviously racist. Racist. And also I studied the 19th century. It has a little bit of that antebellum pro-slavery flavor as well. What They're the always fuck? Oh, hold on. Oh, I gotta go back. Go back. What? I'm going back. Get pro-slavery from that! Uh, is she high? Hold up. Okay, is the race okay. row uh -huh. feels very Jim Crow era yeah. racism. And also, I studied the 19th century. It has a little bit of that antebellum pro-slavery flavor as well. They're Pro always talking? talking about race riots, always talking about the possibility of race war and then the other part of it is uh it's descriptive literally saying it has black actors playing dwarves and elves but the tenor is outrage so it just assumes that its readership will be outraged yeah and then over the month of august they're racist <laughs> the tenor so, totally he set that up he set it up by going these racist people came out and did these racist things also this headline look how they Look how they set this up. They're trying to lead you on. Also, I mean, they're racist. Also, yeah. I didn't realize that text could have, you know, tenor and tone. <laughs> and you know, these are the type of people who will just find, oh, it's so problematic and vile. Yeah, mm -hmm. You know, if someone changed uh, a, a black character that was historically black and cast a white character or a historical black figure and cast a white character, they would cry bloody murder black and erasure. stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And but it's like, oh no, the fact that people dare say that you shouldn't change a pre established race that's being described a very clear way, you should stay true to the source material. That's racist because it's freaking bullcrap. They're hypocrites. My, my yeah. favorite is making their heads explode by posting the white Black Panther meme at them. So it's saying, you should be okay yeah. with this then. Oh, dude. And it's like, oh no, because he's oh, from oh, Africa. Oh. Like the reactions I get when I just put um, Miles Morales as Miles Morales or yeah. Steve Rogers as Captain America, yeah. which are yeah, factually true insane. statements. They go in <laughs> fucking sane. It is beautiful. Oh, God. Three. Hit play. As the cast went out on the press junket, the right-wing outrage machine ginned up another massive hate mob. One of these articles, which drummed up Leading thousands of outrage on. posts on the far-right news site Breitbart, was titled, Amazon's Lord of the Rings prequel series goes woke with elves of color. Uh, well, okay. You know, they called them elves of things. color, <laughs> by yeah. the way. Oh, but they, she's got they, a lot of things to say. 
Oh, let's hear it. She, let's hear it. She studied the 19th century, so we got to listen. I heard something about way. this. <laughs> but one of them is the way that the right wing has co-opted for itself resistance language that emerges from African-American vernacular English. And then they make that <laughs> a dirty word, right? They make it a bad word. Yeah. Because it is. Why would being awake be wrong? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine you wake up to a. Why well, would a way like be wrong? You see imagine how they somebody put you to sleep and then brainwashed you, and you woke up into a uh. an entire, entirely lied based reality. That would be a bad thing to do, right? That's why getting woke is bad because they're waking up to a lie. You're Im you're implying that all these things. Are reality when they're but not why is really it bad reality. To be awake. <laughs> yeah. How could it? They're implying. Why is it oh, bad to so punch yourself stupid. in the face repeatedly? Uh, no, I, okay, we'll go a couple more. It minutes could only be stop. wrong if it's identified with something bad, with something you don't want to be. And Correct. if wokeness is identified right. with anti racism, if wokeness mm. is identified with fighting anti blackness, then the uh, only reason it could be bad is if because you want to maintain a system of racism and a system of anti- uh, The only oh, freaking way. Bull the crap. Only way. <laughs> Holy crap, that's like, I'm going to rearrange the meaning of this word, therefore everyone is like, it's like, you know, if, if eating pineapple on pizza means you are a vile communist, that means mm -hmm. everyone who likes pineapple pizza must be a communist. That's Thank the logic. So. I mean, the yeah. pineapple pizza one Which actually is has correct. I mean. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, no, that is correct. I mean, I studied, you know, 19th I, century. Yeah, I so I, I, you know, yeah. the 19th century. So I just, <laughs> I just learned, Odin, did you know? I read uh, a book. Communists really like pineapple on pizza. So they're all commie <laughs> ministries. That's what I heard. <laughs> No, but I know. Like in terms of I'm what wokeness means, everyone can know what wokeness means by just observing what they espouse. Those people who proclaim to be woke, and mm. it turns out the wokeness is actually some of the most racist crap in the world. Yes. They ju mm. they're judging people according to the color of their skin constantly yep. in mm. the woke mentality. And they constantly say that white people are better than black people, but not yes. in those words exactly. And uh, yeah, and we're gonna find out oh, sooner than later. That this is a narrative. This is a narrative that has been spun by a corporation. Well, yeah, corporations and wait, people wait, like wait, Robin D'Angelo. Like, but like, no, this was a narrative spun by a corporation. Like, they initiated all of it. So, uh, wow. uh, yeah. A couple more class. minutes. Yeah. I mean that's more Focus than more than the narrative word. from Robin D'Angelo and fucking Disney and all that shit. They borrowed from a lot of pages, but no, this yeah. was a narrative spun by a corporation. No, yeah, yeah, I yeah. see what you're getting yeah, at. Yeah. I gotcha. If you're a white supremacist, <laughs> that actually so identified with fighting yeah, anti-blackness. Yeah. Yeah. Then the only reason it could be bad is if because you want to maintain a system of racism and a system of, of anti-blackness. Yeah, wow. woke is only a bad word if you're a white supremacist. Woke oh, <laughs> oh, is a bad word I'm if you're gonna, not retarded. Uh, I, I'll just rewrite reality uh, to change the meaning to mean that everyone opposes what I believe in is wrong. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm trying to disingenuous <laughs> retard. I'm trying. I'm trying to go like as far as I can in without Ryan's head exploding because it looks like his head's about to explode. Wow. Okay, get to the part where they say he just wants. Uh, they just want Tolkien to be manly. <laughs> interesting. But also, this about... is so like seditious. You see what they're doing? They're yes. subtly trying to rearrange the meaning of language to vilify yep. anyone who is opposed to what culture. Therefore, yes. if yep. you just oppose what culture, you must be racist. You must be homophobic. You must be evil. Everything. He emphatically radical. just said it. Transphobic. It's back to moral blackmail. It, 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 it's so mm -hmm. scummy that like this is. Them trying to create more racism where there's not racism, so they can have a boogeyman to just uh, virtue signal against. Ah, look how virtuous we are, and look at these evil people that we've created, so yeah. we can fool you in our in our own, you know, pretend well, virtue. The thing is, but these are 
scumbags the, the, who are making the world worse and vilifying innocent people. The it's people, so mm -hmm. vile. The people who used to be disruptive have now become part of the system, and we are the disruptors, and they can't yep. fucking stand it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and so that yeah, the word. I mean, like, does you know everybody who disagrees with me is a is a big fucking commie who wants to kill six million people and put them in re-education camps? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, hit play. Whether or not the fans who are reacting this way are white supremacists and what that means about Tolkien fandom. Are, are Tolkien fans... <laughs> you just said they were. Yeah. You just said they were. Anybody that is against woke means that they're racist. And then you go, yeah. well... Ooh, but but it, does that mean the Tolkien... But does it? But just said it did. Tol Tolkien, <laughs> Tolkien's work is antithetical to woke. It is traditional. It is yep. completely antithetical to woke. Yeah, like you could spin it however fucking way you so like. So you can like, you could yeah. say that it's awake. It's, <laughs> what? What is awake with being and what's wrong with being awake? <laughs> Are you awake as a woman or a man <laughs> identifying as a woman? Are you a female who doesn't give birth because you don't have ovaries? What way are you okay. this, this It sounds like you're asleep yet. right now, and, and I just it looks can't like take a big it. bullet. Yeah, sounds it sounds very vibrator. white supremacist. Could yeah, be a yeah. red no, pill. No, I'm pretty sure that is a fucking bullet. Anybody yeah. that uses no, the bullet. word red pill is a Nazi racist. Fascist. Racist? Yeah. Yes. Like this? Well, I want to start by taking a step back and defining what's been happening in a general sense. Jeez. We're not really dealing with a fan phenomenon. There are fans involved, of course, but fan behavior alone can't begin to explain the recurrent global hate mobs we've seen springing up over the past few decades with the launch of each new supermassive studio production. Okay, but whoa, whoa, past few decades? <laughs> what are you decades. talking about, what? dude? Decades. What are you past talking about? Past few what? fucking decades, bro. <laughs> global Look, global I, massive hate campaigns? Is that what I you want said? I want to teach a college course on this, and I need it to date further back. Than just <laughs> yeah, <all my favorites. laughs> right? so I'm gonna make it a bigger problem. Okay, it's those global been hate happening since the '60s. <laughs> oh, you mean the, the like the, the the 15 letters people would get? That's a massive global hate campaign. Hit play. Oh my god. Go on. What we're witnessing is a new front opening up in a decades-long international far-right culture war. <laughs> people waging it aren't just uh, fighting to keep Tolkien's imaginary world white and manly and straight. Uh, They're fighting to restore that white supremacist system in the real world too. <laughs> this is, I'm losing brain cells with this, Gary. Just this when is I thought to get enough, hit any that's, We end it there. Because right. that's, that, <laughs> that's where it gets dumb. retardation in that was uh, next. I level. got to I listen push. to the whole uh, fucking thing. I got to listen to the whole series. So oh, I got fascinated. to listen to that tonight, man. Oh, my cup is full. Dude, Thank I, you. I, I, <laughs> after watching Rings of Power, I had to do it in like little increments. But like, yeah, I like, Quarter Black knows I've had it for like a week. And I've been just oh, breaking yeah, through it. How did you find that? Uh, from the conversation article, they linked to it. They said, they said, um, uh, Tolkien's fascist, fans are fascist, blah, blah, blah. According to conservative, conservative expert and whoever that dipshit was. I hit the link and I find this fucking podcast. I'm like, oh, I'm a Garrett mother load. <laughs> fucking <laughs> mother load of retardation. Uh, the thing is like. This is an example of what the left has been doing incessantly, right? They try and make what they're saying, like they fill it up with as many fancy buzzwords with this false pseudo intellectual veneer, right? Mm -hmm. And when you have people who are uninformed, the complete layman who don't know any about these things, they're told, oh, all these things about, oh, 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 oh right, mobs are supporting Tolkien and stuff, and they have no point of reference to know this is complete, absolute dog crap. They are just speaking out of their ass right now. Mm -hmm. It is totally false. They're liars and scumbags, and they're doing it to make the world racist, for them to virtue signal, for them to get more power and everything like that for this subversive agenda. And what's disgusting about it, the level of dishonesty actually works for the uninformed when someone who doesn't know about this yeah. they will actually start to believe it's like oh and they sound so intelligent and everything and it's just disgusting the amount of manipulation in these people yeah just because it's they have an wild. npr voice and we've and we have cultivated a yeah. system where you don't need any proof you can just say that people are dangerous and a threat to democracy and like whatever you decide it is if you're if you're left-leaning like you get to decide mm -hmm. who's who's a horrible person Yep, and I have been accused, and rightly so, uh, being conspiratorial. Uh, I am. I, I, I've always been that way, but like 
conspiracies have had a really good run lately. They've uh, they've all been proven to be true. Yeah. So, um, but like when when I do a video, uh, when all of us do videos, we we try to show our little citations, which is like I I didn't pull this out of my ass or out of thin air. I got it from an article. I got it from somebody speaking unintentionally, intentionally the truth, f- as they see it from an article. Or we'll find a page that is an ESG, uh, an entire page dedicated on the Disney site, the Amazon site, every corporate site to ESG. Then we have the uh, the guys uh, from CD Projekt Red breaking it down for us. We don't even have to go to an article anymore. We could just go to the first five minutes of their video and they're breaking down ESG. And this is how this stuff is driven. Now, is it financial? Yes. But what what inspired them? What's pushing them? Activism. It's activism. But activism can manipulate dumb people. Mm-hmm. gullible people it can yep. uh and there's there's a lot of them in hollywood there's there's First tons thoughts. of them <laughs> yep this is them yep um wow she's got those crazy, oh, she's got those crazy eyes she looks like she sounds uh, yes <laughs> and so does that, yeah, that, that, i was gonna say the fucking I'd voice buzz. is a long way to travel through that nose That's what <laughs> definitely, a, definitely a cat owner for sure <laughs> Is there Gosh, anti-racist, anti-fascist practice. practice. That guy is he? He holds a PhD. I yes, he yes, 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 at a Catholic university, Freaking and I'm like, like, disgusted. Pseudo intellectual bullcrap. Where there's like, like they they uh, they they get you know titles right and they're like oh i'm very learned i've got all these kind of uh, uh accolades yeah, in I'm academia an and then what they say Consulting. is driveling oh, nonsensical dude. retarded crap mm-hmm. uh but but because they say it in a nice way it's presented as wisdom but it's utterly crap man Makes Ed, me want to oh, wow. Educational sen- sessions on anti-racism, anti-Semitism, misogyny, fascism, along with security consultations for groups and organizations. Wow. It's it's like it's a commie wing. It's a so commie we, wing. We should get a consulting Basically, session with We should get a consulting session that Ron D'Angelo is doing. Wow. So they're trying so to grift. To <laughs> they're trying to make money. They're just grifting. I they're love capitalism. <laughs> they got a Patreon. It's like they got a Patreon. Oh, shit. Three hundred dollar tiers. They got a what? No. Join our ten dollar yeah. tier, which is oh, our God. anti-racist yeah. tier, and our three hundred dollar like, tier, which is our Marxism tier. <laughs> yeah, the more you spend, the less White problematic Knights. you are. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord! Okay, <sighs> uh, Macabre. Right, well, I'm, you... I'm gonna head out. Okay, so. <laughs> take it easy. <laughs> that was too much fun. Uh, yeah, make uh, some rosaries for us. Say some prayers for us after that. Especially oh, I, I'm gonna have to say prayers for them because, good lord, they they need more and than anyone school. else. And that school, yeah, that Catholic university yes. that you're probably yes, donating to. Yes, little Italian school. Oh my gosh, so sad. Yeah. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Later, brother. Later, Take care, man. Bye. 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 You, bro. I, I, I'm going to bounce, too. Yeah. I got, got a bunch of shit I need to do um, to get ready for all this stuff we got coming up. Uh, but this was a fucking awesome celebration. This is a wake for Rings of Power. That's really what this stream was. An awakening? Uh, it was an awakening, which means if if, if you're anti-woke extra girl, you're a white supremacist. Just wanted you to know yeah. that. Um but thanks for having me on once again, guys. And I'm looking forward to Orlando. Go to geeksandgamers.com. Please RSVP to that morning slot, uh, that morning afternoon slot, if you can. Uh, we want to see as many people there as possible. Yep. So with, with that being said, we'll talk to you guys See you next later. week, brother. We'll see, you see you Sunday. See you Sunday. See you Sunday for... Bye. Oh, yes, yeah, Sunday for hot, hot D, baby. Hot D finale. Oh, yeah. I'm so Hot excited. D all in our hey, face. Ryan, hot don't... No Taco Bell beforehand this time, all right? I know. I, I was so fucking infuriated. I don't like being sick because I hate wasting the day. And I was I was sick as a fucking dog. Uh, but it wasn't Taco Bell. Taco Bell would never make me sick because I'm not a fucking pussy. Uh, but, but whatever fucking stomach virus was going around my town yesterday. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ryan, Ryan you say you're not a pussy, but you, can you handle Vegemite? I got, there's uh-huh. the test of manhood. Bring me some when you book your flight. Uh, bring it. I will. I'll, bring I'll, it. I'll show you guys. If you come I'll out, try, I'll, I'll eat Vegemite. It. If you come out, I'll eat it. I'll add a big old <laughs> fucking spoonful with a big spoon. Bread. I'll just I'll fucking, fucking eat try it. it for sure. Yep. Oh, don't don't do a spoonful. That's the problem. Vegemite's too powerful. You've got to respect it. It'll thing, burn you. If you know how. 
A little bit of butter and then a thin layer of bro, on top bro, of bro. I, I eat jalapenos raw, like for fun. Yeah, that's not a big deal. <laughs> nah, it depends on the one you get. <laughs> that is that is a true. That's true. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Later, bro. Bye, later, Ryan. Later. Uh, Macabre Society for 69, 69, 69 for six. Oh, shit. That was, well, that probably was the right one. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Uh, Oh. Did you notice that the media stopped Uh. talking about monkeypox when kids started getting it? Yes. And animals. And animals. Yeah. And Mm. kids. Yeah. Fuck. I get, I get so angry. It's. It's hanging in the air. Everyone, you know, it's the unspoken thing, and it's just like, um, huh. oh my god, I'm forgetting his name, and Melissa's gonna get so mad. There is a TikToker who is the, like Dylan Mc- Mulvahey, the gay conservative. Um, oh, no. hold on, he's gonna be at. I think he's gonna be at the meetup. I think he's gonna go. He's really good. Oh, really? We, we need uh, more Carlo? of that. Um, no, uh, no, it's not Mike. No, I, I I don't know his name. He just goes by something like that. And he's Alex pretty, Stein. He's pretty good. Well, Alex Stein. Too. <laughs> he's, he's he's our favorite gay conservative. Um, but uh, yeah, he's he he probably be at the meetup, and we the need the gay Republican. Mu- the gay Republican. Thank you. Much more of that in the world. Much more of that. Which is calling out groomers. Yeah. Calling out groomers all day long. <laughs> it's fucking great. And and so many of them are. So thank you for doing that. Uh, it needs to be done. I mean, it's it's. For humanity, basically, because uh, we don't have humanity if we don't protect our children. We don't have a system. We don't have shit if we can't protect kids. Um, mm-hmm. And and that shit is fucking sick. And the fact that we're being edited on YouTube for it uh, or on Twitter, hopefully that doesn't last very long when 75 percent of those pieces are shit. And like, I wish I could fly to San Francisco and just like mock them as they're leaving the building. And I wouldn't feel yeah. bad about it at all because that's what they did to everybody who got kicked off of Twitter. Everybody who got yep. canceled off of Twitter. So uh, no sympathy whatsoever. You work at Twitter, you know what? The, and and I, uh, you know, seventy five percent sees a lot. But as Jeremy from the quartering said, a lot of it is probably from trust and safety. A lot of the yeah. security. It's all uh, a lot of the government uh, workers, be it from China, China, or our yeah. own government who fucking work there. The consultants, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peace out. I'm bitches. looking forward to that. Um, if it happens, Syndec Media. Oh, Syndec's awesome, by the way. Uh, we love Syndec. For fifty dollars, hey Gary, watch the 1920s version of Rings of Power called Lord of the Karens. I posted it on George the Giant Slayer show. Uh, a portion of it. I want to hear what you all think. Thanks, brother. Yeah, well, towards the end, we, we want to put that on, Garrett. Like, uh, uh, yes, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we will do that. Well, of course, Syndec. You didn't have to send a super chat. Just send me an email. Uh, Wookie. Be bad for $50. It says Rings of Power. Uh, Rings is over, thank God. You guys inspire me to take YouTube seriously. It's been fun. Thank you for inspiring us all. Uh, if you are in Orlando early, go see Chrissy. She is hilarious. Long live the fellowship. Fight. Keep fighting. We are winning. Don't stop. Are you doing a show? Yeah, we have a, we have a show at the Orlando Improv on Thursday. We're going to be at Universal on Thursday. Uh, well, it's at nighttime. We're going to be yeah, at Universal at nighttime. nighttime. <laughs> yeah, we're doing Halloween Horror it's Nights. Horror. Shit. Horror. How late oh, is the show? How late? 7.30. <sighs> Damn. Damn it. Alex um, Stein, me, Kumia, Lila Hart, Gino Bisconti. Yeah, um, if Halloween Horror Nights sucks for some reason, then we'll go see you. Because <laughs> I bought tickets to it already. Um, and it was very expensive. It was really mm-hmm. fucking expensive. Uh, okay. But, like, yeah. Well, we'll see you at yes. the content house. We'll 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 see you at the content yeah. house. I got to meet Anthony, for sure. Oh yeah. Uh, critical orc theory for fifty dollars. <laughs> well, if you can't, by the way, if you can't go to Halloween Horror Nights, go see Chrissy on yes. Thursday. Okay. Nah. It'll be yes. cheaper. You don't need a fast pass, maybe for Chrissy. Uh, just it's ooh. Halloween Horror Night. <laughs> Halloween Horror Night. <laughs> uh, that's what you should have called it. Um, yeah. I'm sure Universal would have been totally okay with that. Uh, mm-hmm. If you look at a bridge, if you look at the bridge footage, you can clearly see it's dragon fire. So Smog must have done it while Gal- Guy Ladriel did the pipeline while swimming back to Middle Earth. Next thing you know, dwarves will dig up a Balrag beneath Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, my God. That was so fucking dumb. Everything about that was dumb. Defending this series is just, you know, you, you have a right to do it. I just don't know why you I just don't understand how you can do it. Yeah. Uh, Like, this was... That's why so many many in the access media are having a hard time because they have to agree with us. And this is the problem (laughs) when you go out with hyperbole. The the shit that they always throw at us, right? So, number one, my agenda. What my agenda is for a story for it to be good and not be filled with intersectionalism. And modernisms when it doesn't belong there. You can certainly make a political story thriller that you want. Like uh, you can go see Amsterdam, which is supposed to be some kind of uh, uh, January 6th message. Make that shit all day long. Don't really care. Don't really give a fuck. But when it comes to adapting properties and trying to eject them with your politics, especially when you don't know fucking jack shit about them. Fuck you. Fuck you. This is, uh, as uh, Cato said, this is our hood. This is our hood. You want our money? Uh, you need to respect us. But, uh, you know, if the Rings of Power was just fucking bad, we would have called it just bad, and it would have been over. But what's made this a thousand times worse is the same thing that made The Last Jedi a thousand times worse, Star Trek a thousand times worse, Doctor Who a thousand times worse, and the comic industry. You attack the fans when they criticize. That's, that you made it worse. Uh, Turtle Trucker for $100. <laughs> I just became a trucker. Good. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I got a noise for you. I got, I got, uh-huh. I got noise for you. Hang on. Come on. I'm gonna get there. Come on. <laughs> yes. Uh, awesome. Uh, hey, that's that's a it's a good job if you can get it. The money's good, uh, and I guess they treat you a whole lot better now. Uh, have really gotten into, and by the way, you keep our country grow, going. So thank yeah, you. We appreciate it. Growing. Growing, growing and going. Uh, and really have gotten into audiobooks and podcasts, including Friday Night Tights. I was wondering if Razorfist book is an audio form. It is. Yes. The Long Moon uh, Moonlight is on Audible. You can find it on Audible through uh, Amazon. <laughs> um, <laughs> in audio form. And so is Shad's. Shad M. Brooks' book is available on Audible. Okay. Uh, I also recommend Dragon Lords as a cleanser from Rings of Power. Thanks for all you guys do. Hail Friday Night Tights. Hail to you. And oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. I almost got the wrong one. And drive safe. Uh, Brian Duncan just gives a donation of $113.03 on the stream outside. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Uh, Knave of Pens with R.S. Belcher? That's it. $50. Says, hail to the fellowship. I'm working. I'm a working writer. I've done a Trek book. Oh, awesome. And a weird Western series. The first one is the Six Gun Tarot. Uh, I want to send some books. Could you guys please drop a link uh, to your different P.O. boxes? Strength and Honor. Rod Nave. Uh, yeah. You can also find them in the about sections of our, any of our channels. Yep. Yep. So if you go to the uh, go to YouTube, all the way to the right, it says about. Our P.O. box will be there. Mine's on my website, too. I'm sure, Garrett, yours yep. is in the about section. Chrissy, yes, your sir. P.O. box. Do you have a P.O. box, Chrissy? No. You don't have a P.O. Get box? One. Oh, you got to get one. Oh, you need yeah. to get one. You need to get oh, one. one. Yeah. Just go to the UPS store, get a little six-month P.O. box. Really? Yeah. Is it expensive? Yeah. Not not that expensive. No, that's no. not too bad. No. Okay. I have a pretty decent sized one and it's like thirty bucks a year. Ooh, and then people What? Go, Something like that. Uh, we that live in so we cheap. live in a place called Texas where things are cheap. <laughs> uh, our yeah. gas right now, three dollars a gallon. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I got a Which is still it was it was David. lower, by the way. <laughs> it yeah. was. My P.O. box, which is Twice the size it was in San Diego is like a fifth the cost. Not like a third, not a half, a (gasps) fifth. Oh, my God. Your gas is really cheap. Yeah, Texas fucking rules. Oh, and by the way, it's God uh, bless Texas. It was 80 degrees today. It felt like San Diego was fucking. Oh, man, it's so nice right now. This week has been perfect weather-wise. I got to change this temperature to Canadian. You need to to change to Texan. You need to move to Texas. Yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna host me and Mark and just live there? Do we yeah. need to host? We can I be mean, your we'll... kids. We can be your kids. Uh, Adopt you. You guys want to like? I could just put one of my kids in. I could put both my kids in one room. Uh, because <laughs> the older one's about to move out anyway. So. 
Okay. Sure. We'll kick we'll kick senior out so that we can come over. But you're gonna be up like these long stairs, so Mark will have to just hop up. Is that if that's cool? He, oh, he yeah. can crawl. It's fine. <laughs> He does we'll put a rope over the banister. He and, crawls. It's yeah. kind of creepy oh how he crawls. God. It's really creepy. Because he's like really good at it. He's like a he's fucking so snake. He's so fast. Yeah. Uh, Robert McDonald for $100. Yes, we are making fun of Mark for his one leg. We do it all the time. I love him. He's got a great sense of humor about it. Yeah. Uh, great show tonight. Received my ISOM package today. Hell yeah. yeah. Hail Eric July. <laughs> Woohoo. Uh, opening it and opening up in a few, looking forward to reading Razor's book. Also as looking forward to another 10 hours tonight, watching your village grow. Yeah. You know, as has got to leave early after, I think he st- streamed, uh, 20 or 20 hours a day. I mean, like no. he did, yeah. he did a 10 hour stream this week. He, he was, I, I'm, I'm over exaggerating. He's been doing like six to eight hour streams almost every day. Wow. Sometimes twice with, a day. Well, like combining all the streams he's done with all his uh, whatever the fuck he's doing on his game. Wow. And then he, and then he, then he's like, I don't want to say it was a private conversation. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, <laughs> live streams do not help your channel grow if you keep them public. Okay, I'll just say that. Um, except they, mine. Except your well, yeah, because well, I mean, if, if as does, does shelf, focus I mean, come now. on direction because your thought work yeah (laughs) sure sure if chrissy started putting together shelves, i mean her channel's growing like crazy anyway but yeah yeah, if you started doing yoga and putting together shelves while you're telling jokes maybe uh yeah you'd be at 100k yeah i need to do more thought like videos well yeah you got your home with a simp cast for christ's sake i mean (laughs) yeah yeah every sunday simp queen you're like yeah, the simp queen, yeah. Be the simp queen that you are. Yeah. All you need is a little bit more low cut yeah, tops, and you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. You can some. send those in Chrissy's new PO box when yeah. she gets them. Yeah. Send me a low cut top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people send will. Me clothes, I'll wear them. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Culture Casino. Sister, and then I can just do that to all of them. The great, oh the great Culture Casino with that beautiful mane of hair and beautiful beard has donated 20 neurotic memberships for $100. Yeah. Love you, dog. Go check out his really channel. Weave. What? It, it's, it's a, a weave. It's a weave. Oh, it's oh. a weave. So it's like yeah. one hair <laughs> tied in. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, culture, like one of the good guys out there, like a good human yeah. being. Uh, Mauka for 50 euros. Mm. Hail. I hope they use the Rainey's incident as a backstory for the shepherd. I, I do too. And that's what Ryan said. And they have to, like, they have to. At this point, and maybe they will. Maybe they listen to the fans on this one. Didn't like the ending of episode nine, but if that's the way, uh, it would justify the decision to do that. And that's a great way of talking about it without spoiling anything. Inspiring the shepherd. I think that's a very good idea. And maybe it did. And maybe we're. Uh, it's still like, yeah, it's still very jarring. And it we could have thought that, except the creator of the show came out and specifically told us what it was. And it's fucking stupid. Uh, Mr. French 11 for $50. Uh, thank you very much. Says, uh, if you guys could be any of the Lord of the Rings characters, who would you be? Uh, who would you be? Or who would you be in the ranks of super idiots? Just kidding. No one wants to be in that shit. No one would watch this if it was not... Amazon, ladies, don't forget to wax on and wax off. Oh, okay. I would be, I would be Hermione. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh boy, there you go. <laughs> Who would I be in the the Lord of the Rings? Come on, I'd be a ranger. Not, I couldn't, maybe not Aragorn, but one of the other rangers around. Be a hobbit. Bone sword. I'd be a hobbit, man. You are kind of like a hobbit, but in know, right? Super <laughs> chill, you know. I want my favorite. Gary would totally be a wizard. Look at He's his a wizard. Yeah, why are we even yeah. a wizard? Yeah, this is. Yeah, but I'd like. I don't know. I wouldn't. Gandalf is nice, so I wouldn't be like Saruman. Be I'd be mean? one of the blue wizards. I wouldn't be. Who fucking... would I be? I don't even know. A wench. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> you'd be an elf. 
Get to play down the, sm- the smackdown at times. It's like, fool of a took. Throw yourself in next oh, time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That doesn't make you evil. No, no. When he got big and scary with Frodo. Yeah. Oh. I do that once in a while, like with my kids. But um, because my kids act like fools of a took sometimes. They do. No. <laughs> oh. Those kids. They're kids. That's their job. They're supposed to do that. And it's my job to correct them. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes mm. sharply. <laughs> Still Might like have them. to rethink this moving in with Gary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spill food hey, on my carpet. The you know, I think this is simple yeah. stuff. <laughs> Oh, uh, Ronan the Crusader for one hundred dollars. <laughs> Tough but fair. Tough but fair. That's what fatherhood <laughs> is. Shit, mm-hmm. that's what my dad. My dad wasn't even fair. He was just tough. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then when he wasn't fair, he go, "Life isn't fair. You expect life to be fair. I'm not gonna be fair." And he was right. It sucked at the time. Now fucking hated him for it. Hey, hail Friday night tights. My Orlando meetup shirt came yesterday. Awesome. And I am hyped as hell for next week. I am too. Now that I can actually think about it. Hope it's not weird for me to ask this, but that always prefaces something weird. Doesn't it? He wants to peg you. No. Oh, easy. <laughs> a nice uh, one. I kind of have a hard time socializing with others, especially at big vent- events. Any words of wisdom? Can't wait oh. to meet you all. Um, I come mean, talk to me. Yeah. Everybody d- else feels. Come that talk way. to yeah. me. Yeah. Come come up and talk to us. Uh, you don't have to feel like strange about it at all, because I yeah. am. Nope. Uh, especially walking up to Garrett. I mean, we are idiots. We are complete We're all idiots. Awkward. And awkward, yeah. and uh, we know we I, like being nerds. We can absolutely identify with how you feel. Um, so you are amongst friends. Nobody will give you shit. Nobody will treat you weird at these events. It is nothing but a good time and nothing but love. So yep. uh, you, you know, if 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 you have a hard time with it, try to pull one of us aside. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, and and we'll talk. And we'll absolutely talk to you. Yeah. Um, look or, forward or to get, it. get Ryan a drink and he'll be really nice because yeah. he'll oh, be yeah. drunk. <laughs> I was gonna be a lot of drinking there, <laughs> be driving a lot of people home. Uh, Tenrex Helen for $50. <laughs> hey, on Friday Night Tights, I bought the hardcover Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit. Good, can't wait to read them. Oh, good. Currently reading Dune, loving it. Shad, can't wait to get your novel and graphic novel. I ordered. The light covers. Love you all. Love you too. Oh, can't wait to get them to you. Those are the collector edition covers. Ooh, very Ooh. Cool. So mm. I saw Dune again. I finally like sat down and watched it again. I liked it a lot more the second time around. I still don't like where they ended it. I thought it was a really weird ending, but um, yeah, I liked it a lot. Like, like watching it at home. And frankly, I could pause it <laughs> once in a while. Uh, but like, yeah, it was. It, it's it's good. It's, I love that movie. I thought it was yeah. great. I liked it. I liked the. I don't, I'm not gonna say like top ten of all time, but it no. was a, it was a good time. Oh. Really good act acting in it. The effects were Did really. You good. know, like, damn. I don't. Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. It's probably public knowledge that one of the writers for Dune was supposed to write The Rings of Power. Ooh. And it didn't work out. It's probably good that he didn't. It didn't work out. Well, it's. I mean, it's, the problem started with the writing. Like they could yeah. have had a drunken monkey, and they probably get a better job writing that thing. Yeah. Who? It's 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 complicated. I mean, like you guys know this, right? Like people need to be reined in. You know, uh, quite frankly, Joss Whedon worked better at Buffy and at Fox because he had people reining him in. Right. Uh, and. Uh, you could say that about other writers as well. Uh, but when they go out on their own and they have their full power, it just, it sucks. Sometimes guys are better. G- gals are better in that situation. But a lot of times it's, it's people giving notes, especially when it's mass market media and not some, you know, art, uh, art film where you can just go nuts, you know, um, like Terry, Terry Gilliam would be terrible reined in awful reined in. Uh, not everything I, like is he does is perfect. I think he's close to the perfect. It's always fun, though. Surreal director, but like you don't rein that that, that dude in. You let him go. No. Um, he's a fucking genius, and uh, you know things like Time Bandits. 
like one of the greatest movies that oh, I fucking made. Fucking love that movie. Love that it was movie. A good movie. Perfect eighties movie, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, perfect. They're British. remaking it. Yeah. No, oh, fuck off. And he's that. American, man. He's like the, he's the one true American Brit. <laughs> like I think he understands them culturally probably more than anybody artistically at least. <laughs> um, yeah, like uh, you, you know, so I think there it the things the by multiple accounts this thing started out in a good place. Rings of Power started out in a good place. It was they wanted to honor Tolkien. They wanted to make something with mass appeal, um, and it didn't happen. And, and it didn't happen probably for the same reason most don't happen. Ego, hubris, greed, and agenda all combined in the one to create like the worst era of Hollywood ever. I know I totally disagree. Quentin Tarantino was on a interview with Joe Rogan recently, and he said the worst era of movies was the 50s, which, okay, I'll kind of agree with him on that. And then he said the 80s, and I just couldn't disagree with him more. I think the 80s was a fantastic era for movies. It wasn't jaded like the 70s. I think yeah. it was way more into just heroism, imagination, pushing boundaries with um, makeup, effects, storytelling, fantasy. They were, like, getting more into fantasy, especially the early 80s. I yeah. think it pushed the boundaries Legend. way more. And, you know, Quentin Tarantino, I know a lot of people, like, worship at the, like, Quentin Tarantino is, uh, like, he likes the 70s. That's That's what he likes. That's, he just likes that era. I like the seventies too, but I the do 80s, too. You can't deny that no, the eighties had the 80s. like the best movies of all time. Like there's right. so many in the, that decade. Back to the Future, Star mm-hmm. Wars That's trilogy. I, I mean, it was seventies. Yep. There was 80s, a lot of creativity Indiana during Jones. that time period, which we don't see anymore. And then Batman like the lesser the films, like Dreamscape, 80s. like fucking yep. crazy movies that they tried. That like were way beyond their capabilities. Crawl, right. shit like that. Like that Crawl. was fucking oh, awesome. a lot of movies that came from the eighties. Even the bad ones, compared to what we're getting now, are still really fucking Dude, good. Dude, we got masterpieces right? like and John Carpenter. Pretty much everything he did in the John early eighties, like the uh, thing, you know. Uh, yeah. Cherry Two Thousand, which is a complete B movie, blows anything away coming out of Disney or Amazon. Yep, or Netflix. Uh, crazy tiger person for two hundred dollars. <laughs> Did somebody leave? No, I just want to pet no. the puppy. But it looked like oh. you were petting me first. I, I, was just like, I realize that. Oh, you can pet. You can pet. Oh, love at me. So cute. Oh my god. Hey, I'm crazy so tiger person. You. Good to see him. Good to see you. Hi. Thank you. I was like, that confused me. And it's just like all this girl noises afterwards. I'm like, what is going on with this? This is FN she. Uh, <laughs> Friday in, night thoughts. Friday night Friday thoughts. Night oh, thoughts. we should do that sometime. We really should. Yeah. Um, maybe like if the if it's I don't know, Friday night tights ever lands on like April first or something like that. That'd be oh god. Uh slavery in Middle Earth, not slavery in Middle Earth, Nazis in Middle Earth. What the hell is this podcast? No wonder why I haven't heard of them. They destroy their own show. I believe only 10 people watch the podcast. Oh, and much love to the fellowship. All hail the Lord and Commander of the Watch, Sir Shad. Hail Shad! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Calvin Wimbish running for Florida District 10, Orlando District, uh, uh, Disney District. His opponent is a commie, as commie as it gets. I know for a fact that FNT is watching, uh, watched by some of the Wimbish staff. Hail, Green Beret Colonel Calvin Wimbish. For forty nine ninety nine. that comes from Rush Pabst. And, uh, hail to you, Green Beret. I hope you win. Win! Yeah. Win. Oh, it's going to be a blood bath. Uh, a very red blood bath. <laughs> Unless uh, it's in a state with mail-in votes, which are just a fucking joke. <laughs> uh, and our last thing of the night before we all got to go and eat. Because I smell some wonderful food downstairs. It's my stomach. <laughs> uh, WG has gifted... Uh, oh, J- WG has donated on the Streamlabs side... Two hundred dollars. I'm gonna see you, WG in Orlando. WG is awesome. This is Orlando or bust. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up there and uh, call it a night. This is a fun one. 
God, the last, oh, just, we got it's been, one more. We got one more. It has been like a, an awesome two months on Friday Night Tights. Yeah. And that's yeah. th- thanks to Disney. I mean, honestly. Thanks to Shad. Thanks to our great guest, Mahler, out there. And I saw Yellow Flash in the chat. What's up, Yellow Flash? He's probably gone by now. But uh, go watch the Flash cast tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I love refrigerators. <laughs> <laughs> I love refrigerators. Oh, there it is. Uh, Craig Fra- Fragenti. Craig Fragenti. $49.99. One of the best forgotten 80s movies. Cat's Eye with James Woods. Oh, Cat's Eye. That is a fantastic movie. That? How about Cat People? <laughs> Remember Cat People? It's got a great like remix of a fucking David Bowie song. Actually, that is better than the version on Let's Dance. Cat People? Isn't that whose podcast we listened to earlier? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Cat People's fucking, uh, it's good. Um, yeah, it's a good movie. You want to get down? I'm ready to get down. The Hunger. Who's seen The Hunger? Oh. Hunger. Great, great fucking movie, man. Bauhaus is in the beginning. Yes, they are. That's they right. The I about that. And David Bowie's in it again. And there's a lesbian scene between Catherine Deneuve and Susan Sarandon that probably had nothing to do with me wanting to watch the movie. <laughs> oh, of course not. Okay. I was fucking 11, okay? Come on. I'm like, what is that? Um... Uh, and it's a, it's, it's actually action. a really like well directed crazy eighties movie. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, great soundtrack to it too. Yeah, they don't do shit like that anymore. Um, all right, so uh, let's start with co- comics division. Hey everybody, on Comics Division, you can follow me on the Twitters and the YouTubes at Comics Division. Sadly, I will not be at Orlando. It sucks, but you suck. I, I know. It's you not my up for the need ride? a ride. Oh, no. Somebody, <laughs> somebody who watches FNT sent my wife and me flowers, which was fantastic. And, oh, and, oh. and sent me and sent my, my wife and it made us wow. all look bad because we didn't get our wife's flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just kidding. Thank you. You just take the Jeremy. name off the tag. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> you know, honey. I'm from yeah, Gary. Yeah, Jeremy. I just <laughs> crossed out. And my wife's like, that's weird that a name's crossed out and it says from. Um, Gary, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I know, weird, huh? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, um, if you guys haven't had an opportunity, go watch um, last night's stream that I did. We did the She Hulky Awards, which was actually pretty funny. Um, shout out to Toxic Man Flu and Culture Casino, who really kind of organized and put that whole thing together. We had a lot of fun last night. Um, check it out if you can, it was a good time. Uh, as always, Gary. Thanks for having me on. Um, love hanging out with you guys every single Friday. Not going anywhere. You know who you are. And, um, yeah, had a good time, as always. See and you we guys can't, next We Friday. can't let that joke pass. Why can't uh, he go to Orlando again, Chrissy Mayer? Oh, because he's not tall enough to ride the rides? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> I'll Ex- take you to the kid park comics. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm going to watch some scary movies at some point. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Sounds like I should watch Exorcist 3. Yes. Um, you gotta Exorcist watch 2 is, I mean, it's all right. Exorcist 3 is the shit. Yeah. And I kind of want to watch Silent Hill. I've never watched that since yes. they had the preview of Silent Hill 2 remake. And maybe play this the game we'll see we'll see i don't want to get too scared but we'll see but yeah follow my channel cool. <laughs> Look, that's, that was so asian <laughs> I, I, know. No, I, no, no, no. I learned i, I learned uh, from my my uh my young friends this is what asians do now it's a heart is that what that uh, is so cute. I, I, so cute. I do hot in my hand it's also an asian penis Oh, it's so <laughs> <I'll tell you. laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Hey, she, went ah. she went there. She really oh did. Oh my god. <laughs> what the it way? reminds me of the oh, hang the, the hangover when he comes out of the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Full frontal. I, I gotta watch it. Dude, I watched uh <laughs> Dodgeball and old school back to back. Fucking oh. great. Oh, that's a good double feature. Oh, good. Oh. Da- what was the five D's again? Oh my God. 
Dip, uh, dodge, dodge, dip, dodge. dive, duck, dip, and dodge. dodge. Yeah. <laughs> and dodge. You're gonna dodge, dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. Dodge in this one. <laughs> is it necessary? Is it necessary to drink my own urine? No, but it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> <laughs> Rip Torn. Rip, Rip Torn. Torn was fucking great in that. Uh, and there Torn. are so many jokes you just can't or they won't. I keep saying can't. They won't make today. Yeah. They still can. They can still do all this shit if they want to. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Chrissy Mayer. Comedian. Oh my god, thanks for having me. This was so much fun, guys. Um, yeah, come to if you guys aren't gonna be at any of the parks on Thursday, come to the Orlando Improv for some fun comedy and some hanging out. And then tune into the content house. We're gonna start a 48 hour live stream right after the show. So like Thursday night, maybe around like, whenever we get back from the show, like 11, 12, whatever. And that's gonna go through saturday night i'm gonna try to dip out at some point and go to your guys house for fnt um and yeah this saturday i have a member stream at 11 a.m and then we're doing like a preview a content house preview episode uh at 9 p.m so that's tomorrow and that's it Thank yeah you. this was fun and i think a lot of us are going to swing by the content house if we're welcome yes yeah absolutely you're 100 percent welcome okay yeah yeah because i we plan to do that so okay, good. My wife okay, and I good. will come by. Garrett, we'll bring little Garrett. <gasps> oh, yeah. Did we get a place yet, Garrett? No. Oh fuck. Melissa, uh, Melissa just texted me. Where well, she's is, she's so. like about I'll to find, go out of I'll town. She's going to uh, one of the Carolinas to do hair stuff. I don't know. Ooh. Whatever she does, that profession. I'll she figure has. it out. Yeah. Well, yeah. If not, then I'll get a place. I'll I'll, I'll book a place because I want to have a place near the park. For us, just in case we yeah, want to dip yeah. out of the park, yeah, 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 for a minute, right? And then we can have the uh, Jeremy's place is, I guess, well, no, it's way out of town. Your mm -hmm. place, X-ray girl, not to docks, is going to be near the event, right? The meetup. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good. Gary, you might want to ping Culture. He might have room for you. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. I know. I know Nick is staying with him. Mm. Weiser? Nick Weiser? Nick, yeah, Nick Weiser. Oh, Nick's going? Uh, wait, yeah, Nick Weiser. Ooh. I don't want to, uh, like, Nick, I love you. I don't want to stay with Nick Weiser. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Nick could hold his alcohol like no other motherfucker, man. Oh, that guy seriously? was, like, uh, I, that would have killed an elephant how much he drank. And he was just uh, on the top. We were talking about heavy metal on the balcony in Vegas for like an hour. Wow. It was fucking great. That was I love awesome. Nick. He was yeah, always walking around going, hey. Like next morning you wake up, he's all, hey. It's like, dude, you're way too spry for drinking all fucking night long. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a lot of alcohol. Uh, Quarter Black Garrett. Hey, uh, my channel is Quarter Black Garrett. You can follow me over there, and we play video games, <gasps> post the occasional meme, and on Sunday, X-Ray and I... And Adam Krigler and the Darth Craig. Paul are going to be playing some Phasmophobia and getting our pants We're going to go off. ghost. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Nice. And I cannot wait for next week. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to be driving alone, all on my own. All the way I, I might so chicken be... out on the plane Can last you minute, just so you know. Really? Like, I Let will, me know. You I, drive I've, I've done it before. I've completely like, I don't want to fly. Fuck that. And like eat the plane oh. ticket and everything. Yeah, I hate flying, dude. I Ugh. fucking hate it. Uh, yeah, I would be flying, but I'm bringing some t shirts and whatnot. So I got to take a box. Mm -hmm. So uh, live streams during the road for sure going to happen. It's going to be fun. And go back Shad's book yeah. right now. Go do it. Legends. Go do it. God. It's not yeah. just Iron that. Age, all right? If you haven't read his Razor book, read fist. it. It's fantastic. Yes. It's a great book. Ah, thanks, man. Seriously, I'm on I'm on chapter thirty two, man, and I'm really fucking loving the book. Wow. Ah, that's I guess awesome. Miller, it's the world Shed. Yep. It's, it's fucking it. great. So I like go the audible right version. Now. Yeah, that's what we I'm, are, that's listening to. We are now up to three hundred and fifty two thousand. Nice. Yeah. Yes. That is amazing, Let guys. Go. You guys rock. You guys are great. And and remember, Amazing. if you don't back Shad's book, you're a white supremacist. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Chrissy. Yep. Problematic. But you got to say, if you don't back Shad's book, you're yeah, yeah, a white yeah. supremacist. I just learned. You got to talk. Do you guys play for the other team if you don't learn? back it? Shad Brooks has a 
fuck? You are you literally Hitler him? if you don't oh, back his no. buck. The American flag? Ew. Ew. Hey, you inspired me to put my American flag back. <gasps> I gotta get one. Guys, you were my inspiration. Hey, oh my god! You're not yeah. even American. Yeah. American flag. And I was What's like, you know, I need an American flag. flag. Yeah, you need an American flag. You fucking need commie. One. I know. What the fuck's wrong? I'm a commie you? officially until hey, I have a fa flag in here. You're not even an American, and you've got an American flag back there. Look at X-ray girl. Oh man, she just won Employee of the Month, Garrett. You lost. <laughs> yeah. Damn. And officially best Asian. Best Asian. Beat it, Perry. Best That's Asian right. female producer at Nerdrotic is X-ray girl for sure. <laughs> By the way, <gasps> Perry. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy Perry birthday. Chan. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Perry. Happy Chinese New Year. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Perry Chan. Yeah, Perry go birthday. go wish Perry Chan happy birthday on Twitter. It'll make him feel mm -hmm. good. Show him lots of love. Or just give him shit. I don't care. Either way is fine. <laughs> lots of attention. rub. Lots of lots of rub. <laughs> and he'll go, thank you, just like he Make said sure to you, you, Chrissy. Tag this. This, he'll understand. Yes, he'll understand. <laughs> Gets it. He'll be going, why are so many people saying I have a small penis on my birthday? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dick move. What a, what a <laughs> small dick move. <laughs> it looks like you're asking for money almost. It like. does. Yeah, you're like, give me. Yeah. Give, give me. Give me that little thing. Yeah. Give me love. Give me that dollar. I don't know where it started, to be honest. Give me that dollar. I don't know where it started either. I thought it was give like the, the tiniest dollar. violin. It was. Like, what's that? Yeah, yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. <laughs> uh, Shad, anything? Uh, plug your book again. I mean, well, yeah, I, we, it's going amazing. Thank you to everyone who's supporting it. It's so exciting. means that I, because I, I was talking about this on the stream on Night's Watch, is that I'm in a very lucky and blessed position that I'm, uh, I have a, a kind of stable income. And so all the profits that I'm making off this, I'm just reinvesting. I'm going to be making more. And on that live stream, that was like a deep dive kind of presentation on the next project I'm doing, my space opera one. And it gets so insane insanely nerdy like i get into the world building the visual style uh, um so many different layers of what's going on in that world getting feedback from the chat uh, and also because there are things that i'm undecided on and seeing what their reactions and thoughts were on what i was presenting it's actually helping me kind of mold what this will be and the amount of interest that is, people have in this new project is amazing. I was I was legitimately shocked where they're actually listening to me just go crazy nerdy talking about just the world building and why this is going to be like Star Wars and how the tech works and what the story will be. And then they're asking me detailed questions about, oh, okay, if it does this, what about this and all that stuff? And they were fully into it. And so if you, if it, guys, if you want to see what the deep dive kind of presentation is on this next project, the one that I'm going to make to take on star wars uh yeah go check out that live stream it's a long long one so kick back enjoy it um listen to it while you're doing something else in the background or something but it's a full-on five-hour presentation where we go crazy where i reveal everything that I, a lot of what i've worked on and what my intent is and so that's on night's watch you can go check that out it's called uh replacing star wars let's nice. replace star wars what's your timeline for trial of the conqueror so you're talking about the second, the second book. The oh, second sorry. Book, yeah. So I thought you were about the second volume of the graphic novel there, because the graphic, the set, volume two of the graphic novel is actually Mike is already well into the script on that, uh, and so we're diving into getting that one re done really quickly. So Shadow of the Conqueror, I wrote it as a standalone with sequel potential, and I did it intentionally to let it rest for a bit. And so I don't actually have a time frame for uh, Trials of the Conqueror, the actual sequel to Shadow of the Conqueror as of yet of course i'm going to be doing it but i haven't scheduled that in for now because i was happy to just i was happy where the story landed and ended and it has a good uh, you'll find out comics edition i'm interested to see what your thoughts are on the conclusion um, i'm really excited just don't take 11 years to write it okay yeah. george <laughs> <laughs> just finish it you know at least finish it yeah Oh, <laughs> thanks, Chad. Love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Love thanks you guys. to love the you. Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left a super chat and donation. We love you. Uh, I have a Rings of Power. Surprising enough, I have another Rings of Power video coming out on Sunday. And then sometime next week, there will be the Doctor Who finale review. I will be live on Sunday with Az uh, right after the episode airs in the UK. We will also be live with Jane Theory, Ryan Kinnell. Shad, 
Fringy oh. and Mahler, the Justice League, the to cover Hot D's final episode Sunday night. That should be a big one. Looking um, forward to it. Yeah. Um, also next week, I'm going to try to get in a live stream and try to drag Quarter Black on if he watches it. Uh, there is a new UFO documentary oh, yeah. called Making Contact about the Brazilian Roswell. It's fucking fascinating and awesome. So Nerdrotic Live will do a review over there of that. Black yes. Adam review on Nerdrotic Daily tomorrow. That's a lot of stuff. Trying to get it all in yeah. before Orlando because I'm just going to take a vacation. I'm not going to do <laughs> yeah, you fucking deserve it, dude. I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not making any videos. It's been a marathon. Yeah, so uh yeah, that's been it's it's a five day, four day vacation. I'll be back on Halloween. It sucks. You guys are gonna go have fun on Halloween, but I'm gonna be back home. It's my anniversary, dude. Wanna kinda spend it yeah, with true. my wife. Yeah. So there you go. Uh yeah, as you should. We I can, got George's video if you want to watch yeah, let's do it on the on the way out. Let's it's 10 it. minutes, so just play the video. And Well, they said play the out. first few minutes. Let's let's play the first few minutes, and then okay. they could definitely go there, and we should, like, lead it into, like, them clicking. Yeah. On George's. yeah Subscribe teaser. to George's channel, George the Gi Giant Slayer. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's do this. I'm sure it's being linked in the description right now by the great Modronix. Uh, give it a full watch. Watch it many times. Click a like on it. Subscribe, please, to that channel. So many good Lord of the Rings channels. You know, we had George the Giant Slayer. We had European Lore. Uh, we had Disparu. Uh, we have Nerd Cookies. We have Jane Theory. There are. Uh, I'm going to forget some. I'm sorry. But uh, there are so many out there that are really good that have been done great coverage of yeah. this. It's been YouTube and pop culture history, folks, and the, the fact is you made it, not Amazon. Uh, they started it, but uh, ours is derived from theirs, and it's their own doing. It's just a, a visceral, natural, honest reaction to garbage. That's all it was. So, uh, yeah, um, watch the cope continue over the next, I hope, couple years but we'll see we'll we'll see I, I don't know how many times they can call us a racist in two years yeah. but they're gonna fucking try yeah, uh, they will try so until next time may the wings of liberty never lose a feather ciao bella adios
Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. Dumb as a man.